Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. Get in here, Ross. It's happening. Woo! He bought too many games. Now we gotta play them all. So what about the sand train? Choo -choo. Oh, yeah. It's been a while. It, oh, man, it sure has, but I'm happy. Ha yeah! Leisure Suit Larry 6, y'all. what the fuck is wrong with his face? Shape up or slip out. He's a handsome man, and you should respect that. <laughs> Yay! Oh, 1994. A good year for scamming on ladies. Oh, we forgot to, um... Is that Al Lowe? That is Al Lowe. That's I remember one, him from the last one. One man band, Al Lowe. We forgot to turn off the fan for in the background. Hear it? Let's get Barry! Oh, it did. <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll just talk in the meantime. So, okay, so welcome to Leisure Suit Larry 6. We're super excited. We just wanted to to do this forever, and uh, yeah, it's Sierra time. I wasn't able to be on many steam trains lately because uh, I was working on Starbomb. But now that album is out, so oh, we're we just talking around some fucking lame excuses. Yeah, you big loser, you big dork, you Great. big nerd, you big nard. <laughs> okay, let's um. Okay, so we can skip this. We'll go to the intro. So, all right, before we start this, mm -hmm. we should just say that much like uh, King's Quest VI, much like a lot of Sierra games, this. Uh, this first episode's gonna be very chatty uh, in terms of the game. It's There's a lot of talking to set things up. So we'll just kind of play it cool. We'll play it chill. We, you know how we do Sierra games. It's a little more laid back. And uh, yeah, let's, let's rock and roll. So here we are on Muscle Beach, which is not that far from where we live, Ross. Look at those chunk of chunks. Yeah, those are chunky hunks to be ah, sure. Another busy summer day. You decide to wander down to Muscle Beach to work out. Your eyes, oogling babes. Yeah. Which ones? Well, there only seems to be one. Let me see if there's... Lost in your work, you nearly miss the Hollywood limousine that pulls in behind you. Hollywood limousine. Whoa! <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah, it's... It's, uh... It's a rich person. As the limo stops, a beautiful blonde emerges from the sunroof to announce... My name is Shallow, and I'm looking for one very good man. <laughs> Out of the way, Bob. Let <laughs> yeah. me Move it. To appear on the new TV show, Stallion. Well, I guess you'll have to do. Sweet. What's your name? My name is Larry. Larry Laffer. <laughs> oh, hell. Good enough for who it's for. Oh, my God. Sweet. We're doing it. What a Dorcas. Yeah, I love him. Yeah, for anyone who doesn't know, Larry, Leisure Suit Larry, the character of this game, he's, uh, he's in his mid-40s. He's kind of doofy looking. He wears a leisure suit. And uh, he scams on babes. Yeah. Not terribly great at it either. No. Which you act out your favorite scene from No Way Out while Shallow acts out her favorite scene from Ice Station Zebra. Oh, damn. You arrive at the studio and are escorted directly to the set where an episode of Stallions is being taped. And don't worry about thinking up answers while we're taping. We took the answers you gave us earlier and had our writers heat them up a little bit to make them acceptable to our uh, sophisticated viewers. So when it's your turn to answer, just read your cue cards and you'll be just fine. Uh, uh, he has a huge oh, head. Wait, Michelle, <laughs> I didn't give you any answers earlier. I haven't gone out with these women. In fact, I've never even seen them before. Oh, don't worry, Lasser. Stallion number two is gonna lose anyway. Go. <laughs> places, people. Places. Lights. Playback. <laughs> Nice. In five, four, three. Hi, from somewhere near Hollywood, California, it's the latest and greatest in embarrassment television. Nice. Stallion. Oh. Oh, wait, so he's just on Today, a talk show now? I'll tell you a sec. Chapter of downtown Pasadena. <laughs> yep. And all 
also featuring two of the hungest stallions we could pry away from Venice Beach. <laughs> and now, let's all give a big winnie for the star of our show, <laughs> Biff Stiff! So we're basically t taking the fall. We're going to suck on this dating show. Oh, really? Yeah, they picked us to be the loser. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Let's meet our contestants. Hi. Stallion number two is a professional bodybuilder and part-time out-of-work concrete form dismantler who credits his physical success to Herbivite. Let's hear it for Larry Laffer. He is none of those Stallion things. Stallion number one is also a professional bodybuilder and an apprentice condom sizer who guarantees that around him, <laughs> women come first. Really slam them together for rock hard. Yeah. Oh, fuck. As you regular fans know, both of these stallions recently had a dream date with each of our three lovely fillies. Cocktails at sunset, a romantic dinner under the stars, dancing by moonlight, followed by a trip back to the stall for a little heavy breathing. Very realistic applause sound. Mm. Well, that's what that is. Yeah. Oops, I'm sorry. See the sign? I meant heavy breathing. <laughs> and now, let's meet our three little fillies. Philly number one is a nuclear chemist specializing in zero-gravity liquid fuel propulsion systems who has a mainframe computer right in her very own home. Yes, that's right. She really is a rocket scientist. How about some animal noises for Dr. Sharla Maine? Oh, I love some big hair. Yeah, I love some big knowledge. <laughs> Philly number two also hails from Pasadena, where she leads a think tank specializing in international economics, monetary systems, and currency stabilization. Damn. Get it off for Dr. Sharla O'Hara. It's a very well-learned yeah, young wow. ladies. I'm impressed. And finally, Philly number three is one hunk of prime horse flesh. With PhDs in marine biology, subatomic nuclear physics, and film <sighs> studies, a woman who expects more from her man than just intelligent conversation, hoot it up for a while for Dr. Charlatan. Wait, charlatan? Yeah, charlatan, charlemagne, and something <laughs> else that I missed. <laughs> I love it. I'm sure you all know the rules. So let's get right to the game. Larry, you're first. Do it, Larry. Do it, Larry. I believe I believe in you. Me? Uh, I don't know. I'm not really prepared. Uh, what the hell? Uh, I'll take Greek mythology for $500, Alex. God damn it, Larry. That's about all of this we need to see. <laughs> <laughs> let's fast forward. And we're back with our contestants. Larry, what now? Um, could I buy a vowel pat? Son of a bitch, Larry. Yikes, this is not going well. Let's cut to the chase. And the winner of today's show, Rock Hard! Friggin' Rock Hard. Rockin' Charlotte with an all-expense-paid cruise down the lovely Mexican Riviera with stops at Tijuana and Juarez. Is this hand this junk? Yes. Been there for the whole time? I believe so. So is mine. Oh, well, doesn't go And our the second the prize goes pushing to, to the Larry Laffer. Immediately after the show, you'll travel by Studio Limo to the exclusive health spa and resort La Costa Lata, <laughs> where you'll spend a wonderful two, some expenses paid, weeks. <laughs> La Costa Lata. Thanks for watching, oh. folks. We'll be sure Got to tune in again Got tomorrow it. for another episode of... <laughs> Stallion! Okay, so we blew it. Yeah. And now we're going to uh La Costalata. La Costalata for two weeks. There's your plot. Excellent. Rock, honey, here's your tickets for the cruise. I'm afraid Sharla won't be going with you. She opted for the cash payoff instead. But you won't be lonely. I'll be waiting for you in your cabin. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So cool. You come with me, doofus. <laughs> <laughs> That's Laffer. <laughs> <laughs> Close enough. I love Leisure Suit Larry. Such a fuck look at his fucking walk. So Here's your limo, Lasser. Enjoy the ride. It's a taxi, isn't it? I would assume. Wow, what a cherry 73 pacer. Finally, your luck has changed, Larry. 
two weeks at an exclusive health spa filled with gorgeous women. La Costa Lada, here I come! Oh, it's lovely. Oh, it's actually quite sweet. It's like a little Spanish villa. Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's a, a garbage it's a, it's a taxi. Garbage taxi. I, I have a feeling, yeah. Well, all right. Okay, then. Thank so you, sir. We are now in La Costalada. Yeah, we are at the health spa. Two weeks, baby. Let's make it happen. Let's unfucking wind. Oh, yeah. We're playing the feud. Leisure suit, Larry. Uh, six. Yeah. Shape up or slip out. This is, um, there's actually, just to give you guys, like, ten seconds mm -hmm. of, of backstory, uh, this is actually Leisure Suit Larry 5. There was no Leisure Suit Larry 4. Um, the, uh, Allo. Oh, hello. Alright, I guess we'll just let him go by there. Uh, Allo, kind of as a joke, uh, decided to just go right from 3 to 5. So, this is the fifth Larry game, even though it's Leisure Suit Wait, Larry 6. Wait, really? Yeah, yeah. Why? I'll, I'll tell you in a second. Uh, for now, we have to pause, because we got to do one thing. And we're back! Hey! Hello! Okay, sorry, we had to readjust microphones and stuff. Um, so yeah, uh, basically, uh, Allo, who has created all these games, he's a brilliant dude. Um, 3, Leisure Suit Larry 3, kind of had like a mm. like an ending to the trilogy. Like, he's with his girlfriend, and they're happy, and they're really? loving- Yeah, 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 he falls in love and all that. And he was like, shit, now my main protagonist is happy and all the loose ends are tied up. What the hell do I do? And he had, like, really bad writer's block. So then, like, it occurred to him, fuck it, if I just do Leisure Suit Larry 5, he can be a swinging bachelor trying to hook up with chicks again, and I don't have to worry about, like, what happened in Leisure Suit Larry 4 to make, like, things make sense. It's kind of brilliant, actually. So the joke was that something horrible happened in the game that wasn't made. Yeah, or, or whatever. Some Something happened. Oh but God. they call it Leisure Suit Larry the Missing Floppies, number four. But here we are. It doesn't matter. This is number six. We're in a hell spot. We're gonna try to have sex with uh, attractive women. Let's take a look around. Let's fucking do it. Welcome to the front lobby of La Castellata. It's plush and heavily carpeted, yet with an underlying cheapness and shoddiness that makes it unconvincingly decadent. <laughs> nice. Speaking of which, where's your toupee? Oh shit, I don't have a toupee. Well, that's fine. Um, let's take a look at this, this young lady. Talk, this lovely young the woman what? behind the front desk is a real knockout. Although you can only see down to her waist, what you see is what you like. <laughs> Why, hello. From her wild mane of sandy hair to her bodacious physical attributes, Gammy Boisule is a frightening <laughs> beautiful girl who will try anything oh. once, just for kicks. Gammy. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope. Gammy Boisule. All right, let's, let's chat her up. Good day, miss. My name is Larry. Larry Laffer. <laughs> I'm here as a guest of Stallions. That famous television show? How do you do, sir? I'm Gammy Boisule, head of human services and customer relations here at La Costalada. My job is to make sure your visit here is everything your heart desires. And less. <laughs> oh. <laughs> nice. I suppose we could begin by checking into my room. I do have a room, don't I? Oh, but of course, Mr. Laffer. Stallions has taken care of everything for you. Here's your key. You're in room 201, one of our finest suites right at the top of those stairs, conveniently located near the ice machine, elevator, and kitchen exhaust fans. <laughs> I'm sure you'll find it well worth the price you paid. Which was free. Great, okay, we got a room key. All right, let's get Excellent. it. Excellent. Oh, the zipper. Oh, do you? Oh, he's zipping her shirt up. No, no. This basically means you take off your clothes in front of her. Let's Are see you what serious? happens. Yep. Please, sir, don't you have any other form of identification? Damn. Wait, we just showed her our fucking chub. Yeah. Well, there's no, there's no knowing if it was a chub or not. Let's get out of here. <laughs> now that we've exposed you ourselves. Be able to Whoops. So that's like a kind of 
panic button. Right. Nothing works. Just fucking <laughs> flop your dick out. Dude, just just good advice for life. Oh, it is. An ash can. A quaint old ashtray sits beside the reception counter, reminding customers of those halcyon days before smoking was illegal. Ah, <laughs> uh, those were the days. Those were the days. Hold on, let's see. If. Oh god. Those, that font, that, just, font is ugh. insane. I love it's just it. It's like GeoCities. <laughs> La Costellata allows its preferred customers the convenience of this quickie checkout deposit box. Those lucky customers simply deposit their room keys. It's all on the honor system. Oh, then you I can absolutely steal things from it. Sticking your hand down into the box filled with room keys, you rattle them all around and have a great little time. Nope, need to use the pickup thing, sorry. Oh, right. <laughs> Got it. Rummaging around in this morning's room keys, you grab the one that feels the least sticky. Yay! So we just got a better room, didn't we? We, we didn't get a better room, but we did get uh, a key that we can use later. Oh god, are we gonna break into someone's room? No. Oh god, that floor looks terrible. Probably. Well, it's very Vegasy. This hall contains only one guest room, an ice machine, and a private elevator. A large glass wall at the far end has a security door that effectively blocks your admission to the Costa Club rooms down the hallway. Uh, Got it. Is that how we get in? I don't know. This don't door know. bears a tiny brass plaque with the delicate La Costellata logo and the digits 201. Up, oh, that's our room. Oh, yay. Okay, sweet. Like every other guest room in the hotel, this door requires a key. Oh, you have to actually use your key? The, uh, ugh, so realistic. What the hell's wrong with the ice machine? That's making ice. Well, let the chips fall where they may. Uh, okay. Ice chips. Got it, got it, Ross? I got, I got it, I got it, I got it. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. It's actually not that bad. <laughs> if you, like, like, throw up, like, interior design. <laughs> Through your deluxe room's deluxe window, you can see various deluxe parts of this deluxe resort. I wonder how often the Costellata has to be reluxed. I, I didn't quite understand that, but that's fine. I want to take a look. Um, controls. Yeah, let's turn the music down a little bit. Crank it. Or turn it off. Fucking buzz killer. There we go. I just want the the voice to be um, mm. louder than the music, even though the music is lovely. You'd hate to have to match the pattern on that carpet. Okay. Yeah, it's true. Oh, wait, what's that on the table? Well, there's a bunch of stuff. A sleek, contemporary-looking phone sits on your coffee table. Batman? <laughs> <laughs> the pink telephone services card reads... Oh. oh, okay, that'll be helpful. Touch A for my Um, t -t 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 -t. housekeeping and building maintenance. Oh, I'm kind of curious about housekeeping. Yeah. Yeah. We can we can give him a call. All right. What if it's like a, a sexy maid? I bet it will be, knowing this game. Oh, is it seventy five? Seventy five. Housekeeping. May I help you? Okay. Hi, it's me, Larry. Larry Laffer. <laughs> yes, I know. Your name's right here on the computer screen. However, the question was, may I help you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I was um, <clears throat> just trying out my new phone. Next time, try reading those cards on the table. They contain lots of numbers of other departments you can bother. I mean, uh, call. <laughs> okay, I will. Bye bye. Okay. Damn. So she's not actually. Okay, so we're probably gonna have to use that later on in the game, I imagine. For sure. Yeah. The red housekeeping services card reads. Oh, uh, okay. We had to look at this first. Okay. Now we know what to ask for for the turndown service. Oh. Yeah. I know Sierra Games. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. What the fuck? Think of all the trouble that woman went to just for the chance to look into your room and maybe catch you undressed. Yeah, I'm sure that was, that's what <laughs> yeah. that was all about. Yeah. The blue spa services card reads, 
Okay, zap away fat in our electroshock exercise thinner. Stimulating Euro mud baths. Ooh, the high colonic thrill. That sounds exciting. That sounds excellent. And the dry heat of our Swedish sauna. Note, Dr. Swinebutt's world-famous cellulite drainage salon is temporarily closed. What the fuck? All right, well, I'm sure I'm sure all that will come clear later. Swinebutt? In, in the meantime, let's, let's call yeah, them let's again. Yeah, let's call. Okay. Call 75. Okay. Housekeeping, may I help you? This is Larry Lapper. <laughs> yeah, I notice you have something called a turn down service. Is this something I need to request? Turn down for Usually what? Usually I have no <laughs> trouble getting turned down. Aw. Yes, you do, Mr. Lapper. I'll make a note of it. This evening, we leave a little gift for you and your pillow. Oh boy, I love presents. <laughs> Okay. Okay. They're going to leave a little gift for us on our pillow. Is it a horse head? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> Let's see what this door does. It's the bathroom. Oh, great. Oh, I love how we're actually playing inside the mirror. Oh, yeah. Very, very, uh, very artistic choice. While your bathroom is small, it is complete. And what a great view. Okay. Ugh. Yuck. The water coming out of the sink is brown. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, I bet we have to call maintenance. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Do you think that prompted it? Good boy. Huh? Oh, oh. Oh. Oh, I bet we can take a pee. You carefully adjust your clothing. Oh, God. Oh, no. Ah! You hope no one noticed. I have to use it on the fine. Your fly was undone. The oh, right yeah. place. Yay! Is that, is that no, no, that's just his hand. I love his face. <laughs> <laughs> we did it. Wait, now, what, is, what are the numbers at the top? That's our score. Oh, so, so every, we actually just bumped up our score by yeah, taking a every, whiz. Every, yeah, every time we do something right. Okay, so now we need to wash our hands. There are quite a few things to do here in the back. Oh. Uh, Yuck. The water coming out of the sink is brown. What's the point of washing your hands with that shit? It's a good point. All right. By the way, that noise was there Aaron's email, apparently. Oh, is that right? Yeah, whenever you hear that. Gru, 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 gru. <laughs> I don't know why it does that. You flush the toilet. Good boy. Yes, okay. We had to flush because. You know, I don't prescribe to the if it's yellow, let it mellow. Oh, if it's brown, the... flush it down technique. I I believe. Yeah, I don't that's understand right. the whole mellow thing. What are you trying to wait for? Like to become yeah. fucking like wine? Ooh, God! I wish my urine fermented. Let's see what's in here. Wow, dress cool. Complimentary leisure suits. Oh, nice. God. Excellent. Okay, let's call. It's called maintenance real quick. So we got, oh, oh, no, sorry. Uh, 76, I think. Was it 76? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, hello, this is building maintenance, landscaping, and grounds. <laughs> May I please to be helping you? <laughs> hello? There's brown water coming out of my bathroom sink. Is there anything you can do about it? Ah, yes, but of course, Mr. Laffer. I am so sorry. Let me send up one of our best men. Right away, pronto, soon, quick, quick. Oh, I'm pleased to be accepting our sincere apology for any inconvenience and perhaps if you are suffering. Ah, perhaps I can make some adjustment to your bill. Please, just a moment while I check the computer. Oh, I see. Never mind. <laughs> uh, Mr. Laffer, I'll be sure to send up somebody sometime, maybe in a few hours, maybe never. And please, don't bother calling back. What? Damn. Well, he he checked the computer and found out that uh think of all the trouble that woman went. Oh, we got gotcha. you. Uh he checked the computer and saw that I didn't pay for the room. I won it like because of Stallions, the game show we were on. Oh, you hear the obnoxiously right. loud whine of a compressor emanating from somewhere below you near the kitchen. Ooh. Okay, there's a compressor somewhere. Let's take a peek at these flowers and then we'll get out of here. A beautiful bouquet of tropical flowers sits on your coffee table. Can we take them? You Possibly? yank the carpet as hard as you what? can, but you oh, can't. Oh no! Uh -huh. 
All right, let's try the flowers, flowers, please. Got him. Did you turn up the speed? It's really fast. This is a good speed to do it at. Yeah. Yeah, there's not too much, like, there's not too many ways to die in this game. Oh, of course, yeah. yeah. So it's okay to just waltz around quickly. Okay, so now we got flowers we can give to a girl. Oh, really? That, that's what you're gonna do with them? Yeah, well, I guess I, that's all you can I, do with I flowers. Assume. I assume. Mean, what are they good for? All right. Hey, dude. Mm? Guess what? What? We're fucking playing Leisure Suit Larry Six. That's pretty fun. I'm all right, yay! yay! Okay, so uh, that's where we'll stop this first episode, and then when you come back uh, tomorrow, we'll uh, we'll really get rolling. We're gonna get rolling. We're gonna get to it. We're gonna do it all. Solid, Ross. Solid ending to that. <laughs> <laughs> Love you. <laughs> Bye. Hello. Hey, welcome back. Welcome back to Leisure Suit Larry 6. Shape up or slip out. Russ, what are you doing with that fruit roll up? Uh, I, I got a whole, I, for Christmas, Aaron bought me a whole pack, like a wholesale packet of fruit roll ups. <laughs> Do you know why? Like every other guest room. Oh, because you keep eating all the red ones? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you know about that? Yes, of course I know about that. <laughs> so we have for, a whole- for, Oh, Jesus. <laughs> uh, for anyone who doesn't know, we have a, um, this we have like a, uh, what is this it? Like a giant economy-sized uh, thing of fruit by the foot. Mm -hmm. And Ross, mm -hmm. the cool guy that he is, I like, can't prove it was me. Yeah, it's definitely you. Likes to uh, <laughs> likes to go in and like open them and make see if they're red ones. And if they are, he'll eat them. And if they're not, he'll just put them back, <laughs> opened and uneaten. So there's like 15 unopened. Oh, it's <laughs> disgusting, Ross. What are you doing? We went for Christmas. Aaron gave me this giant box, like huge box. I was like, what is this? He's like. Open it up. And he gave me this giant wholesale box of fucking only red flavor fruit roll-ups. Oh, that's nice of him. He so probably he stuffed in my face with them. Because he probably wanted you to stop scamming. That's true. Okay, uh, so uh, I just realized we didn't have towels and stuff in our bathroom, so I'm gonna call. Oh, gross. I'm gonna call room service one more time. Housekeeping, may I help you? Yes, my bathroom is totally unstocked. Uh, don't you give lots of little free thingies here? You know, shower caps, tiny bottles of shampoo, shoehorns, stuff like that? Why no, we don't. Well, great. How about toilet paper, towels, washcloths? You know, I should get those, right? Yes, you should. I'll send the maid up to service you right away. Yay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that would be fine. Tell her to just barge right in, regardless of the condition I'm in. Oh, our help never enters a guest room while someone is there. Strict the policy. Simple courtesy, you know. Also, it prevents lawsuits from schmucks who want to accost our maids. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I right. suppose I'll head down to the pool now. Good. The sooner you leave, the sooner you'll get serviced. Okay, so that's helpful information. Right. You hear the, the obnoxiously loud whine of a compressor emanating from somewhere below you. Okay, cool. Oh, there's our there's our gift. Wait, when did that happen? Cause cause we left the room, so they uh... came and did the turn down service. Let's take a look. Isn't that thoughtful? The maid turned down your bed, and instead of leaving you a chocolate, left you a condom. Oh. We shouldn't. Let's, let's take that used condom. Wait, no, that's not cool. You grab the condom from your pillow. All right, safety first, everybody. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see if maintenance guy is here. There he is. Fixing that sink. Looks like the Hulk. Yeah, it does. I mean, not the Hulk. Thanks Hulk for Hogan. coming right. so fast. I wish I had a dollar for every time I heard that. Huh? No, I, I mean, thanks for fixing my sink so quickly. <laughs> is it done yet? Done? Already? Give me a break! You know how many things I gotta get done today? I got people waiting everywhere! You think you're the only person in this place with plumbing problems? You guests are all alike! Jeez. I'm so busy, I don't have time to take a crap anymore! Yeah, I can tell by the way you wear your jeans. Oh, damn! Gosh, I'm so sorry you're so busy. How about if I get out of your way? <laughs> See you later. I'll just wait in my room or something. Oh, yeah, good idea. The sooner you leave me alone, the sooner I'll get this done! What a bag of dicks. Yeah, what a Jeez. fucking asshole. What an asshole. <laughs> <laughs>
Jeez, what an asshole. <laughs> nice. Let's, let's steal shit from him. Pull your dick out. <laughs> that tickles. Hey, what are you, some kind of fag? Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> hey, this right. was not a PC time. Wow. That's funny. That's really, like, shocking to hear these days. Yeah. But I guess not a big deal in 1994. Pull your dick out. The spa plumber <laughs> lies under your sink working hard to correct your brown water. Wouldn't you think he'd be uncomfortable lying on that huge tool belt? Ah, uh, okay, there's something to do with the tool belt. Oh, pick it off? Let's see what happens. Say, I bet he'd never miss a simple adjustable wrench. Nice. We stole his wrench. Oh, let's try fantastic. again. Say, I bet he'd never miss a simple file. <laughs> cool. We're just stealing a ton of shit Wait, from this Wait, how guy. much are we going to steal from him? Let's see what happens. Mark has nothing more for you to steal, uh, borrow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, great. Let's get out of here. How could you seriously miss that giant head, like, leaning over you and taking <laughs> something? <laughs> it's awesome. Gotta suspend a little disbelief. Mm. Okay, so, let's get out of here. Oh. Hey, Mark. Got your water problem taken care of, Mr. Leper. You won't have any more troubles now. Thank you. If I do, I'll ask for you. How did I know that? What a douche. God, what an asshole. Cool. <laughs> what an asshole. <laughs> oh, sweet. The maid cart came. Oh. Okay, let's steal a bunch of let's shit get from this. This a popcorn cart. It really does. The maid's cart is filled with the usual towels and washcloths, plus lots of other freebies which she places in the guests' bathrooms. Funny, you haven't seen any of this stuff in your bathroom. Okay. Fucking yeah. steal that shit. Yeah, every single thing we can. Fucking She was assholes. probably going to give you a fresh roll of toilet paper today anyway. <laughs> Hand cream might be good for those itchy palms of yours. Nice. Use this when you want to make a good impression. Oh, he said that for a reason. Okay, mm -hmm. that the soap. The soap, something about an impression. Okay. We'll figure out it out later. I'll bet the maid was going to leave me a washcloth. <laughs> you don't really need that, but perhaps the cart may contain other objects you do need. Okay. Um, pull your dick out. No, you don't. Th oh, you, all right. You just can't look at a bottle of hand cream without thinking about masturbation. <laughs> 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 well, this game knows us so well. It said there was more. Maybe there's. Maybe there's another side to this. The maid's yep. cart is filled with the usual towels and washcloths, plus lots of other freebies which she places in the guests' bathrooms. Funny? Okay. Is that just a towel? I bet I could use a towel sometime. Yep. I, need I a towel could use these for tracing paper. Mm. Let's grab these. What are those? I can always use some more dental floss. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. I think we've pretty much picked this thing clean. Yeah. All right, so. There's, there's no. Okay. Exit. All right, we stole a lot of shit. Look at our fucking inventory. Inventory? Inventory. What is this? I think that's If La Costellata was really thoughtful, they would have provided these in your bathroom instead of on that maid's cart. Thank you, very helpful. Oh, it's a toilet seat cover. Oh, okay. really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't. Nah, I see it now. Okay. So we've got all kinds of stuff now. Let's get out of here. Fucking bail. Let's start. Ex Hello, sir. Well, the guy. Don't worry about him later. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh, dude, this is a whole resort. Let's see. Wow. Let's see what's here. Ah, the health spa. Hello, sir. Gary, the towel attendant, flits around behind the towel counter, straightening up things that are already straight and trying to unstraighten things that are straight. Show him your penis. Ah, uh, let me talk to him first. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. 
Is this where I get my spa towel? Yes, it is, handsome. Oh, my God. Please have your name and room number. <laughs> oh, thank you, walking stereotype. Larry. Larry Laffer, <laughs> and I'm in room... Uh, say, wait a minute. Exactly why do you want my room number? Why, so we can charge you for the towels you don't return. Well, okay, I guess. It's room 201, right at the top of the stairs. Feel free to drop in. Oh, goody! Not. Oh, a oh. not joke. They, see, that's not cool, Larry. That's not cool. Don't, don't play with his yeah, heart. Yeah, don't, don't get the man's hopes up. Maybe he likes your gigantic, disgusting head. Yeah, someone does. If you have any trouble in the locker room, just squeal. <laughs> oh, my God. Whoa. Oh, damn. Okay. Oh, God. Goodness. Oh, oh, goodness. We might oh. have to blur that out, actually. Uh, I think Barry's editing these episodes Barry, this week. Barry, blur out you... the young, naked lady at the end of this because thing. Because Kevin's on his Christmas break. Oh, right. Yeah. Have fun, Kevin. And Barry's Jewish. Whoa! Hey. Whoa. Oh. oh, okay. All right. Let's... We don't need a shower right now. Oh, hello, young lady. Oh, she's in poop. That's not poop. I believe that's mud. That's what I said. No, okay. Um, let's... Actually, I don't think I'm supposed to be here yet. Oh, 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 oh okay. Go Barry, give him a hug. Barry, Show him your wiener. Barry, you may, you may want to blur out that guy's butt. Put some pants on him. <laughs> Put some really good <laughs> Levi jeans on him. <laughs> let's see, let's see what else is here. Ooh. What is this? Oh, I think you can make everything super hot. So this is what a high colonic treatment suite looks like. Oh no. Apparently this the woman fuck? really loves flowers. Just look around. Do you know what a colonic is, Barry? I mean, Ross? Is that where you put your uh, thing in your butt and then you, you flush out the poop? That's correct. Oh. We actually have a something like that down the street from us. <laughs> Tell me more after the episode. In the meantime, let's talk to this lady. Hello, miss. My name is Larry. Larry Laffer? <laughs> Hello. Rosé has fine shoulder-length brown hair that looks soft and kissable. Ooh. Damn. Very natural pose, too. Very relaxed. Yeah. Welcome to La Casa Lata's High Kalanic Treatment Suite, Mr. Laffer. Your presence here is welcome to me, Rosé Alita, and your attendant person duty. Uh, thanks, Rosé. <laughs> nice to meet you, too. <laughs> You're in charge of haiku lyrics? Okie dokie, it is, Laffer. <laughs> Sometimes I understand not your English so good. You see, Rosé, very new in U.S. of A. From Spain, I have come just. <laughs> so ridiculous. How long have you been in this country, Rosé? Mm, maybe 3,000 miles. Oh in God. country oh not boy. far. But English speak good. No? Uh, no. Um, I mean, yes. I love his fucking shit-eating grin that he has yeah. on his face at all times. What brought you to America? Airplane. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I love it. I do love it. What I mean is, why did you leave Spain and journey all this way? Simply. To America, I come to be an au pair for a pair of children. Au pair? Huh? You must enjoy working with children, huh? No. Making children much more to my liking. But give up tending <laughs> children, I did. Bad hours. Expect you to leave bed during night. Not rosé. When bed I go, I go for hours. Okay. Yeah. I wish I had a dollar for every time I've heard that. Good job, Larry. <laughs> Ding! <laughs> Back to the <laughs> smile. Back to the shitty eating grin. <laughs> Rosé, would you like to try a little something special with me? I consider myself quite the continental type. <laughs> Very sophisticated and uh, urbane. <laughs> Just that nice. But where I come from, women expect gift before freebie. Hmm. Say, this girl is continental. No, not this. 
What? Give her uh, a, 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 a room key or give her a towel. Toilet paper. Uh, All right, I'll give her the toilet paper. What? Why did you think I would want something like that? I have not needs for such a, a how you say, thingy. You don't need to wipe your butt. That's disgusting. Well, what about that slab of meat? What's that? That's a that's a piece of soap. Oh, let's see what we got. Um, um condom, nail file, uh, dental floss, flour, flowers. hand cream. Oh yeah, she's wearing a flower thing. Yeah, it's the same color what, what, flowers. And wasn't there a shit ton of flowers in the room? Mm-hmm. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think she wants flowers. I got a funny feeling. Okay. Perhaps you should look at her first. Oh, fine. No, Jeez. Oh, where are you going? You know, it's okay. She's back. She's okay. back. Good, good, good. I just have to do it in the, in this scene. Ah, uh, right. Okay. Ding. Yeah. Got it. That was an easy one. Oh, that's nice. Hey, here you go, Rosie. I'd like to give you a little something special. I can see how much you enjoy flowers. His head is gigantic. Oh, gracias, Lawrence. They are most beautiful. I'll put them right over here. She, like, throws them out the window. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And in return, I'd like to give you a little something special. Yay. Mi nuevo amigo. What? My new hey, friend. Hey, Larry, oh. finally you're going to get lucky. And with this hot Spanish senorita, too. Please do examine closely the painting on the wall over there. I believe you will surely enjoy that which will follow. She said, go look at the painting. I don't... I don't get it. The painting's like a butt with a tree coming I out of it. I will make you experience feelings you never knew before. Oh, it is. <laughs> that wouldn't be hard. Oh, I think we're getting a high colonic. Wait, they're gonna flush her colon? Oh, boy. You will feel like a new man. Good. Because the old man wasn't getting any. Oh, boy. This, oh, this might not be good. Why am I looking at a painting? Why is she running that Harley with the carb too rich? <laughs> I don't like where this is going. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, wait, it looks like she has a big... Are you ready for a good time? Oh, I've been ready for 30 years. That's <laughs> nice. I'm all yours, Rosé. Oh, dear. Okay, honey. Drop those pants. You do it in the sh in the bag? Oh no, you get into the stirrups. Oh no! <laughs> Finally, Larry. Oh, no. But shouldn't she at least dim the lights? Oh god, no. Whoa! What's that? Rose, uh, exactly what does high colonic mean? <laughs> Yo! Ah! Oh, Larry. <laughs> Isn't it wonderful? Am I right? Isn't it a feeling you've never felt before? Yo! <laughs> <laughs> that fucking sound effect. <laughs> oh my god. A few hours later? Holy shit. Good god. That's Rose, I've never oh, felt more gross. emotions in such a short period of time. Yes, I know. All my customers say that. But here, Lawrence, allow me to give you a little something in return. No! Not again! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you silly! No! This! This! Why, Rosé! What a beautiful orchid! It's... it's... it's so... prom night! Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you, Larry. Come back soon so we can do this again, okay? That is literally a spa full of you shit. You know, I don't feel pooped anymore. <laughs> oh. I'll bet you don't. See? And also, you are not so full of shit. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Dude. Wow. What did she say? 
When are you gonna learn to stay away from women, sweetie? G yeah, let's save our game. Save the game. Okay. Definitely it's, save the it, game. It's your time to shine, Ross. <gasps> Holy yeah. shit! Yeah, you forgot that this is what Sierra games are all about. <laughs> all right, do it up. All right, you can just save it as like high colonic. Or yo butt been flushed. <laughs> <laughs> oh yay! Okay, we're right back to it, man. Woo! Okay, uh, thank you for joining us on that unfortunate situation. But we made progress. Ninety-seven points. Yeah, this is right. good. Next all right. Time on Steam Train. Yeah, next time on Steam Train, our quest for love continues. Yay. I hope it ends with love and not more butt stuff. I hope so. Too. Well, love and butt stuff. Welcome back to Steam Train, everybody. Hello. Okay, so we're gonna leave the health spa for a little bit. Go, uh, go exploring. Let's see what else is around here. Because we've got a whole big world. Well, not a big world, but a but a health resort. Oh, it looks like a pool. God, those paintings are weird. That one on the far right looks like Gordon Ramsay. Kind of looks like you. What? Not, not you, but Leisure Suit Larry. Oh. Yeah. This sculpture is a rare example of the fine carving skills of the now extinct African tribe from the Lac Kanuki region of Mozambique. Lac Kanuki. All right. You All say right. so. You see bright daylight at the end of the corridor. Let's go check it out. It looks like a pool. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, yeah. Wait, are they girlies? <gasps> it's the bungee burp, babe. Oh, yeah. The crystal clear waters of the pool are deliciously inviting. Yeah, man. Yeah, this I is like nice. It. This is nice. La Costellata's large, kidney shaped swimming pool is ringed with chaise lounges and watched over by a handsome young lifeguard. Let's talk to a babe. What a fox! You wouldn't kick this lady out of bed for eating crackers. <laughs> I wouldn't kick Unless any. Unless that's all she eats. Huh. I wouldn't kick any lady out of bed for eating crackers. I'd be like, hey, <laughs> can we share those crackers? Let's cuddle. Hey, Hiya, sweeties. Since you're a sun worshiper and, well, I'm a sun, why don't you come up to my place and worship me? Oh, boy. <sighs> Bug off, or I'll kick you where the sun won't shine. What accent's that? That sounded Jersey-ish. Yeah. Bug off. I'll kick you where the. Ah, oh, never mind. Did you ever have an accent like that? No, I consciously tried never to get one. Oh, cool. You can hear it in certain words, though. Hey, like, honey. You get mad? There may be a lot of <laughs> fish in the sea, but uh, I'm your catch of the day. You? No, I'd have to throw you back for being undersized. Oh, oh, damn. Oh, the shot's fired. <laughs> yeah, sometimes, like, when I say all, like, I'll be like, we're all going, like, if I'm not careful. You know, you know, it's one thing that I've been caught many times, uh, two things. One, I will repeat things, so uh -huh. if someone goes, oh, she's, she's, she's a hot girl, you'd be like, oh, yeah, she's pretty hot, I, you know, that's like a really Australian thing to repeat something. Yeah, 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 And on yeah, top yeah. of that, I say like a lot. Like. Is, I always get comments about, oh. It's like, oh, yeah, it's like that thing, uh, I think it's an Australian thing. I just say like a oh, shit ton. We say like a lot too. You just say like. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. A deflated swimming pool float in the shape of a Canadian Highland beaver lies what? unnoticed and unwanted. Oh, let's grab that beaver float. Let's take that beaver. You know it. You grab yourself so a swimming pool get. float in the shape of a beaver. Yay. Yay. And like all men, of course, you can always use a little beaver. <laughs> oh boy. What's that thing like in the water? Is it like stuff going around it? Oh yeah, what is it? <laughs> oh. A cash register sits totally unused at the rear of the bar. Oh, it's a little floating pool bar. Oh, wow. Boy, I love playing games like this in the winter. It's so like nice and summery. Yeah, right? It makes me feel good. Someone has left an expensive sunglass case lying on the bar. From here, you are unable to ascertain its contents. I can't believe it. Let me just Let's grab just that. fucking steal <laughs> Yeah. Sneaking over to the edge of the pool and leaning way out, you inquire about that pair of sunglasses lying on the bar. Anybody lose these? <laughs> well, guess they're mine now. <laughs> Shut it in front again. <laughs> Anybody lose these? That's great. All right, let's see. You have a deluxe sunglasses case that doesn't appear to be empty. Oh. It's hard to tell right now since it's still closed. Open it. Uh, yeah, very subtle. Okay. 
You open the sunglasses case. Okay. Hey, nice pair of shades. Perfect for lounging around poolside. Blue one. Let's see. Wait, let's see if there's anything else in there. These must be deluxe sunglasses. They come complete with their very own cute little white polishing cloth. Oh. Ah, okay. Um, cool. I think we did everything we can here, right? Yeah. Can't touch the tip jar. A small, empty glass labeled tips sits at the rear of the bar. Ugh. Okay. Dreamers. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's, let's try to talk to the, the pool guy. Maybe we should put the sunglasses on. Oh, okay. So we look cool. Right. Cooler, mm -hmm. Ross. Is that Sorry, is that, cooler. That's what I think you meant. Where's the sunglasses? I think they're too far to the right. I don't, I don't see them for some reason. I guess the sunglasses aren't important. I guess it's just the cloth that matters. Oh, that's weird. Well, you never know with these games. I guess just talk to that guy. Sure. Hello, my name is Larry. Larry Laffer. <laughs> I'd like to go swimming here. It looks like you need a swimsuit first there, uh, Larry Larry. But feel free to change clothes in our exclusive European uh, changing bushes. They're right over there on the other side of the pool. <laughs> Do we have the, cha the changing bushes? No. Shit, this is ringing a bell. I haven't played this in so long. I think we have to make our swimsuit. What? Yeah. Out of what? I don't know. The fucking thing we just got? The cloth? Yeah. Let's see. This tiny swatch of cloth was included free with the purchase of any pair of sunglasses. Tiny? It's not that tiny. There are guys out at the pool wearing swimsuits smaller than that. Yeah, oh, okay. Oh, yeah. All right, so you're on the right track. Right. It's that mixed with something. Oh, what about the towel or the condom or this mixed with the condom? Mm -hmm. Nope. Um, dental floss. The dental floss. Oh. You definitely. Yes. Ah, uh, yeah. Floss. It's like the sunglasses polishing cloth to form a rather small European style swimsuit. Oh, awesome. Okay. Um, do you want to save? Oh yeah. Okay. You can just save it as like dental floss uh, swimsuit or something like that. Co cov cover your butt with <sighs> strong. Oh, sorry, that's string. String. Cover your butts with strong. Oh, whatever. Cover your butts with strong. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you, Ross. All right. Let's, let's put this bad boy on. Ooh. The European changing bushes. Oh. Yay! You're practically naked. Okay. Alright, let's get in. How the fuck were you supposed to figure that shit out? Oh, I... I mean, it took, it took forever. I haven't played this in a long time. Yay, we're in the water! Okay. Could we pose as the person selling drinks, maybe? Or? Unfortunately, guests are only allowed to drink at the pool's floating bar if they have an adequate approved flotation device. Oh, uh, my no. beaver. Just blow them up. You can't use the beaver until it's inflated. How do we inflate it? Uh, talk to the beaver? Mm, no, it's not alive, Ross. Okay, uh... <laughs> blow into it. Can you do that? Is that it? No, icon? there's there's no icon Pull for it. Pull your penis out. Okay. On the beaver. You carefully adjust your clothing. Okay. Ah! You hope no one noticed. Okay. Haven't you learned yet to keep that thing away from strange beavers? <laughs> okay. God. Nice. I had no idea it was going to go there. Uh, 
All right, we need to find a way to inflate it. You might be able to do that if you got out of the pool first. Okay. Well, you think we should inflate it out of the pool? I, there's no way to do it here. Right. <laughs> that's my main problem. Oh, what if we use the the? Uh, that's maybe that's too wild a shot. If we use the the butt thing. The butt thing. The the butt thing. The oh the, the high colonic treatment. Yeah, like on the beaver, would that pump it up? But that shoots water, not air. Well, I mean, it'd still fill it up. <laughs> but it wouldn't float because it would be full of water. I guess. Oh. You'd here. Hold on. Let's say. Would float. Water balloons float. <laughs> water balloons float. Let's keep. All right. So we did some stuff here. We just need to keep. We need to keep searching around. Excuse me, someone's knocking. Man, business hasn't been this good since the Taylor Convention. Jeez. Hey, come back later. I'm working. Okay. Oh, okay. That's where a prostitute works. Okay, good to know. Great, great, great. Oh. Oh, what's this? I don't know where we are. It's a burger place or food court. Yeah, let's take a look. Oh, how cruel. La Costellata has placed gigantic graphics of extremely fattening foods on their walls while only serving cardboard flavored health food. Gross. That is unfair. La Costellata's salad bar is presently nothing but off-color, half-melted ice. Come back at dinner time and it will be different. Yeah, by then it'll be off-color, fully melted ice. <laughs> All right. However, you do notice a faint trace of color under one section of the ice. Oh. Urine. Let's see. What the fuck is he doing? <laughs> Digging around, I guess. Oh. Well, Seeing orange. a hint of color beneath the ice, you dig away until you uncover a fresh orange left over from breakfast. It seems to be in surprisingly good shape. Well, all right then. Take that shit. Well, I might as well take this orange. You never know when a guy might want something to uh, suck on. Nice, nice, Larry. Oh God, I love it. I love this game. Uh, let's uh, let's see what's in the kitchen. Oh, wait, what is a taco truck doing inside? Excellent question. By those cheap corporate bastards. La Costellata is supposed to be a health spa, and all they do is feed their customers fast food from a roach coach. <laughs> oh, is that what and you call them? Roach coaches? Been here quite a while. One of its tires is flat. One of its tires is flat. Why would it tell us that? Huh. Oh, maybe because you can pump up the tires. Oh, bro. But you can pump up your beaver. With the fucking beaver. All right. Smart. Let's see what happens. This tire appears to be low on air. Oh, what about this one? Cleverly realizing the truck's tire is a source of pressurized air. Yes. You press the beaver's inflator onto the tire's valve stem. Good job, Ross. Thank you, thank you. I'm a so sort of savant when it comes to this. So smart. Oh, pump that beaver. Yeah. <laughs> I uh, hope that was good for you, too. Oh, shit. I love it. Okay. Let's check this trash. There's a handle and some kind of bucket buried in the trash. All right. Of course, digging through the trash is always a good idea in an Al Lowe game. Nice. Hey, look, somebody threw away a five gallon can of lard. <laughs> Let's take it. I feel like that's something that was mentioned. The lard? Like fat or something? There's nothing else in these trash cans worth. Oh yeah, 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 like the fat sucker thing. Yeah. Oh yeah, well, we have a fucking big ass can of lard now. What is this thing? La Costellata's kitchen looks nothing nope. like- it's nothing. Vending machine, maybe? Four large refrigerators nearly fill the wall. No, not what I wanted to do. Let's take shit. You just can't face taking any of this year-old food. Look somewhere else for what you need. Okay. Take the, the knife from the table um, to defend yourself. From hunks. Oh. You can't pull the cleaver out of the chopping block. 
It's in too tight. Okay. Okay. A feeling wholly unfamiliar to you. Oh, oh damn. Oh, brrrr. <laughs> Shit. All right, let's see. La Costellata's kitchen looks nothing like you expected. There are no chefs anywhere in sight. Okay. But Thought that was something? What's this? The dumb waiter on the far wall is used to deliver meals to the hotel's penthouse apartment. Okay. All right. Let's push. While you would like to whip yourself up a good meal, this kitchen is almost empty. Okay. Um, no, this has to be something. While you would like, you bang on the door, never noticing the control panel right beside you. God damn it. <laughs> Such an asshole. While you would like, while you would like to whip yourself up a good meal, this kitchen is almost empty. Well, huh, that's really weird. These buttons control the dumbwaiter beside them. I feel like you should be able to push that, don't you? Maybe pull your penis out? While you would like. While you would, <laughs> no, nope. you press the green oh, there button okay. on the dumbwaiter's control panel and see the doors slide open. Now, how are you going to fit inside that tiny chamber? Your penis. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just. Oh, all right. Oh, okay. no, all right. <laughs> oh my God. All right, I'm in. It's probably a garbage dispenser. Oh. Let's see what happens. <gasps> oh, poor Larry. Oh no. Ooh. This is someone's bedroom. Yeah, where am I? All right, we'll worry. We'll figure this out next time on Steam, Steam Train. Steam Train, and we're gonna yeah. Think yeah, Trey, she. All right, welcome back. We are in some kind of super swanky place. It's very, very minimalist and chill. Yeah. Do you think this is someone else's hotel room? Oh, oh my God. Oh, she's hot. You can just tell. The penthouse's living room is sparsely yet tastefully decorated in an oriental minimalist style. One item here attracts your attention. It's she's the sitting fish. Out on the balcony. Sorry. <laughs> Who are you? Oh. Yeah, let's save this. Dude, this is this is the girl. This is the ultimate like I'm sorry, oh, I hit a button. You fucking blew it. I was picking up the it's keyboard. Okay, I'll do it again. I'll save save Omatic. Uh, oh, yes, please. Sorry, let's save. No, we no. saved it as cover your butts with strung. Here, Ross, I'll give you save as. I'll give you the chance to. Thank you. Yes. Okay. You can save it as, like, final girl. Or, like, girl of my dreams. Grill, so fine. She will be. Mm, be, she will bem. She will be my girl. Mm -hmm. So fine. She will be my men. She will be men. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Hello, gorgeous lady. Oh, have I died and gone to heaven? Who are you? And which department of the spa do you represent? I don't recognize your strange uniform. Are you with the kitchen help? When did they start dressing retro? And why? Are you sure you're supposed to be here? Oh, I don't. Uh, wait, wait. Uh, actually, that's right. I, I do work for the spa. <laughs> Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Larry. Larry Laffer. <laughs> How do you do, Mr. Laffer? I'm Shamara Payne. Please state your business here. Um, uh, well, um, I, I, I believe there was some, uh, Report downstairs uh, about the dumbwaiter. Yep, <laughs> your dumbwaiter was written up. <laughs> Have you had trouble with your dumbwaiter? Dumbwaiter? No, not really. At least no more than usual. Oh. Are you just going to stand there doing nothing, Mr. Larry Laffer? Uh, mm-hmm. Uh... Take your penis out. Take your penis out right no, now. No, Ross, this is the girl like of our dreams. This is the ultimate girl. There's so better. Um, okay, let's try taking our penis out. Hmm. Methinks not. I don't want the chance offending this one. Okay. You don't dare risk offending this woman. You may never get so close to one so perfect again. Throw lard at her. Okay. Give her lard. Wait. Do you always sit here, Shamra? Just staring out at the ocean? Yes. Once I led a frenetic life, 
Double clutching espressos at 6 a.m. power breakfasts, concording my way across the pond. Why, I once even owned an Apple Newton. Wow. I don't know but what that one is. day, I finally looked at myself in my apartment's mirrored ballroom and realized I may be fabulously wealthy. I may be at the top of my chosen profession. I may hang out with the cognoscenti. Damn, I should have packed a thesaurus. But am I happy? Well, yes, I was. Quite. <laughs> but more importantly, does my life have meaning? Why am I alive? What difference would it make if I just checked out? So, in what I felt was an extremely goganish move, I left my penthouse in the care of my servants and moved to this rather deserted island to live a Spartan life of contemplation and thought. Oh, living off room yeah. service and new age music until I can fathom my meaningless life. Rich. Good. Thoughtful. <laughs> Bad. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Ding. Smile. Ding. Okay. So yes, now I do remember. So this girl, like your whole objective in this game is to, like, fall in love with this girl and right. make sweet sex with her, and she is like having an existential crisis, and you have to show her why life is worth living. Okay. And show her and express that to her in a way that will lead you to to boning. With a tub of lard. Let's, let's give her the lard, see what happens. No, on second thought, I don't think she'd care for that. <laughs> but what would a woman like this need? Yeah, you have to give her like a bunch of things okay, throughout the game. Uh, definitely the flower. flower. Definitely, definitely the flower. The flower. Okay. But let's try the toilet paper again. You got it, in one second. I want you to have this flower. An orchid. How beautiful. How high school promise. But you wouldn't just give me an orchid, would you? That would be too simple. Well, I... No, this is not merely an orchid. Let me think. It is natural and beautiful and unique and... Wait, I see. You're using this orchid to symbolize the perfection and purity of nature. <laughs> how natural things are best. How the world well, can create millions yep. of these flowers, no two alike, just like human beings. Mm. And thus, with a simple flower, you are encouraging me to recognize my own individuality, my own uniqueness, my oneness with nature, oh. my own connection to the everlasting <laughs> life force. Hell, I just thought it was kind of pretty. <laughs> I knew you'd understand. So yeah, she's basically like the deepest woman in the world, and you're the most shallow dickbag in the world. Right. And you're trying to like, accidentally stumble into correctly giving her all the right stuff. But I don't think we have anything else right now. Oh, uh... Let's give her the TP, just to make you yeah, happy. let's just, just see what happens. No? Nope, I, <laughs> that was God, a... such a fucking stick in the mud. I know, I know. All right, so we'll come back to her because, like, the, she's like a full game conquest. Oh, it, okay, so she's like end game. Yes, but we'll check in with her like from time to time when we have more you stuff know, to needs, give her. She needs a headband to keep that hair down. She's really she pretty. Going everywhere. Did you notice how like per certain parts of her are animated and others aren't? Yes. Like certain parts of her hair were like staying the uh, same. I was actually time. observing. That's actually interesting. You bring that up. I was. As an animator, I was observing that. I'm like, what parts of the head are moving? And yeah. It's like, oh, she's got this like one curl over, like comb over in the back layers. Yeah. They whatever. They saved a lot of time. Mm. But like it, with any Larry game, mm -hmm. she's the ultimate one that we will hopefully ultimately succeed with. But we have to fucking blow it with every other girl on this <laughs> place oh, beforehand. For God's sake. Yeah. Um. Oh, but now we can go back to the pool because we oh, have right. we have the beaver. And see, now the bar is kicking. Okay. Oh, we need a flotation device to drink. Right. Yes. So. So let's get on that beaver. Yeah, you got it. Hold on, first we have to change. <laughs> oh, yeah. Gotta cover that little piece of chicken fillet with, uh, <laughs> with a bit of tissue paper. Come on now. Whoops. Don't go away, Larry. Where is it? There it is. 
sure you yes. have like a large amount of cock and ball cleavage pumpkin through. Oh, absolutely. Oh. Okay, let's do it. Hey, move that bar over here, will ya? That'd be rude. Hmm. Yeah. Is there a polite option? There it is. Okay. Oh, he's humping it. <laughs> That's how you move on it. That's how you move on that beaver. Gee, I wonder if we're supposed to talk to the fat mustache guy or the gorgeous bikini woman. Fat mustache guy. You got it. So, how do you order a drink here, stranger? Flap your tail, I guess. Hey, hey but more importantly, <laughs> have you heard the one about her? <laughs> What? Oh no! What a classic. It's you again. I remember you from Lefty's Bar in the land of the lounge. Oh lizards. shit! Leisure Suit Larry won. I just happened to be walking by when this refrigerator fell on me. <laughs> oh, these are old references. Wow, that's funny. I don't even remember because I don't think I played it. No, that's the it's one we played. Table. It is the one we played. Oh, oh sure. Easy whatever. We don't need to talk to you anymore. That's the one we you played. realize it's going yeah. to take a little something extra to get to talk to this doll. Let's see. She's sitting at a bar. Oh yeah. So we have to flap the beaver, like the guy said. Oh. You decide to order a drink. There you go. Is there a bartender? Oh, hello. Yes, sir. You slapped? <laughs> yes. I'd like to order a drink for myself and the uh, <clears throat> beautiful young lady floating beside me. On the pickle. Very good, sir. Do you have any identification? All right, all right. Got it. Jeez. Oh, what an asshole. Oh, our room key. That's our identification. Oh, use the other one because it's probably better. Shut up! Okay. Stop, I'm trying what to. A fucking asshole. Yeah. Looks like he's giving her the finger. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes, sir. Attention. What would you like? I'd like a tequila sunrise and uh, how about a King Alphonse for the lady? I'm sorry, sir. This is a health spa. We only have healthful drinks here. Instead of that poison you ordered, <laughs> I'll bring you something better. Like Ovaltine. Yeah. A seaweed sunrise Ew. and um, a king alfalfa for the lady. Gross. Seaweed? Ugh. Um, how about a frozen daiquiri? Frozen daiquiri? Oh, you mean a frozen broccoli. Coming Ugh. right up. Disgusting. Yeah, so gross. See you later. That, that paper would have got soaking wet. Yeah, this makes no sense. Is the yeah, like what? Oh, 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 that <laughs> that would be full Here of pool water. Sir. That will be fifty dollars. Whoa! Like I care, as long as you charge it to my room. <laughs> Here you go, babe. Oh, it wasn't Enjoy his room, your right? Drink. <laughs> Thank you. That is all pool water. Hey, these drinks are watered down. Nice. What did you expect? I have to carry them underwater. <laughs> what an ass. I love it. Bye. Okay, let's talk to this young I lady. I couldn't help but notice you hanging out here at the pool bar. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Larry. Larry Laffer. <laughs> oh my god. Laughter? <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, I'm Marilee. Wow. God, she looks like something out of uh, Saved by the Bell. Yeah, she really does. You'd love to kiss every inch of Marilee's befreckled neck. But why stop there? Oh. Oh, my. My God. Show her your penis. No, not yet, Ross. Jeez, man. I don't know how to Give do it three minutes. I don't know how to work the girls. <laughs> you are a married man. I, Is yeah, your drink okay, Mayor? <laughs> Sure, good enough. I'm not picky. I just try to stay happy all the time. You certainly have a beautiful smile, Mare. You must be enjoying yourself immensely. Oh no. I'm miserable, actually. Oh no. Oh no. In fact, I'm more than just a little pissed off at La Costa Lada's silly management and their strict adherence to local laws. Oh shit. Why? Tell me more. Why, Mayor? Whatever is the matter? <laughs> is there anything I can do? Oh, Larry, you're so 
sweet to be concerned about little me. But really, there's nothing you can do. This monkey I've got to carry on my own back. No one can break an addiction for you. I must handle it by myself. Uh, I have no idea. Let's find out. Addiction? Uh, Local laws? Mayor. Are you in some sort of trouble? Mayor. Is it drugs? <laughs> All right. Here's our chance to add some socially redeeming value to this little saga. Drugs? How gauche. It's nothing so mundane as that. No, it's worse. Far worse. Larry, I, I may as well be honest with you. I, I suffer from... From... I... I... I suffer from... Yes? B.A. Uh... B.A.? It's... Bungee addiction! <laughs> bungee addiction? Yeah, that's what it sounded like. Oh, she's the bungee girl! Oh, it's the bungee girl! It now makes total sense. Total sense. Let's keep talking to this weirdo. You're addicted to luggage tie-downs? No. No, silly. Bungee jumping. I want to do nothing in life but jump. Well, it started simply enough. A uh, first small hit at a friend's party, then cranes at local county fairs, later, a few bridges here and there. But I got to the point where I had to have more, constantly more, higher, deeper, longer. I was going down 40 or 50 times a day. I graduated to balloons, but even that wasn't enough. I'm sorry, what's your dick to do again? Uh, bungee, bungee jumping. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> that was a different kind Here? of BJ. Did you, lo did you lose your, uh, yeah, yeah. Get your head out of the bikinis, Larry, and take a look straight up. I don't get it. You should be overjoyed to have a setup like this. What's the problem? These provincial thinkers, that's what's wrong. They have some sort of stupid law that limits you to 10 jumps per day. I'm not sure, but... Uh, isn't there something in the Constitution about this? Yeah, in the part about the right to arm bears, I think. That's not it. Oh, no. that there was. And do you know what's worse? You mean Tell me. There's something worse than only getting to bungee jump ten times per day. Uh, what is it? Well, I I've gotten to the point where I can only become sexually aroused if I'm high in the air, tied up with long rubber ropes. I can't mm -hmm. believe it. Well, all right then. Well, I hate to be her boyfriend. Our mission is clear. Well, we're trying to be her boyfriend. Mm. Oh, Good luck Larry. with that. Have you figured out a way for me to gain access to the bungee jumping tower yet? Okay, thank you for saying it much no, more plainly. But I'm giving it lots of thought. Okay, so we have to get her onto the bungee tower. Let's see what happens when we take out our penis. Yep. Wow, look at that. My boyfriend has one of those. Only his sticks out. Oh. Well then. Well then. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we got an he's got we got an innie, he's got an Audi, you know. That's fine, good. that's so fine. Good. It happens. It happens. Alright, so let's get out of here. And uh next time on Steam Train, we will try to figure out how to get this young lady up on the bungee tower. It's gonna be great. Oh yeah. <laughs> Whoa, not that great, Ross. Okay, I'm sorry. Too, too great. Okay, mm -hmm. we are gonna start with a, a little Ross save. Mm. Save it, Ross. So we just talked to the girl Merrily, so you can just like save it as like Merrily, totes, McFloats. Okay, thank you, Ross. Very, very helpful. That actually is helpful, because it's relatively close to what's going on. It's about as good as you're gonna get from me. Yeah, so we need to get, um... There's not much to do at a bar except order drinks for yourself. Okay, you know, got it. Figured out. That, that girl's in a pickle. Yeah, yeah, I see it. I see it. So she needs to. We need to get her to the bungee tower, or like we need to get her like access to the bungee tower. Is it that barrel? Yes, that's the door. Um, so let me talk to this dude. You might be able to do that if you weren't so worried about drowning at the moment. Okay. Oh. Got it. I will leave this. Cool. I know. Ross is dancing, everybody. I, I 
Cause he's cause this is feel good music. Mm. Makes it makes you nice and happy. Oh yeah. Um I notice people are getting something from you. Uh, what is it? Um may I get something too? Sir, besides the important job of guarding the lives here at the pool, I'm also responsible for maintaining strict security over our combination high diving tower and bungee jumping platform. Hoo-ha! Hoo-ha! The gate to the tower which you may have noticed over there? Well, it's kept securely locked at all times. Uh, no one, and I mean absolutely no one, is allowed admittance without proving their qualifications to yours truly. Guest safety is our first concern here at La Costa Lada. We can't afford to have any of our paying customers injured in any way. Damn, baby. Stay. Oh, I'm not a paying customer. I'm here on a freebie. Oh, well, here you go, pal. <laughs> oh my god, they don't care if you get injured. Yeah, nah, fuck it. <laughs> okay. Jeez, these keys are getting confusing. Okay, so this one is our room key. This one is the random key that yeah. we got, and, the and this one is the bungee bungee? key. Cool. You can change the colors, at least. Yeah, right? Got it. Are you gonna let that girl up? Well, no, she can't. She's already done too many. Oh, so she's gonna get horny seeing you do it? Well, I don't know. My god, this is really fucking high. That is kind of unnerving. I actually, you know I have a fear of heights. Oof. Either that's La Costellata's swimming pool 100 feet below you, or there's a small blue kidney bean with ants all over it hovering just past the end of the platform. God damn. Also, props to him for climbing all that height on a ladder. Yeah. Oh, God. Looking down at those buildings is making you nauseous. Okay. Let's let's, let's jump. Shouldn't we get a bungee rope first? Nope. Fuck it. R.I.P. That killed us, didn't it? No. I just want to see a bloody mess. <laughs> no. Oh, I guess our processor's a little too fast. Oh, oh yeah. So bad. Oh, he has not emerged yet. <laughs> oh, that really hurt. Okay. Wouldn't that like break ribs with the water and like, I don't know. I feel oh, like- Oh, how the fuck is she back up there? That's not her. This no. is her. Um, all right, so let's get the beaver and talk to her. I think I should just give her the key, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She'll freak out. She'll be like, oh my god. Oh my god, god here's my butt. Yeah, that, that's how girls talk, right? Yeah, that's how girls talk. I'm a girl. Cool. Look at me. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Okay, here we go. Let's stay here. This is the ugliest, shittiest bar ever. I love it. I'd love to hang out at a bar like that. Here we go. Hello, Merrily. Let's see if you like this. Put it in the clue. No way! Billy D said the next time he caught me trying to sneak up the tower, he was gonna throw me off without my bungee. What the? So murder you? What the heck can we do? Oh, give her a mustache. What? I don't know, it's like his disguise. Do we have a mustache? So give her, give her, <laughs> uh. Don't just make shit up out of your mind, Ross. Let's look at what our inventory. Give her a towel. That, why would- Lard. An what? orange. <laughs> Stop just naming things. Um, we gotta use the key with something. Mm -hmm. Nope. Oh, okay. Use the wrench. The wrench on the key? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Huh? Mm -hmm. yeah. Wasn't the thing on the far left a sausage or something? Uh, that's my beaver. That is your beaver. This is a condom. Okay. This is a nail file. Oh. oh. What if we nail file this random key to look like this one? Yeah. Yes. You carefully file this key with your bastard file, using the lifeguard's key as a pattern. Now you have your very own tower key. Boom. Oh, uh, that fucking do anything for you? 
figured that out with my mind. Wait, so she just, they re she replicated the key. Yeah. That's smart. Super smart. So now I can give her this one. Look what I have for you, yes. Mayor. Your own personal copy of the key to the bungee jumping tower. Late after everyone else is asleep, and we'll go down together. Gee, I wonder if we could just cut to later tonight. Yes, oh, <laughs> nice dissolve later that night. Oh, oh yeah. Gosh. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I hope your key works as well as that transition. I thought we were gonna have to wait around here until nightfall or something. The coast is clear, Mayor. Open the gate. Ladies first. What a smoothie. <laughs> oh, God. Shit eater. So slimy. Oh, goodness. Come on, Larry. Only a few hundred feet to go. Oh my god. That's a butt. <sighs> How about we take a little break? No way, Larry. Come on. A little exercise will do you a world of good. Besides, yeah. wait till you see the view from the top of the bungee tower at night. All right. I like the view from here, he's going to say. Oh my god. I, uh, oh. How high are we? Oh, jeez. Very subtle lighting situation happening mm -hmm. geez we're gonna have to put in a like a like a sorry a sorry warning sorry warning mayor's beautiful hair is sparkling although in the it is this kind of slow flash and the red this height, there's yeah. very little air to cloud your view all right let's make out oh <laughs> yes larry <laughs> that feels wonderful that's how you do it guys that's how you, you just touch the you, you reach hope, for the booth hope you're taking notes is he scratching her belly? I'm beginning to feel that old feeling again. She's getting into it. More. More. Oh, yes. Larry, hurry. Get undressed. Now. Damn. All oh, right. Fuck. All right. Quickly to the zipper mobile. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Wait. Shit. Uh, Merrily's bungee cords like coiled like vipers, ready to strike the first unwary male who climbs into her lair. All right, great. Come and get me, Larry. I'm back. Okay, Mayor. Whoops. I'm coming. Sorry. What happened? I hit the button. Uh, it's fine. Not without me, I hope. <laughs> oh, Shit. damn. Mayor, I hope you're not going to jump tonight and leave me alone up here. Oh, no. Silly. You're above the earth. There's only one thing I enjoy more than bungee jumping. You may think I'm an airhead who's never had an original thought. But? What? Why would I think that? Especially now. But I do know something about life and love and happiness. Well, really, Mayor, that's not important right now. <laughs> nice, Larry. <laughs> Oh, but it's something I simply must say. In fact, I'll whisper it in your ear right now. Okay. What? My God, Marilyn, I'm dumbfounded. That's amazing. You are so wise. I'm ultimate truth. I'm, I'm. Oh, no. God damn it, Larry. R.I.P. No, it. Ugh. Isn't that just like a man? Always has to get off first. <laughs> right, ladies? No! Oh, Jesus. Quiet, Larry. You'll wake the entire resort. Oh, you know they're waking up. Let's grab the ladder. <laughs> That's an unfortunate you've situation. You've awakened the entire resort. Everybody is staring out their windows at you, foolishly bungee jumping in the middle of the night wearing nothing but... Embarrassment. Man. 
Damn it. Did we fail? No, that that was the right way to do it. Oh my god. Yeah, well, we got the, the secret words from her for life and happiness. Oh, and we can give them to the other girl. Right, oh, exactly. That's smart. We still keep our room after you that? You are exhausted oh. after your all-night naked bungee jumping session with Merrily. You could say you're at the end of your rope. Oh. But dum. All right, let's save our game. Do it, Ross, man. <sighs> Just make sure it includes the word bungee in some way so we can be sure to uh, remember where we are. Fun, fungi. Fungi bumping? Hmm. Fungi bump. <laughs> I like that, actually. Cool. All right, great. Uh, yeah, see, these must be the words that she told us. That's a very classic Leisure Suit Larry thing. Oh, yeah. It's like the ultimate pickup line. Yeah. Well, there, there was something like that in the first one that we had to tell Eve in the, oh, that's right. in the hot tub. These are the words of wisdom I learned from Marilee. They're very special, and I'm not about to say them out loud. Oh, wow. So much, much learning happened. Mm. All right. He's grown wiser and much more tolerant. It's true. All right, well, before we finish this episode mm -hmm. up, let's just uh, go give um, Shammer the words. Oh, let's see what she says. Yeah. Do we have to go back in the garbage? Yeah, we got we got to go in the dumb waiter really? every every time we want to see her. Yeah, we don't have access to the penthouse. You kidding? We're like the biggest scumbag at this resort. Well, this face. Ugh, Ugh it's a terrible oh, fucking noise. sound. I guess his nose only gets stuck in it sometimes. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Look at his face. It's the best. <laughs> Hello, beautiful. What a high. Yeah, see, this isn't yeah, animated. That's exactly what I That's thought, funny. Yeah. Nor is the hair in her hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the that's, stationary. That's very funny. All right, let's give these to her. Shamra, there's something I simply must tell you. May I whisper in your ear? Come on, anyway. Of course, Larry. <laughs> but what is it? It's just a little something I learned recently. <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> but of course! Why didn't I ever realize that before? My God! You're right. It makes everything so clear. Oh. I've been a fool. Oh, Larry, you are a sensitive, thoughtful Caring, sharing, new age man. Good thing it wasn't something dirty, I guess. Uh, yeah. I just thought you'd want to know. Damn. Ding! Alright, we're inching ever closer. Very close, indeed. Alright, so... Next time on game... Oh, 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 the almost, game we're playing! Almost! On almost! The game we're playing! Almost done! I will <laughs> fucking kill you. I will fucking end you. Next time You've been gone so long, you can't be giving me that shit it now. It has been a while. You mother... Lover. And next time on Steam Train, uh, mm. yeah, we'll, uh, we've got lots more Boom. of this resort to explore. So we'll head back down this baby, and, uh, we'll see you then. Love you! Okay, bye. Bye. Mm -hmm. You can't stay mad at me, just like I can't stay mad at you. Mm -hmm. And that little pun em. Hey, welcome All back right. to Steam Train. Welcome back to Steam Train. So, uh, we are slowly courting Shamra. Uh, we blew it with Merrily. Blew it hard. Uh, yep. Uh, this girl, uh, Gammy Boisele, she's- <laughs> At least someone blew it. Right. <laughs> right. Okay, <laughs> you're <laughs> nailing it. Um, what I, is that? I will- I don't know. I'll talk to him later, I guess. Um, why are all the sculptures in this hotel naked? Who decorated this place? Is he obsessed? Probably. Oh. Oh, probably. Oh God, it's my wife. Quick, madam, into the closet and take that taster's choice with you. All right. Not that one. There's no response from this room. Okay. 
If you're delivering the goat, just leave it outside the door until I get the sling erected. <laughs> Racism. Yeah, it's the best. Oh, man. This is from a different time. You can really tell. Mm. Miss Flies, is that you? I was going to pay afterwards, I assure you. How would this door even open? I don't know. Hey, is that you, babe? Come on in. I think I'm as ready as I'm going to get. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's, let's see what's happening. <laughs> That one, that one got me too. Hey, hey, come on in. What did that sound like? It sounded like uh, hey. oh, tip of my tongue, like old Homer Simpson or yeah. Oh, oh my God, what? This is the security booth. That eye looks like Susie for some reason, doesn't it? Look oh like yeah, Susie? yeah. She does her makeup that. just like that. Yeah. Um, all right. Wait, is that a guy, Closed girl, naked girl? From throughout the hotel and spa, beam their images here to the security booth, enabling one person to keep an eye on just about everything that happens in every room. Oh yeah, he's watching the girls in the sauna. One of them looks pretty naked. Oh, she's jogging. Yeah, yeah, she's in the exercise room. Wait, isn't that the the guy that fixed our sink? No, no. The, just like all the dudes here have like, like the fucking handlebar mustache. Oh, so they all look like Hulk Hogan yeah. or uh, an Australian cricketer. Yeah. That's Daryl, the gate guard. Don't let his amiable looks beneath Oops. that sugared exterior lies a heart like a jelly donut. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. Excuse me, sir. Is this the way out of the spa? Maybe. Maybe not. Who's asking? It's me, Larry. Larry Laffer. <laughs> I'd like to leave this place and head into town. You know, hit a few of the swinging singles bars, dance to some cool disco music, hit on some better chinks. <laughs> well, I don't have to tell you. You look like a swinger yourself. Swinger? Leave? Oh, oh, oh. Let me check my roster. No way, Laffer. You ain't getting by me. You just go right back into your room and get with the program. Now I'm warning you. Damn. Oh my god. Alright. Being held against our will. Let me take his gun. Without thinking twice, without blinking an eye, without moving from his stool, Daryl raises one solid. Whoa! Whoa! Did you just get killed? What just happened? You just got killed. The game just got killed. I. Oh dear. 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 Did we, did we lose? I hope we didn't lose anything. Okay. Okay. Let's uh, let's just um. I, um. Mm, uh, oh my God. Okay, uh, We're back. well, let me explain what just happened. It was insane. Yeah, so, uh, I went to grab his gun, or his cuffs, mm -hmm. and, uh, it just cut out in the middle of the s sentence. We're not sure if it's just a weird glitch, or if it's, like, a, a, it's a joke. like, a funny joke. Like, I think it's a joke. I he, think it's supposed to be him killing us. Like, he kills you, yeah, yeah. Uh, but it kicked us right out of the game. It, it, like, fucked with our capture. Like, we had to, like, wait for two hours. It's, like, four hours later yeah. than so, it was before. Cause, okay, to give you an idea of what happened. So, that happened. We went, it, it crashed, it went insane. But then, like, we were, we had plans to go meet with my wife Holly at our place to have, like, uh, it's actually Christmas Eve right now to be, to be straight with you guys. Yes. Like, uh, cause we need to get some episodes done. And, uh, you know, Dan's still in town, so we were getting some episodes done. And, uh, we were gonna go have dinner, have a great time, and then uh, the, this happens. And what that means is we had to make sure the footage was good, but then on top of that, that we couldn't start recording again until the footage we had filmed, which I think was like three hours, yeah. had finished processing. Long story short, it's four hours later, we yeah. ate Christmas dinner with Holly. Yeah, <laughs> Holly literally brought Christmas dinner that she cooked to the, the grump space for us to sit down and eat as a, like a family. Oh, she's And the here, best. here's a picture of that. Aww. And uh, we, we, we managed to, uh, yeah, kind okay. of hold our sanity together, and now we're here to, to do uh, a little bit more episodes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We're back. Now I'm I'm happy we are. Yeah. I'm happy we are. That was that was quite that was quite a quite a little break we just had. Wow. The men's well, shower room oh. is completely lined with tile, causing a wonderful echo when you walk and a deep, rich resonance when you talk. Now where is it? I remember. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> nice. Right in the scrot. I remember one thing from this. It's pretty naughty. Oh no. Wait, was it? The, is it this one? 
strange. One of these tiles is off color. Yeah, I totally remember oh, this. Oh, is it a glory hole? Wait. Barry, get ready with the blurring. There's not much to do in the shower room. Oh. There's not much to do. Oh, try this. This tile looks loose. Oh my goodness gravy. Oh, oh my, my god. god, that is... <laughs> Who's this? Is someone here? Wow. Yeah. Wow. 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 I, oh my god, Barry has blurred this everything. Yeah, like it's some... Oh goodness! Oh my god, I can't believe... Shh. Wow, <sighs> now you really need a shower. Wow. Wow. You're a fucking peeping Tom weirdo. Yeah, well, not a weirdo. I was just checking on a loose panel. I remember that blew my fucking mind when I was a kid. But it wasn't the only thing that blew. Oh goodness. All right. There is someone in that in that thing up the top there, on top right. Oh yeah. A young couple sits in the champagne glass spa, enjoying each other more than the bubbles. Oh, a champagne glass spa. That's fucking awesome. That sounds. Great. La Costellata's Euro mud baths are built right into the floor, Roman style. The mud looks warm and inviting. Wow. Oh, here's a security camera that the dude was looking at us through. A video camera is mounted on the wall beside that air vent. It enables La Costellata's crack security force to keep an eye on activities here in the mud room. Let's fuck with him. Like, can we mess with this? You can't reach the camera from down here. It's far from the floor. I'm afraid he might plants. shoot us again. No, fuck him. He ruined our capture. Um. Look at the shine on that leaf. Why, it almost looks as good as plastic. <laughs> oh my god. Nice. Oh. Nice. Oh, look, it's stairs. Oh. It's stairs to the camera, right? I think so. Can I fuck with this thing now? Oh yeah. You cleverly attempt to re-aim the camera through the louvers leading into the women's shower, but you cannot. The camera is held firmly in place by a large bolt, which is far too tight for you to turn with only your fingers. Oh well, geez. Gosh, guard, oh guard, if only we had a tool, we do! Yes, we do. Awesome. That guy's gonna shoot the shit out of you. No, he's not. We're... Using the plumber's wrench, you loosen the large bolt holding the video camera in place. Then turn the camera so it's looking directly into the women's shower. Yeah, he's gonna love Too us, bad dude. you can't see the monitors now. At least you've given someone a good time. Sweet. At least you're gonna be distracting him Let's a lot. Cover our tracks. Well, we need to get his Why shit. You don't need to. Are you gonna take his gun? Yeah. Fine. You feel sure your mother would Wait, be proud. Wait. Are you telling me we actually need his gun? Well, I don't know, but like, why would he be sitting there with it like straight out, like just? Tempting. I don't know, to crash the game again. I don't- I don't want to either. Well, we'll save it for later. In the meantime, let's talk to this young lady. Oh god. That person's got a- I've seen Aaron use one of those at a mall once. What, the, the butt the thing? The butt shaker? Yeah. It looks like a really good workout. For someone who's dumb. Stupid. <laughs> Hello. My name is Larry. Larry Laffer. <laughs> Allow me to slip out of this warm, caressing mud for a moment, Larry. I'm Charlotte Donay, but you may call me Shaw. Well, all right. Oh, goodness. I hope you'll excuse the way Good I'm Lord. dressed. Oh, I think you'll look just perfect. <laughs> yep, never seen better. All right. Wow. I think since we're, um... Okay, I think we need to turn the music down a little bit. Oh, yeah, because it's back to being loud again? Yeah. Oh. There we go. That's pretty nice. Ah. Oh, okay. Want to hear my Muddy Waters impersonation? Ugh. No. 
I knew that. <laughs> you are one of the most beautiful women I've ever met, Char. Oh, darling, you're so sweet to say that. But really, I'm just a simple, electricity-loving woman. Just give me a few heavy-duty D-cells, and I'm set for the evening. I understand. She's basically telling us what we need to get her. Oh, she wants a vibrator. I don't know. She's saying she wants to do vibrator don't mean batteries. That literally, do you? I mean, you're not one of those, you know, um, those. Those? Oh, heavens no. Let's just say I love my stimulation wherever I find it. But I am totally partial. I prefer the real thing above the artificial every time. What the hell are we talking about? <laughs> oh my god, are you six years old? She's talking about a fucking dildo. Yeah. Oh, save time. Let's do it. Oh yeah, fungi bump. It just say some kind of like mud, mud back. Uh, it's a fucking di di di. It's a fucking dildo, idiot. Wow, Ross, definitely your your angriest save ever. By the way, is there anything more 1994 computer looking than this fucking wall? <laughs> oh, Jesus, well, man. It looks like when you like try to say something, it's a bitmap, and you're like, mm, that's good for the internet. Yeah, how many different color pixels can there be? You like that, Barry? Mm. Yeah, you do. Yeah, he does. Is there anything you'd like, Char? Um, perhaps I could buy you a drink? Drink? Oh no, the attendant here keeps us all in fruit juice. But you know, there is one thing. Anything, babe. Anything your breast and, um, I mean, your heart desires. He even, like, trips over his own thoughts. There's one thing I need that I haven't been able to find at La Costa Lada. By the way, before we mm -hmm. before we go mm -hmm. on, mm -hmm. since we just talked about Barry, mm -hmm. how sweet would it be if this was Leisure Suit Barry? I was thinking that. Right. You know what's actually really weird? Okay, and no one Barry, else is gonna be able to see this. Can you throw your head into hit the onto the Larry? Lean in over the here. Lean over here. Yeah, no yeah. one's gonna be see this, but we got a capture computer in here. Doesn't it actually look like Leisure Suit Barry. Oh yes, it does. Yes, because it does. The L of the suit. Wow, that's funny. You have a tiny screen with the a ver doesn't matter. But anyway, it does look like <laughs> Leisure Suit Barry. Yeah, the suit. The word suit makes it, the L look like a B. I was gonna say that, but I thought... That's funny. Yeah, that's I love funny. it. Oh, tell me. Anything you want. I promise. If I can get it, it'll be yours. Oh, that's great. And the way I see it, when I get what I want, then you get what you want. Give her the toilet paper. <laughs> 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 what exactly is it you want, my sweet Chardonnay? Simple. I could really use six D cells for my um, late night friend. Huh? She has a battery powered David Letterman? God damn it, Larry. Huh. Well, that sounds easy enough, Char. Why, well, sure, Larry. After all, how hard. Can it be? Yeah, I wish I had a dollar for every time I've heard that. Oh, Lord. I'm off, Char. Correct all this But uh, I'll be right back with your batteries. Okay, so she needs D cell batteries. She's such a child, she can't get out of the fucking mud for a minute to go to fucking 76 and pick up some batteries. Well, the, the, that's the thing. Like, we're all like on this resort where there's like nothing else going well, on. The guy won't let us go. Right. Oh my god. Stairmaster. I'll fucking... I'll worry about this later. Dude, if I was on one of those butt things, I'd probably shit my pants. <laughs> I'd just smear this shit everywhere. Ooh, what the fuck is this? A gym class? Yeah. Oh, we're, wow, we're very interesting top-down... The direction is interesting in this game. It is very bizarre. Yeah, like I weird angles. This, I would not pick this angle. Yeah. Oh, okay, now we're back at the pool. All right, this is starting to make mm -hmm. sense about where everything is. I'm trying to think what would have batteries. Oh, like, there's a beach? sitting in our room might have a remote. There's a beach here? Whoa, weird. I didn't know about that. 
On this sandy shore, as the waves of the as far as I can see leap gently at the white sands of the beautiful La Costellata, you can't help but think. I feel like a giddy 18-year-old. Unfortunately, there are none around. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice. God. That was that was one of the more clever ones. Hmm. Is there something sticking out of the sand over there? Could it be a, a giddy? A, is there? Giddy 18-year-old? Since nobody's watching, I could build a sand castle right here. Why would it matter if someone was watching? I don't know. Hey, what's this? While your sand castle will win no prizes, your diggings have revealed an ancient whale oil lamp buried in the sand. Oh, sweet. Oh, wow, look at that. Okay, we got a lamp. This is running batteries, I'd right? I better cover they this up before anyone sees how dorky it looks. I love the fact that he used the word dorky. Also, you can't hide the fact you yourself are actually quite a dork. Oh, yeah. Like you would not even believe. Oh, okay, so this leads here. God, this looks slightly photorealistic, it, like, but kind of off. It looks interesting. It definitely does. It looks like, like mishmash photorealism. Yeah. God, what the fuck is his deal? All right. Talking. La Costellata furnished... No, uh, uh. Excuse Got me. Got him. Hey, hey, driver, stop. You're talking to me? <laughs> Come on, get on board. <laughs> oh. Hang on. Where'd he take us? I don't know. We have reached the end of the line. Please watch your step getting off the tram. Oh, he's actually speed travel. And thank you for riding Art's tram line. Oh. So you want to get the, to the other side. It's a toilet he's sitting on, by uh, the way. Please step out of the way. <laughs> I, I need to turn my tram around. <laughs> it is. Should we get back on? Wait, hold on. La Costellata furnishes an electric tram to shuttle its aged, tired, or lazy patrons around the hotel. Oh, nice. It only appears to be a toilet on a skateboard under a beach umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Well, he needs to turn it around, so. Ah, uh, please step out of the way. I, I need to turn my tram around. That's what I just said. So let's. Yeah. I don't know. I think we're faster anyway. Oh, no, we can get back on. Uh Wait, we are faster. <laughs> We're good in there. Oh, we can. Oh, oh what's this? Well, I, I, we haven't been here before. La Costellata's makeup classroom offers the latest in high-tech, non-interactive, overpriced video lessons in something all these women already know how to do. Oh, well, great. When you put it like that way. Yeah. A woman sits at this desk, trying her best to ignore you completely but you really don't care as your eyes are attracted to that dark-skinned beauty at the right desk in the front row. Don't tell me who I'm attracted yeah, to. Yeah, <laughs> how dare you? But I am attracted to her. <laughs> so, let's talk. You take a closer look at the lovely young thing sitting at the right front makeup table. <laughs> you can wink at me. Yeah. Oh, hey, girl. Ooh, Yo, what's up? I like some funky dreads. Mm-hmm. Good day, miss. My name is Larry. Larry Laffer. <laughs> <laughs> Why, hello. <laughs> I didn't hear you come in. You may call me Chablis. Chablis. Chablis? Uh, I believe it's a type of wine. Oh. I'm rather new around here. <clears throat> Have you been here long? Oh, not that long. Are you going to the big weight loss spring formal? What is she talking about? I'm sorry, what? Weight loss spring formal? Uh, what's that? <laughs> Sounds like a prom. Right you are, Larry. I've been searching everywhere for a new dress, but I just can't find one with that um, certain something I crave. Combine the lard and toilet paper. Well, Ross, what the fuck are you talking about? Shopping? Here? Where? I haven't seen a single store. Oh, they're here, all right. You're just not a shopper like me. My motto is Veni, Vidi, Visa. I came, I saw, I shopped. Wow. Wow, that is... She, that is, is really deep. That is some deep, yeah. deep wisdom. She's, she's got a lot to offer. So, uh, you'd like a new dress, huh? Oh, yes. 
If I could only find something brilliant, why I'd... I'd... Hell, I don't know what I'd do. Say what? But what's the use? <laughs> Why I'll I'd. just have to wear oh, something I say, we can make old, white old, I suppose. Well, all right then. Are you sure we don't have anything we can combine to make a dress? Lard and toilet paper? I mean, to we got a towel. We do have a towel. We have uh, what's the, that little cloth that we used for something or other? That is a washcloth. Yep. So you want to combine the towel and the washcloth I mean, I to make this woman know. a dress for a fancy occasion. Yep. Hmm? Well, nope. <laughs> toilet paper on the lard? You want me to mix the lard with the toilet, toilet paper? Toilet paper on the lard? Okay, I'll do it. Do the toilet paper on the lard. Okay. Hmm? Well, all right then. Hey, man, don't. It won't even lie. Okay, so she needs a dress. Just, 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 just like put a bit of lard in your mouth, just spit it in front of her, and then run. What is this? Stop. What is, what is this? All thing? around the makeup classroom, large monitors show a video entitled Kiss and Makeup The La Costa Lata Way. Oh. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. An electrical cord lies on the floor oh. unused. Neat. Oh, you could do it. You could. I, you can I, learn how to make up. Could this be the missing cord? Good God, Larry. I don't get it. Oh, oh, save. Save time. It's a fucking dildo, idiot. Sorry, I had to burp. Jeez, man, I was watching you. Like, you were really building up to that one. I had a big burp. Uh, yeah, saw it. Um, I had a big burp. Thank you, Ross. That'll be very easy to, to remember where we were in the game based on that. Mm. Extremely helpful. Okay, let's... Okay, so she needs a dress. We, we should just, um, we should explore the rooms we haven't been to yet. Uh, like, like what's where it? haven't we been in? We haven't been in here. This door is locked and will stay that way forever. Oh. Well, all right. Thanks. <laughs> thanks for, uh... Well, I mean, thanks for telling thanks us for, it's yeah. not accessible at all. Yeah, that does help. Okay, we've been in there. Uh, what's down here? Oh, a bar. Ooh. I haven't seen this before. Welcome to La Costellata's oh, Blues it's Bar. It's one of those uh, a full service bar is available to meet all your Oh, that's meetings. where she gets the drinks. But that doesn't make any sense. I love it. In a relaxed contemporary atmosphere. How does she pull and the... of course, the best in entertainment is yours to enjoy 24 hours a day. Oh, does she open that door? That doesn't make sense at all. I guess they must have like a little chute under here where he gives her the stuff. Wait, maybe they'll show it. Yeah! <laughs> that's great. I love it. That's actually really well thought out. Well, if, they, if everything came in water bottles, then that would work. Right. But they come in martini glasses. What's over here? Wait, they Ooh. have an open mic. Matches. Didn't someone need fire or something? Or I, I'm, I'm sorry, it's Christmas oh, dinner. Kind of took everything. Free out of matches. Me. Well, all right, free matches. You take them. Just take them. Take him. You already have a match. Let's not be greedy. Oh, did you already take one? Oh, yep. I guess I got one. Okay. Yeah, that's the first item. Welcome cool. to La Costa. Okay. Yes, Welcome I saw it. Okay, La got it, got it. <laughs> okay. Let's talk to this friendly fellow. Actually, you know what? Let's do that next time on Steam Train. How about next that? Next time on Steam Train. Yeah. We'll open the door and then let all the water in and then drown everyone in this fucking hotel. Whoa, Ross. Easy now. One little, kidding, one little capture snafu, and you're a salty Sally. Don't you fucking dare call me Sally. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry, Sally. <laughs> Hello, and welcome back to Steam Train. Welcome back to Steam Train. We're in the bar. We're Don't get weird, bar. Ross. Let's We're talk to this dude. Nothing weird. Nothing weird. I could really use a whiskey. Me too, buddy boo. I'm sorry, but the closest thing we have is sproutberry juice. I'm sorry, but for <laughs> since I lost the Iron Man suit, things <laughs> haven't been the same. God damn it. Exactly what sort of beverages do you serve here? Hey, I make a superb King Alfalfa, or perhaps a broccoli and non brand named Cola. Uh. Hey, what about a zucchini wall banger? Yuck. How about a mineral water? Nope, fresh out. Got some pool water, though, but it's a little chlorine. 
All right, this will get us nowhere. Let's get out of here. <sighs> sometimes, sometimes their 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 like weird humor is even like too weird for it you. Even makes me sigh. I know? like it. I like. I, it. I do like it though. It, it reminds sometimes. It, it makes me feel like I'm playing like a game with my dad. You know. But your dad's the writer, developer, and like Ex story exactly. Lead. Yeah. Can you imagine if your Someone dad is actually the door. didn't make a game? Quick, Mr. Rushdie, under the bed. Oh, oh wow, a oh. Salman Rushdie joke. Very, very topical in 1994. Sorry, go ahead. What your was dad you? actually did make a game. It'd be the tutorial. Just open with, hey, <laughs> hit left. <laughs> Hi, player one. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> don't, don't stop. I hope that's not ending. <laughs> when will he realize your toes are mine? All mine. Oh, God. <laughs> Wait. Yo, Art! You again. Oh, okay. Come on, hop on board. Hang on. All right. Oh. We have reached the end of the line. <laughs> God Please damn it. watch your step getting <laughs> off the tram. And what? thank you for riding Art's tram line. Ah, uh, please step out of the way. I, I need to turn my tram around. Like a volt. All right. Like a volt. What does that mean? Oh, it just means like oh yeah yeah. It's a Yiddish uh, thing. Oh, is it? Oh my God! Was fucking thing uh, from Power Rangers Yiddish? I, I need what, to was who? My... The robot. Oh shit! I I I I I Zordon. Was he Yiddish? It's very possible. Oh, how about that shit? Haim Saban and Shuki Levy. They created it. They're Israelis. Wait, what? The creators of Power Rangers? Oh wait, yeah. What's he doing? Sign language. No. Uh, lose something? Well, kind of. I was just thinking about heading over to the employee's campground for a cigar break, but I'm out of matches. Oh. Uh, you know what? Let's save our game. Whoops. It saved it as I had a big burp. Well, it's true. You did. Okay, so... Boop. Hey Art, you want a match? Oh yeah, man, <laughs> that'd be good. You know what they say, a woman is only a woman, but a good cigar is a smoke. Who said that anyway? <laughs> no idea. I don't know. So, uh, ooh, where did he go? Um. Can you steal his tram? Yeah, dude, he left us with this. We gotta fuck with it. I wonder what this baby looks like under the hood. Probably like a shit. <laughs> Direct. Um, what am I looking at right you now? You want to steal a battery for her? No, that she needs D cells. The battery Ooh. supplies all the tram's power. Without it, the tram wouldn't move, and Art would have to walk. Let's fuck it up. Disconnect the power cable from the battery to the motor? Why, that would mean the poor tram wouldn't run and Art would have to walk. Do it. Yep. Get the wrench. Yes. Clever. You use the wrench to disconnect the power cable from the motor. Um, anything else I can do here? The tram's toilet tank cleverly disguises an electric motor with power source. Um, the tram's toilet. Okay, yeah, I guess we're good. Let's get out of here. That ought to cause this guy some trouble. <laughs> I'm out. just an asshole. Here comes the driver. Oh, okay. All right. We got to focus. Hey, what the? Ugh, I'm just being gone by for this stupid ass tram. It's dark in there. Where's my light? Can you knock him out? I don't know. Should I, should I knock him out? Nope, not me. Now, let me see. Oops. Whoa! You just, you just. I don't know. Because you want the batteries in his Excuse port. Excuse me, sir. Oh, yeah. May I be of assistance? Maybe. I don't know. Uh, something happened to my motor. 
not getting any juice, and I don't seem to be able to hold up the hood, aim the light, and still work under here. Uh, maybe I can help you. How about if I hold your flashlight for you? Nice. Sure. <laughs> Anything is better than this. There. Does that help? Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Now I can see what's going on under here. Knock him out. It looks like some butthead disconnected my power cable. Dick move. But I think I can force fit it back on there. He's gonna get electrocuted. I hope not. Seems like a good dude. Yeah, got it. <laughs> now let's see if it works. Yep, I got the flashlight. Okay. But it's still on his sprite. Hey. No, I got <laughs> good as new. You deftly open the flashlight, extract Art's yes. batteries, and close it up again, all without him noticing a thing. Good job, Slick Ross. move, Larry. Fucking God, you are a savant when it comes to this shit. Oh, 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 hey, hey, I almost forgot. I need my flashlight back. Yep. There you go. Boy, that sure is a powerful flashlight. <laughs> yep, titanium alloy case, Fresnel lens, leather carrying case, and six D cells worth of pure candle power. See you later. More and if you ever need a ride, now. just say so. <laughs> yeah, okay. Bye bye. The tram is just leaving for Kingman, Barstow, Cucamonga, and all points west. Oh boy. Wow. Awesome. Awesome. Nice. We got him. So yeah. we can go back to that girl and give her, her batteries. Yeah, where did he go over here? What is this? This is that's the campgrounds for the employees. But I want in there. Blatantly ignoring the high voltage signs on the fence, you walk right up, grab the wires, and attempt to climb the fence. Oh, oh shit. God damn Please it. don't kill us. Please don't kill us. <laughs> damn it. It seems obvious you're not going to climb over that fence. It's okay, this game is super forgiving with your deaths. It just puts you right back there. That oh, would have God. caused permanent brain damage in a better man. <laughs> okay. Um. Almost hidden by the mature landscaping, a large chain-link fence is broken only by a gate with an electronic lock containing a small slot. Oh, so I need like an ID card or something. Right. Okay. You could probably get that from someone. I'm sure. I mean, obviously, but I meant... I'm sure someone will have it. Yeah. Oh, that idiot who's probably looking at girls now. Yeah, oh, that's right. We gotta right. be really careful here. Oh God. Are you sure? Ah, uh, yeah. See. Oh, Barry, you're gonna have to blur that out. Actually, we are looking at boobies on this. Uh, wow. Barry, don't blur out the boobies with more boobies. That is. Uh, that is not a good idea. That is a bad you idea. Use a blue-footed booby yeah, from you, you, the Galapagos <laughs> Island. Exactly. They are endangered and very beautiful birds. Oh, man. Look All how right. excited he is to be looking at the Galapagos Islands blue-footed booby. <laughs> Daryl is too preoccupied to pay attention to you. Now's your chance, Larry. You can steal the place dry. Oh. Damn it. I don't think uh, it's the gun, That's though. what you have been doing. I think he means the ID. The I don't see an ID on him. Maybe that little thing on the left? This thing? Daryl the Gate Guard, head of La Costellata's crack security force, seems to be very engrossed in the new TV season. Or something. It's a good thing I turned that camera around and aimed it into the woman's shower. Uh, I'm really nervous here. Me too. This is where Daryl keeps his stash. Oh. Of Wayne Newton cassettes. Oh, never mind. And like, I wonder if I could just slip that. I don't know. Why would uh, we need a gun? I don't know, dude. An unused pair of handcuffs dangle from Daryl's belt. On his shoulder. What does I, it say? It, no, nothing. It just looked at Daryl. I think we need the cuffs. Yeah, I think so too. Fucking. Uh, I'm gonna grab the gun because that's that's what crashed the game last time. I know. Time. Let, let's let's save that for the very end. Yeah. We'll, yeah. We'll come back to it. Right, right before we end this uh, episode, we'll we'll try to grab it. Um, um, let's see where we need to we need to get the girl address. Yeah. Um. You know, maybe maybe if you give the batteries to that girl, she might give you what you need. Oh yeah, the batteries. That's yeah, so right. Go downstairs. Um. Where where was it downstairs to the right? It's in the health spa. 
Is that here? No, this is the kitchen. No, no, you want to go back out. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's, 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 it's farther to, to the, the left. Is it? I thought it was to the right. Yeah. Stairs. No, I know this shit gets confusing. Um, but it's here. Is it? Yeah. They need to demark these doors better. Because it's through here. Whoop. No, oh, okay. More more blurring, Barry. Yeah. More blurring. Get to it, Barry. Hey, Barry, uh, dude. remember there was jeans on that guy? Oh, yeah. Put them back on. We talked to him. No. How many times do you have to hear this? You're the one looking for the women, okay? Hey, okay. don't tell me what I want to look for. Yeah. It's Maybe the... I want to look at that guy's tush. Yeah, this is in the 90s. Maybe he's got a nice tush. Why is it wrong to tell a man he has a good tush? Okay, so here we go. Charlotte Donay reclines in her mud bath. You cast your most radiant smile at her. She barely glances at you. Oh, damn. Good enough for me. Hello. Enjoy these batteries, please. Here's your battery, Char. But I might mention I had to go through a lot of trouble just to find them. Oh, they're perfect. Ooh There'll be a hot time in the Osha tonight. <laughs> oh, God. So, uh, what do you say? Uh, how about I climb in that mud with you for a little good, dirty fun? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, Larry. I have a much better idea. I've been in that electroshock exercise center so much this week, I'm sure I know how to work it. Why don't we go over there for a little charge session? But don't they keep that door locked? Oh, well, yes. But if you're smart enough to find me six heavy-duty D-cells in a health spa, I just know you can find a way into a locked door. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Th these girls never wanted a simple thing. Right? Yeah, yeah, it's a, I think it's this, isn't it? This door bears a tiny brass plaque with the delicate La Castellata logo and the words Electroshock Exercise Center. Yeah. Oh, God. So, how do we get in here? Oh, yes, let us save our game. Go for it, Ross. <clears throat> Electroshock. Um, batteries. Okay, you're gonna have to click on it for me. Oh, yeah. Sorry. No problem. There you, you go. Gotta click, you missed. No, click, it's on. Did you? Oh, yeah. you did. Okay. SJ. I'm sorry. Fuck. Okay. okay. H. Shock. Me. Shock me cock. <laughs> what? Did, how does your brain work so differently than any other human beings? It's really amazing. All right, I guess, is this a padlock? You try the knob, but the door is kept locked by an electronic keypad with billions and billions of possible combinations. Billions we'll pause a moment billions. while you enter every one of them. Okay, done. None of them work. Great. Now, how could you open a sensitive electrical device like this since you don't have a sledgehammer. Um, I think we need a sledgehammer. Yeah, shit. I have n no idea. Um, mud. No, not mud. Lard. Not lard, Ross. Um, uh, the heated lamp. The heated lamp. Ooh, we do have matches for the lamp, don't we? Mm -hmm. Oh no, we used, we gave it. Oh, but the matches are free. All right, let's, let's do that. Cause I fucking have absolutely no idea. How to open that. Let's grab another match and see if we can light the lamp. Because I believe that's another thing we can give uh, to Shamra. Really? Yeah, our girl up on the penthouse. Oh, she loves the lamp? She she just loves, like, all beautiful things. Oh, okay. We're trying to show her the beauty of the world. Lard? Not lard. Mm -hmm. Already tried to give her the lard, Ross. Oh, that's right, we did, yep. <laughs> At your behest. Mm -hmm. And we tried to give her the, um... Toilet the, paper? Oh! Oh, this is new. Yeah. Country singer? Grab the matches first. Oh boy! Free matches! <laughs> He's such a nerd. Oh boy! Oh yay! Free stuff. I'm actually exactly the same way. I'm like, ooh, peanuts. <laughs> Burgundy is too busy performing to talk with you. Show your they penis. They say she loves to perform. 
In fact, once she starts, she never stops. Oh, oh damn. damn. Better show her my penis. You carefully adjust your clothing. Nope. Ah. Okay, great. You hope no one noticed. <laughs> I, I never noticed him do the head turn. Yeah, I didn't either. Let me try it on her. Perhaps you should try looking at her first. Oh, oh. well, all right. What, uh, Mr. Old Fashioned Romance? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like to look a girl in the like eyes when I hot new break the law. <laughs> Let's try that again. Burgundy is La Costellata's hot new blues singer. Her picture is prominently featured in the La Costellata promo they run on Stallions. Oh. I guess we have to wait till she stops playing. Which is probably she says is too busy for she won't stop to talk with but there must she be won't some stop. way to get her. It has to, we have to be in here another time. Wait, did it say we, there must be some way something? Burgundy is too busy performing to talk with you. And they say she loves to perform. No. Nope. But there must be some way to get her to talk with you. Open that door and drown the whole room. That's a great idea. <laughs> Holy shit! Next time, try entering the swimming pool from upstairs. Okay. God, I love how fucking forgiving that is. I love how they actually let you do that. Yeah, it's really dumb. Alright, we'll worry about that later. Um, okay, so let me try to use the, the, the match on the lamp. I think the lamp's the first one. Oh, yeah. Lighting the lamp is a good idea. But don't you need to fill it with fuel first? Uh, wait, uh, isn't hard? Um. Hmm? No. What is the, what's that third one? That's the hand cream. Hand cream. What's the second one? Hmm? The second one is the electrical cord. Huh. Oh, uh, Ross, you just made me think of something. What? The fucking electrical cord. We can short circuit the the, the fucking the door thing with mud. Okay, okay, okay. Let's try to do that now. Yeah, let's do it. Why wait? Why not? Why, why wait? I love these games. Yeah, me too. <laughs> They're such man. little adventures. Um. Okay. And I also love that I'm walking through the shower in my fucking full leisure oh, suit. Guy, hey, what's up? Nice pants, bro. Nice pants. Okay. Hastily drawn. <laughs> Here we go. Boop. You get a wild idea. Use the electrical cord to short circuit the electronic door lock. Yes. But just wrapping the wire around the lock does nothing. Oh, maybe the fucking electrical socket right here. How they tell you you're an idiot. Yeah, they just really. Like, they, yeah, they, that does nothing they, stupid. They tell you just like gently enough that you can kind of figure out what to do, but like. Yeah. Um, they, they don't totally insult your intelligence. Yeah, but they kind They're of. Just do. like you get it, but you're doing it wrong. Yeah, stupid. Okay, so one end in there, one end over here. What a great idea! Use the electrical cord to short circuit the electronic door lock. But even though the cord is plugged into the wall outlet, the insulation on the end in your hands prevents current from flowing to the door's lock. What, do I have to just, like, get rid of the insulation? Cut it. Oops, forgot to unplug it first. Oops, sorry, 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 we're dead. Sorry, I killed us. Well then! <laughs> what a shock! Perhaps you shouldn't play with electrical cords while they're yeah. plugged in. Yeah, I got it. I got it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, at least it teaches you good uh, fucking safety tips. Yeah, that's healthy. Maybe I can use this somewhere else. Okay. All right. Now let me try. Electrocute the people in, no, this, in, that's the, not, in, the, in the mud. We're not in, trying to the, kill anyone, Ross. We're trying to... I just want to get this one of like, these games where it's a murder game. <laughs> Wait. Here we go. You carefully strip away approximately two centimeters of insulation from the end of the wire without the three-pin grounded plug. Right now you can murder three people in this room with that. I know I could, Ross. That's really great. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, so one end goes in here. And the other... Wait, so how did you bite it? Oh, if you just put that hand on oh. these things, like if there's something to do with them, it'll like automatically do the right thing. Gotcha. And the other half goes in here. Yeah! 
Cleverly touching the electronic lock with the bare ends of your electrical cord, you pass 120 volts at high amperage through the electronic lock's delicately printed circuit boards, frying them immediately with a gratifying shower of sparks. The lock gives up the ghost as its solenoid freezes in a permanently open state with a loud click. Hey Charlotte, I've got it open. Come on in. Good work, Larry. I'll be right there. What if she's Just an international take spy? A quick shower first, okay? I'll meet you inside in a few seconds. Yeah, I wish I had a dollar for every time I've heard that. Jeez, man. Okay, Char. I'll see you in a few minutes. Right in here, okay? People would have a lot of dollars. After I shower, I'll meet you in the Electroshock Exercise Center. Got it. Thank you for recapping that. <laughs> oh, God. The fucking yeah. glass well, gonna in her. That's the end of that. I know I'll never see her again. Oh, Larry. Have some faith, man. Oh, yeah. That guy's Daryl. The security guard's definitely gonna perv. Okay, okay, we're in the electroshock Someone's room. Someone's in there, by well, the way. Well, I suppose I have plenty of time to explore this place. Should we explore? Oh, wait. It? Oh! Here I am, Damn, Larry. that was fast. Hi, Char. That was fast. I really rushed through my shower. I hope you don't mind. I'm still dripping wet, and I didn't have time to put on any clothes. Tragedy. Uh huh. <laughs> uh, no, um, uh, that'll be fine, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> but don't you need to be fully grounded, babe? Oh, don't worry your pretty head about me. Just take off all your clothes and hop up on that table. Okay, if you say so. She's not gonna torture us, Ross. She's gonna torture us. Ooh, we're gonna now, lie on your back so I can have total access to your entire body. Hey, this may work out all right yet. <laughs> oh my god, he's such a little gnome. I don't think we need to blur anything out. There's nothing to be seen. There's to literally begin, nothing there. I'll just smear some randomly selected appendages with some of this electro conductive jelly. This doesn't seem like a great idea, actually. <laughs> okay. This is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Next, Some people are into shocks. I'll attach these little alligator clips to various parts of Ooh. your body. Wow. Somewhere out there, this is a fetish. I would not be getting into this. Ow! Ah! Yeah, the minute I hear alligator, I'm like, mmm, yeah, probably good. Not horny. Ah! <laughs> Char, you didn't tell me this was gonna hurt. <laughs> Besides, if I'm on the table and you're on the floor, how can this be any fun? Oh, silly. Just wait until I get your juices flowing. You've never felt anything like this in your whole life. Oh, dear God. I wish I had a dollar for every time I've heard that. <laughs> I, love I love running jokes. Okay, now let me turn on the machine. That's I'm ready hurt. to crank up the voltage a little. Tell me when you start to feel it. Oh, jeez. Doesn't that feel grand? Feel good? I don't feel anything, Char. Strange. Well, let me give it a little more. There now. How That's that a lot of lights. Great, isn't it? Great? I don't know what I'm supposed to be feeling, but I don't feel a thing. Uh -oh. huh? I don't understand. I thought for sure I've been through this enough to know how to do it to you. <laughs> oh shit. She's cranking it to eleven. Oh my god. <laughs> what if he just he just grabbed her leg, then I she would get shot too? I feel it now. It's up all the way. Well, I'm not. <laughs> Something's wrong, Char. Why don't you disconnect me and we'll just use his bench in the regular old way? What? I know there's something. 
Oh no, she doesn't. Uh, wait, there it is. Oh, silly me. It's gonna kill you. Look, Larry, it's this cable. Fiddle dee dee. It isn't plugged in. Fiddle dee dee. Ah, uh, no! Stop! <laughs> Yo! Oh, god damn it. God, is that your tongue? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> this is unfortunate. Funny that this kills you in every other part of the game. Ouch! Whoa! Let me out of here! Whoa! She was in there. She got zapped. Yes! Didn't I tell you I would turn you on? Did that kill you? Or did that you just barf? And they, oh god. <laughs> oh god. What a horrible. Oh my god. Yeah. After a full night of sparkin', a little nap feels good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm not dead. Yeah. All right. I guess we. I guess we did it. Um. Okay. Save. Do it, Ross. Shock me, cock. No, not, not dead. Not dead. So true. All right. Now. We should be done with this, but got a couple things mm -hmm. real quick to tidy up. Mm -hmm. Did you notice that the girl in the suntan bed that went crazy, mm -hmm. did you notice she dropped something? I did not. She definitely did. So I want to grab it because we'll forget. This is the last one we're recording for tonight. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to forget it. That's fair. Okay. What do you think it was? It, it looked like just a little circular thing. But it was like sparkling. Hmm. Probably something for the main character. I, be I bet you're right. I, yeah, I bet you're absolutely right. Oh, she's gone. Yep. Okay. So we solved her her situation. Mm-hmm. This door is open. Cool. Oh, yep. There we go. See Shiny. it? Yeah. What is this thing? A large pearl earring lies on the floor, exactly where that naked woman dropped it as she ran screeching from the room. Great. <laughs> okay. This is the tanning bed nope. from which Ella- Whatever happened to her anyhow? Uh, oh, who was that? I don't know. This is the tan- Whatever oh, happened- Oh boy. Alright, this is gonna take a couple tries. I have to like, center it perfectly. This is the tan- nope. Whatever- No. Nope. Just pick it. This is the whatever. Oh, just, just, pick just pick it up. I'm using the hand, wrong yeah, hand. I was gonna say. Sorry. There's really not much. There's really not much to do. There's really God not damn it. much. There's really not. There's really not. There's Fire. really. I not, know I can pick this thing really, up. There's really. There's re there's 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 <laughs> there's Let there's, me try. there's there's Let me there's try. Uh, yeah. Please. There's really not much to do here since everything. There's, 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 <laughs> got it. Good job, Skilled. Ross. Yeah. No uh, scope. <laughs> there's, 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 um, wow, look at this funny shaped thing. What could it be? The top of the cabinet holds several vials of unknown substances. That doesn't look like an unknown substance. Yeah. That looks, looks like, like a very no. Yeah, I was, I was gonna say the exact same shape thing. Shape and substance. All right, let's, let's get out of here, but let's give the girl. Um, that gift first, and then we'll end it on that. Yeah. Whoa! There's oh, a lot dude, of dude this butts. Got way better. Barry, more pants, please. More pants. <laughs> Boy, I love these uh, these long episodes. They're so chill. Yeah, man. Um. Okay. Shamra, you're gonna like this pearl thing. Oh yeah, we can. Can we give her the lantern? Oh, we never even give me oil. For yeah, it. we need to light it. Oh my god, we have to get back in this fucking thing again. The, the dumb waiter? Yeah. Every time. While you would like to. Okay. You bang on no. the door. No. There we go. <laughs> I think you have a huge ass for that one second. Just love that face just the second before it cuts to this. Yeah, the, oh, it doesn't do anything now, of course. The dumb waiter doors are already open. Oh. Hey, wait a. There we go. Are they really called dumb waiter doors? Yeah, dumb waiters. They, they they were used to like um get stuff like from different floors. Like um you know how they used to have like mail chutes oh, yeah. in old yeah yeah yeah. Old buildings. 
Oh, there she is. You gotta go to the bathroom eventually. Uh, she probably has. Good question, though. Hello. What, what is this thing? The high amperage of the spa's electroshock exercise machine has transformed your genuine gold-plated medallion into a mass of molten metal now resembling modern sculpture. Oh. You decide to name it Suffering in Silence. Oh. oh. All right, I, I bet she, I can give probably, that to her, yeah, too. She probably wants that and that. Yeah. I have this, uh, object. Ah, so I see. It's beautiful. It is? It is. <laughs> I'd like you to have it. Why, thank you, Larry. It's not only beautiful, but I bet it's important and probably meaningful, too. But exactly what is its meaning? Aha! Of course! To me, it symbolizes the important role that art plays in all our lives. <laughs> and not I love just her. art, but the arts in general. Music, painting, dance, performance, sculpture, drama. All have the ability to move us spiritually above the fetid plane of our daily dreary existence and take us to a realm apart. A place where, if we're fortunate, another tiny fraction of the ultimate truth may be revealed, where we cease for a few fleeting moments to be these self-consumed blobs of protoplasm so and share in the endless quest for true enlightenment. Gosh, <laughs> I thought she could get a couple of bucks for it as scrap metal. <laughs> You're right, Shamra. I'm glad you like it. Cool. All right, and let's give her the, the pearl. And then we're good. Boop. Shamra, I think you should have this pearl. Oh, Larry, I have no need for more jewelry. Besides, while this might be a large pearl, it does have a slight flaw over here. But wait, you're not just giving me yet another bauble. Your thinking is far too sophisticated for that. Right. There you go. <laughs> it is? You're right, it is. I see now what you're implying. It's true, I know. I, I've spent my life basing my opinion of objects upon their financial value instead of on their inherent beauty. Missing the beauty of the tree by acknowledging only the net profit to be gained by harvesting the forest. Missing the glory of a solitary canyon while recognizing only its landfill potential. Oh my god. Oh my god. Missing no the solitude of a so seashore while I, love, I do like her a lot. Rights. So exactly what is it you're trying to get me to see in this simple pearl, Larry? So new agey. Uh, well... Oh, of course you won't tell me. That would be too simple. I know you want me to discover the meaning here by myself. Yes, of course. Hmm. Hmm. She got it. You can see because the score yeah, went yeah, up. Yeah, the number went up. I've got it! <laughs> the iridescent shimmer of a simple sphere created naturally by one of Earth's simplest creatures from the irritation of a single grain of sand layered with bodily secretions over a lifetime creating an object of classic beauty. Is that how pearls are made? Mm -hmm. You're Gross. telling me to accept the imperfections in my character that have been troubling farm. me these past Ooh. few months. To accept the irritations that life has handed me. To stop trying to remove all irritants from my life. To cover my irritations with layers of love so they become points of strength and beauty instead. Wow. I am? Okay. Uh, I am. <laughs> oh, Larry. I've never had a man talk with me this way. Treat me this way. Express things in such wonderful, subtle ways. Me neither. That's just the kind of guy I am, I guess. <laughs> shit eating grin. Good job, Larry. All right, let's save this, and then we're good. Not dead. All right, you could just say, like, gave her the pearl, or making progress. Sheet eating grin. Yeah, that's what it is. Great job, Ross.
Wow, this was our longest Sierra episode ever, I think. Uh, I probably. I mean, I think so. This one's. I'm this sure some some guy will be. Well, excuse me. Uh, actually, actually, uh, uh, Space Quest Four, uh, episode uh, sixteen, actually ran for uh, twenty seconds longer if you include the credits. <laughs> they're they're the they're, he's passionate fan. I think you thank you, uh, Vegeta fan seven twenty seven. Yeah, thank you, thank you for being a fan. <laughs> but actually, you know what? This is a good time. Since we're yeah. almost halfway through this game, I think yeah. like we can just say like thanks for uh, coming yeah. on this little Sierra journey with us. Yeah, these are chill. Yeah, enjoy having. I, you th around. These are my these are my favorite types of episodes to do, honestly. It's rad. And yeah, the it's Sierra games are just Ooh. yeah, like we we all go on a little journey. Yeah, and learn about ourselves with pearls and yeah, lard and toilet yeah. paper. And we meet really hot new agey girls who think we're way way deeper than we are. Ladies, trust me. We're all stupid. We're not as interesting as you think. Yeah. K please keep thinking that we are because it's very flattering and nice, but my god. We are like, we are like one plus one equals two. I am the end most, of story. I'm the most boring person ever. I can verify that. You, I literally, I wake up in the morning, I'm like, oh, I have to check my World of Warcraft garrison. That, I've seen it, that, yeah. And it's, it's pretty boring. Yeah, it's not very interesting. It's the worst. Anyway, uh, <laughs> end of the episode. <laughs> Bye. Catch you later. See you soon. Hello. Hello. Hi, <laughs> welcome back. It's me, Ross the Boss, and Dan the Man. We're gonna be doing Steam Train today with you. Uh, Dan, what are we indie. playing today? Ross, we're playing the same fucking game we've been playing for like 12 straight days. Tell me about it. It's Leisure Suit Larry. Excellent. Okay. Um, uh, Leisure Suit Larry 6, Shape Up or Slip Out. Mm -hmm. This is our second session playing this game, so... Is it? Yeah. Oh, it is. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's the, it's actually... Oh, as, so this would be 8, As we're recording eight. it, it is New Year's Day. Oh, yeah. And we're at... Happy we're, New we're, Year, Ross. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, guys. You're the best. We all love you. I love you, too. I love you, too. Who are we talking to? I don't know. Everyone? I was talking to you, but that's yeah, fine. Everyone. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. Everyone you. can take credit for that. Point is, we love you. <laughs> and we're ready for a hot new year of Steam Train and Game Grumps and all that goodness. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yeah. But in the meantime, let's let's finish this game. Mm -hmm. We've got we've got a little ways to go still. Um, many many more fine young women to fail mercilessly with. Uh, let's see, where haven't we been yet? Uh, we were up to. Oh, we, we did Electric Girl. We have oh, we her. have not talked to this girl yet. I think she wants you to open up the the water door. That is not what she wants, Ross. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's stop. Burgundy is La Costellata's hot new blues singer. Her picture is prominently featured in the La Costellata promo they run on Stallions. Oh, okay. Do you think she's singing a clue? I do not. <laughs> I, I, I listened for a second. Um, what you doing, Dan? I was trying to see if... Um, we could raise the voice without raising the music? No, she's considered music for this screen. Fair enough. Sorry, this board, what do you call it, board? Yeah, yeah, in, in my, in my day, we, Back in my we day. called them boards. Burgundy is too busy performing to talk with you. And they say she loves to perform. In fact, once she starts, she never stops. Oh, damn. Damn, that was a sexual endo. Oh, there must be some way to get her to talk with us. So, uh, what do we do? Um, we tried showing her our penis. Did we? Yeah, I remember that. Uh, did we... You should try looking at her first. Oh, look at her. Look at her. No, 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 I did, I did look at her. It just gave me some, some speech about how... Oh, okay. Uh, Item-wise, let's have a look. What if I her. weirdly touch her? Perhaps you should try looking at her first. No, I already tried looking. It just it gives you a blurb about who she is, right? Yeah, what if we take her guitar? Perhaps you should try looking at her. Oh, fine, I'll look at her. God, so old fashioned. Burgundy is La hot. Yeah, 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 it's nothing. Well, I'm sure you, there's no item we can't use. I, I don't know what our infant. I, it's been a, I need a refresher on my okay. inventory. Okay. We, ha we, we have a wrench. Wrench. We yeah. have uh, some Just words. Some words. The, the uh, cloth. The cloth, yep. Towel. Towel. Toilet paper. Toilet paper. What is that one again? That, this is a toilet seat cover. Toilet seat cover. Um, we've got an orange, orange. matchsticks, yeah. a big old bucket of lard, a lamp, lamp. Uh, the key to our room, uh, a bottle of hand cream, and a condom. I'm gonna say. 
I know. It's it's an arsenal that anyone would be jealous of trying yeah. to get the attention of a lady. I just want to know how he fits it all in his leisure suit. Yeah. Fucking mallet space. Um, oh. Oh. Oh no! Oh. It just a, <laughs> it, it automatically adjusts your junk answer. if you don't do anything. Um, you know what? I don't even know if it's something we can do. Then? Wait a second. It, no, it, it it told us like there's got to be some way you can get her attention. Unplug the cord. Oh, that is a dick move. Could that be it? Nice, Woo! Ross. So smart. Hey, what happened to my mic? How am I supposed to perform with no PA system? Perform? I bust for a stagehand, Borg, and he's coming right away, okay? Can you steal a guitar? Nice. Let's talk to her. Hey, excuse me, miss. My name is Larry. Larry Laffer. <laughs> <laughs> She's pretty. She's a pretty girl. Would you say your name was Cowboy? <laughs> Larry something? Laugher. <laughs> huh, laughter, huh? My name's Burgundy. I'm pleased to meet you, Burgundy. Okay. Uh, okay. I just wanted to tell you how much I enjoyed your singing. Why, thank you, little fella. You're kind of cute in a cur dog puppy kind of way. You know, I've never heard anyone sing the blues quite like you do, Burgundy. I sure hope not. Hell, honey, I ain't no goddamn blues singer. I'm country, through and through, and I'm proud of it. <laughs> <laughs> Got stuck in a weird spot there. Country singer, huh? Then why are you working here in the blues bar? Why, I'm just killing time singing here while I'm waiting for my big break. Oh, sure. You see, lots mm -hmm. of record company execs like to hang out at ritzy spas like this one. Or at least so I've been told. Yeah. She worked Could for I free. buy you a drink, oh, Burgundy? She, uh, yes, you sure could. But none of this faggy, citified dog drippings they serve in Damn. here. What? Man, could I go for a couple of Lone Stars? Yeah. Oh, she wants beer. Really? But Burgundy, La Costa Lada doesn't serve alcoholic beverages anywhere. There's nothing here but fruit juice and mineral water. Ugh. Don't I know it. But, cowboy, I'd love to wrap my lips around a tall one right about now. I'll bet you would. Mm hmm don't even think that, Larry. Oh, <laughs> I did. Buzzkill announcer. But Burgundy, La Costa Lada doesn't serve alcoholic beverages oh, anyway. Nope. Don't I? <sighs> okay, so we got to get her. We got to get her alcohol. Booze. All right, we'll be back, my lady. I'm trying okay. to think. So that's at least that's clear. So let's. Let's go somewhere else we Maybe haven't the been. Employee area would have alcohol. Oh yeah. But we don't have key to get in there. Yeah. What is this? What a wonderful place you've stumbled upon, Larry. A room filled with hot, sweaty women dressed in skimpy, tight fitting outfits. Oh, I remember this. Okay. So we have to we have to join the aerobics club. Oh god. Let's do it. Maybe I'll join in. I haven't worked out in the last three games. <laughs> this is how I feel. Yeah. You! Yes, you! Keep up! Just like totally off. Oh. <laughs> hey, white suit! You're falling behind! Isn't letting you keep up! God, that's how I feel at the gym. Yeah, right? That's it. Forget it. Class dismissed. Everybody out. Oh, sweet. All right. Now that those girls are out of here, <laughs> I've got the aerobics babe all to myself. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> what a dirtbag. What a fucking turd burglar. All right, let's God, do it. Asshole. 
Excuse me, miss. May I speak to you? Yes, but you have to talk to me, not to the floor. Oh, jeez, would you go a little easier with me on the fucking oh. clicking correctly? Put uh, there we go. Hello, miss. My name is Larry. Larry Laffer. <laughs> <laughs> nice Under to meet boob. you, little man. That's my favorite kind of boob. My name is Cavarici Brownie. And based upon your proven athletic abilities, your name should be on my class roster. Gee, thanks. I guess. Hey, Ross, tell me something. Yes. Remember how you just said we couldn't get into the employee area because we didn't have an ID card? Sorry, I was too busy looking at her underboob. What are you talking about? Uh, right next to the underboob, as a matter of fact. It's an ID oh card. Oh my god. All right, so. I did not see that. That seemed. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> Let's talk to her, but that's got to be what we have to do here. For the record, I guess I did say Okay, good. Do you think it's possible for a hunk like me to develop an even better body? No. <laughs> yeah, it is a work of art, isn't it? No. Art wasn't the man I was thinking of. Cool. Which do you admire more, my body or my mind? <laughs> Larry, you're one of the few men with equal development in both places. Nice. Meaning that we suck at everything. Oh, probably. Yeah. I gotta tell you, Russ, doesn't it seem as though, like, the nip protrusions are in strangely, like, too far up? Oh, th that's what that is? I believe so, yeah. And what uh, else would it be? I mean... They're kind of placed weirdly, and the like, uh, the shoulder proportions are a little inaccurate. Yeah, or, yeah. like a little bit weird. Yeah, one might say her body is slightly uh, non-realistic, but you know what? It's okay. She's got a sassy haircut. How did you end up with such a great job, Cam? It doesn't pay that well, but uh, at least I'm doing what I like: watching young women sweat in skimpy tight clothing. I can relate to that. Mm. All right, so she's into girls. Cool. That's cool with me. How did you relate. end up with such a great job, Cav? Oh, we have to oh. give her something. I can relate to that. All right, yeah, we've exhausted. Let's see. Let's just go right for the fucking ID. No, what if... Are you sure you want to do that? Do you want to save it first? It's probably a good idea to save it. She looks like she could kill a man. Oops. What is... I'm super nervous to do anything that involves grabbing anything off anyone now. You're very smart. Okay, so save as. Go for it, Ross. You can just say, like, gym instructor. Done. Crash. The game, please. <laughs> oh, oh, that. Because of, mm -hmm. of the security guard. Yeah. Very smart. Okay. Let's see what happens. Whoop. Hi, Cav. <laughs> I love this music. Yeah, it's a fantastic. Mm. It's like skate or die too. Skate or die. Skate, skate or die, die, die. I couldn't help but notice your employee ID badge, Cab. What a lovely likeness of you. Oh, that? I don't really like that photo. I was, how you say, having a bad moose day? I suppose you're right. It doesn't hold a candle to the real thing. I guess I just like the way it dangles way out there in space. <laughs> Twisting slowly, slowly in the wind. Dear God, Larry. You're rather funny for a man. Uh, it, it turns lightly, didn't it? it, it uh, let's keep trying. Badges? We don't need no stinking badges. Oh, nice reference. <laughs> <laughs> God. Larry, you are a weird one, but I like weird. Oh, good. Uh, let's. Okay. We're getting different responses, so let's just keep trying. Oh no! Oops! <laughs> Look, your badge got caught on my finger. Okay, and now I have to amputate my finger, <laughs> or you can give me your badge. Either way, <laughs> I don't care. I have to admit. 
in spite of your Y chromosome, I find you rather funny. Well then, take the badge. Nice! I get in anywhere I want to and without no stinking badges. <laughs> what? We accidentally... Nice! We got the badge! That in was fact, it? No, like... I have an idea. Let's meet later today for a sauna together, hmm? Bring your best girl and meet me in the Swedish sauna. We'll uh, double date, hmm? Excellent! Now, who will I get to play the role of my best girl? And what will Kat bring as her day? Okay. Well, great. See, that's the thing about Sierra games. Yeah. Like, a lot of times it's just, like, persistence, and it's not, like, super clear. So, like, that that definitely... I'm sure a lot of people got stuck there, because you're, like, you click it once, and you're yeah, like, oh, I didn't have to... I noticed it turned, so that's, like, oh. not... Yeah. yeah. It is slightly a kind of a hint. Uh Yeah. I am remembering something now actually. Oh, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did you do something wrong? No, 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 no. I didn't do something wrong. It's just that um I believe my uncle taught me this trick when we uncle, played this game. Really? Yeah, yeah, here wait. Hey, watch it. Was that it? Maybe again. Hey, watch it. I could have sworn. Hey, watch it! Oh man. Did we touch the nipple? Oh, all right. Yeah. You can have a quick peek. What? Oh! Are you serious? <laughs> How did my oh. face get on both of those wow. nipples? <laughs> of course, Wait. You know now that you've seen them, you're going to have to die. Yeah. Yeah. She fucking kills you. Now that you've seen her boobs. <laughs> <laughs> As the last breath of life slowly ebbs from Worth your body, it. Yep. Yourself, so what? Those are tits to die for. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, thank you, Uncle. All right. Back You're, we go. How old were you when your uncle showed you that? Well, dude, this was 94, 95, so I was like, I don't know, like 14. 17, yeah. I was like 36. Hi, <laughs> Take it out the Oh, okay. Oh, no, we already got the badge. Cool. Um, Maybe we should check, uh, check, click our shirt again. No, Ross, we're fine. Pull Let's... your penis out. No, Ross. Why can't I exit? A large earring. Oh, there we go. Wait, can you take that earring? No. No, no, no. Oh. Uh, we got the badge. That's what okay. we needed. So we can, we can, we can uh, skedaddle. Yes. All right, sweet. Progress. <laughs> Just make like a tree and scram. Yeah. That was pretty presumptuous of you that uh, mm -hmm. you figured Kevin was going to put your face on those nips. Well, I mean... What I, else I, would I you? Did, I don't know what you're talking about. They were just there. <laughs> this is part of the game. Yeah, you're right. Okay, so here we go. Al Lowe and me, good friends, good buddies. Yeah. He comes over for dinner. I'd love to meet Tuesday. Al Lowe. Me too. Love Al Lowe, if you ever see this, yeah. come hang out. Party with us, bro. Come hang out. Let's just play a game and hang out. Breathlessly, you insert Cavaricci Varney's employee ID card into the slot on the electronic lock. Get out of here, no dude. careful photo checking required. The gate slides open with a clang. Yes. Oh, sweet. I was afraid he was going to bust. I thought, yeah, I thought he was going to bust. Wait, what is going what on? What is happening right now? This tent contains the employee's canteen and dance hall. <laughs> I'm sorry, Inside, what? Inside, a man and a woman are alternately chugging beers to see who can stand up the longest. Right now, it looks like they're both losing. Wait, so the employees just kind of live a different lifestyle? Yeah, they just totally party. I think you gotta go in there. Oh, this is the edge. Oh, yeah. The line is... Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, they're chugging beers. Yeah, that's what he said. Yeah. All right, so we need give us beers, please. She looks like she's in a serious chugging contest. Better not interrupt her. Maybe here. Wow, is that water cold? Yes, and it's deep too. Oh damn! Well, now cut that out. <laughs> uh. Nice. Got a bunch of beers. Yay! Oh, got a sick bag. Okay, cool. So let's head back. 
<laughs> the... Oh, that that fucking sassy wall. Yeah. Sweet. What's up that path that goes up that way? Oh, this is this connects to the front of the hotel. Or not? Or perhaps not? Thought it did. Oh, oh. it's it's oh, the pool. Right. Yeah, the the pool like this area has some weird like physics to it. Like oh, down like... here is the front. Like I've never quite been able, and over here is like imagine it in your head. You're like, I don't understand how any yeah. of this is connected. And up here is the beach. It doesn't it doesn't quite make sense. And over no. here is the pool again, like the other side. I don't know. It doesn't matter. What a fever dream. Anyway, continue. Oh, you know what? Why don't we continue next time on Steam Train? Uh no. <laughs> Cancelled. <laughs> Series canceled. Thank Gone. you, Ross. Forever. Uh, I'm being serious. It's, next, it's next. It's done. Nope. Next gonna, time on Steam Train, we're gonna give I'm this gonna, young lady her burrs. We're gonna play Ski Free next. Wow. That's bold, bold move. You know, there's that. There's the the bunch of people who are gonna think I'm serious. Yeah, they're gonna be like, "You son of a bitch." <laughs> what are you doing here? Welcome back to. <laughs> welcome back to Steam Train, you sexy bitches. Um, let's uh, let's disturb uh, Burgundy's singing again. Yeah, unplug that. Oops. <laughs> Oops. Damn it to hell, there it goes again. Hey, you gonna fix this thing? Come on, Gary's on his way, Burgundy. He should be here soon. Well, his goatee and hair is gross. It looks just like Tony Stark. I know I've said that already. Yeah, yeah. So much like Robert Downey. Well, all right, let's talk to her. Hey, I heard you want burr. Hey, Burgundy, I found you some beer. Cold ones, long necks, yeah, boy, let me at them. Whoa. Damn. Holy shit. <sighs> she chugs a lot sure like Sure hits the spot. Okay. Oh, oh, oh shit. Whoa. There's mm, no you know, I think that was even better than the first one. Well, there's just, uh, you know what? I think more. we should just let this play out. Yeah, keep going. Keep giving her beer. Yeah, number three. I gave her six, right? Whee! It sure is hot in months. here. Will you hurry oh, up, damn. Gary? Oh, it's Gary. Her whining is even worse than her singing. I heard that. Hey, Gary. What's Gary doing? Oh. He's going to fix the... You know, I could just keep doing this all night. Oh, does she have to drink all six before he fixes it? I don't know. You're so hard on the equipment, Bergie. Did you screw up the plug again? Same thing again. There, that- Damn, I'm down to my last beer, little buddy. Tasting, tasting. <sighs> all set, Burgundy, honey. Have you done your medley from the Fantastics yet? Get out of here! <laughs> God, he said mean? tasting instead of testing. Oh. Yeah. Took me a second. I like his socks. I would wear those. Yeah. Well, looks like Gary done fixed my audio problem. Time to head back to the salt mines. Wait, dang it. But I thought... Well, the song's gonna be different. We're drunk. Set. Listen. I don't know if that's it. Yeah. Burgundy is too busy performing to talk with you. Unplug it again. Yeah, unplug that shit. Yeah. <laughs> Just... <laughs> I love that you have to trip over Oops. it every time. Oh, damn it to hell. There it goes again. Hey, you gonna fix this thing? Come on, Gary's on his way, boy. All right. So, did we were we under a timer? I don't know. Maybe we just didn't get a chance to talk to her again. Maybe she'll say different stuff now that she's toasted. Mm -hmm. Would you say your name was Cowboy Larry something? Laugher. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Laughter, huh? My name's Burgundy. No, it's I'm pleased same to meet stuff. you, Burgundy. Yeah. Huh. I just wanted to tell you how much I enjoyed your singing. Why, thank you, little fella. You're kind of cute in a curd dog. Nope. Is it possible? You know, 
I've never heard anyone sing the blues quite like you do, Bert. I sure hope. See if she requests beer again. Yeah. Country singer. Could I? She yes, you sure could. But none of this fag is citified. Yeah, dog. she she wants. Yeah, she was being she, offensive. And she then... she needs more beer. Are you serious? I think so. I. Uh, I'm not what? positive, but like. What? What happened? Given. I think this is just another example, like yeah. like with the ID badge from last time. Like, mm -hmm. sometimes you just need to do shit twice to to get the result that you want. But to get her absolutely trashed. Are you sure it wasn't a timed thing? I don't know. Either way, we're going to need more beer. Yeah, let's grab more beer. Breathlessly, you insert the gate slide. All right. Oh, yeah, get back in there, grab that beer. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what's going on with the people to the right, though. Oh, they're dancing. They're slam dancing. Slam dancing? You've never heard of slam dancing? Which one's that? It is a, uh... Well, we did get points, I think, for grabbing beer again. Oh, really? Yeah, so... Maybe we do have to do yeah. that. Yeah, maybe she's a 12-packer. Hey, maybe. Some some people are impressive like are you, that. Are you a lightweight when you drink? You kidding me? Finish the neck of a Heineken, and I'm like, I'm so god. Yeah, I'm 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 a bit of a lightweight to be honest. Oops. Not like that though. Oh. Oh damn it! Hey. Click click click. Come on, Gary. Yeah, Gary's on his way. Let's just start with giving her beer right off the bat. Yeah. Because we need. I, it might be timed. Boom. You look to me like you're still thirsty, Burgundy. How about another sixer? Yeah, you're right, it was two. Cool. Beer. Yeah, hoo! I'm so sick of this crap they're serving in here, I could just pee uke. Pee uke. Thank you, little buddy. Yep. Wow. Whoa, All slow right. Slow down there, Sandy Squirrel. You know, <laughs> I really love this stuff. Yeah, it's beer 7 through 12 that she needs. Man, there ain't nothing like a good cold one every now and then. Yeah, she's starting it's to get drunker. It's so hot in here. Yeah. Why, oh, darling, excuse little old me. She's gonna be like, let me fucking tell you something. <laughs> Damn, does it seem hot in here to you? I'm burning up. God damn it, Larry, I gotta have a break. Ain't you got privilege to the sauner? Sauner? Why, yes, oh. Burgundy. I believe the sauner is open to all guests. <laughs> well, it sure ain't open to us performers. I could sure use a nice sweat about now. What do you say you and me get all sweaty together? Yay. In fact, I've been looking for a date to the sauna tonight for quite a while. I'm going to meet some uh, friends there later on. I'd be pleased if you would be my guest. Sounds good, little buddy. Just give me a minute so as I can get out of this damn heavyweight sparkly dress. You go on ahead. I'll meet you there in about two shakes of a cow's tit. Whoa. Um, excuse me. Uh, How colloquial. Yeah. Oh, okay. So this is something. Guess she's gonna take that sixth beer with her. Oh well, off to the sauna. This is something I screwed up when when I was when I played this when I was a kid. Yeah. Um, this is where I got stuck initially because it says off to the sauna, but you're not supposed to go right to the sauna. That's really misleading. I know. You go you up. You decide to hop up on stage and let your star quality shine through. You go up here because remember how mm -hmm. uh, the other girl from the makeup room wanted a dress. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. So you have to know this is fucked up. You have to know to go back here, and boom, there's the dress. What a fuck! Oh, fucking hell! I know that's. I got stuck for like weeks on that. Hey, look! In the ass. Burgundy left her dress hanging backstage. There's always one. One in every Sierra game that's like, how the fuck was I supposed to... Well, looks like Burgundy won't be needing this again. God damn. All right. This was, of course, before the time of walkthroughs, and there was a Sierra hint line. I think that's how I figured oh, it out. Oh, really? I think I called, like, the, the 900 number, and I'm like, I tried to, like, lower my voice because I didn't want 
the person to know that like a 14 year old is playing <laughs> like, oh, hello, like, I'm oh, hello I'm Dr. Dan Avedon uh yes I I, I brain surgery for a living <laughs> um where was I going oh yeah the sauna okay I love this background music what is this game rated in the US this I don't know I mean, it wasn't like R it, it might have been back in the day I honestly don't know like if you were to compare ratings for games now and then, yeah. like I don't, I honestly don't know which direction it would go in. Like if yeah. things are more strictly rated now. We had a huge problem with that in Australia because I guess when they were putting the rating system together. Ah! You said you were the president of the hair club for men. You didn't say you were also a client. Oh! Anyway. Wow. Uh, <laughs> that's a, that's when an when old when they reference. They're putting the. Um, the rating system together in Australia, I guess for some reason they thought, hey, you know, like, it's like Pac-Man and shit. It's never gonna be, like, super violent. It doesn't need an 18 rating. It did. Uh, yeah. And it was, like, this long battle that went on in Australia for, like, the fucking longest time. And I think it got sorted now, but fuck me, what a nightmare. Yeah, I, I know, man. It, it's it's very strange, because... Here we go. Hi, Gary. Um... Okay. Sup, Gary? Okay, so I need... Oh, that's her, isn't it? Uh, what? Is Where? You can't see anything over there. What are you doing? Oh, uh, there's a wall in the way. Very nice. Okay, um... This locker is taken. Oh, do you have a locker? This locker is taken. Hmm. This locker is taken. Okay. Oh, sweet. Yes. I didn't know we had a lot. Everyone gets one. That's true. All right, so... Got to use the towel. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's right. Get the Ross face ready. Yeah. Uh, what happened is a Dan face. So <laughs> no, weird. no, no. That's not where that was. Okay. What? Uh, more Ross face. Why please. is that guy's got two Dan faces? <laughs> why is that guy's face Dan? Don't listen to him, god, Kevin. Why is it? Whoa, God! What is the? Put Ross's entire what face is, what over is my faces. Thank you. I think it says something different if you get sprayed. Why does that guy have a jetpack? Whoops! <laughs> Just, oh, whoa! Why they both so many packs? Ross faces. What does that guy with jeans? <laughs> I need to take a shower. Oh yeah. Well, yeah, because I gotta get. You should gotta, whip them with a the towel. Gotta get all. Good old he sassy. See his winky. He has no, he's like. You're body. not. You're not the very sexiest of men. AKA we haven't any. No. Oh God. The, okay. Those things popping up and spraying water really like shock your grundle. I think I think something happens when you stand on them that's different than when you have clothes on. Like Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> no. Oh, <laughs> you spit out water. Oh. <laughs> that's funny. Okay, the sauna is this one, right? This door bears a tiny brass plaque with a delicate La Castellata logo and the words Swedish sauna. Oh, yes. Yeah. What's the difference between a sauna and a Swedish sauna? I do not know, Ross. Oh. <laughs> you should ask. Hi, Burgundy. Swedish I'm so glad to see you're really here. I'm here all right, honey. Mosey on over and sit down beside little old Burgundy. Oh, it's hotter than Fresno in here. Yeah, but it's a dry heat. Well, I do enjoy a sauna. Uh, especially with a woman as beautiful as you. Me too. Hot and sweaty is perfect. And we're alone. Um, not for long, Burgundy. Adjust the dial. Remember I told you how um, I, I, I took the liberty of inviting another couple? Uh, here they are now. Uh, Cavaricci? Is that you? Hi, Larry. Who's your friend? Cavaricci Bornet? Need Burgundy Bodine. Berg? 
This is Cab. Bonjour. How are you? So, Cab, where's your date? Coming soon? Date? I didn't say anything about bringing a date. No. Uh -oh. But of course you did. No. I asked if you wanted to double date. I consider this double. What's the matter, Larry? Can't stand a little competition? Oh, oh boy. Shit. Don't tell me, Larry. This is not your first menage à trois. Hey, Larry, I don't know about this kinky crap. I'm just a plain old-fashioned country girl. You didn't say nothing about no menagerie come troy. <laughs> no, I did not. No, no, can't do that. No one said anything no, about that. Not at all. Uh-oh. Look at their playful hand gestures. <laughs> it's like us. That's really funny. That's what we do when the... Uh, well, you know what? Doors. Next time on Steam Train, yeah. we'll see how this resolves. Uh, it, will we? Yeah, sure. Uh, well, it's it's, it's going to be sexy as hell. That's uh, that's good to know. Yeah. Right. Cliffhanger, baby. <sighs> hey, hello, welcome back to Patty Cake. Hey, girl. No, oh, well, no, it's... It's it's some gentle, playful um, courtship happening between Burgundy and Sh what's her name? Chev Chevalier? Shab Shabu? Shab Shabu Shabu Shab Shabu Shabu. Uh, yeah, we're trying to orchestrate a threesome here. Uh, Wait, are you sure? It's I think it's actually you're competing for the affection of the woman. She did say menage a trois, so I'm gonna remain hopeful. Though I must say, <laughs> it does not it does not look good by that body language. Yeah, it looks like you're kind of gonna be more of like a like a little little left out Larry. Let's see what happens. Uh, gee, girls, I've never been with two women before, especially two as beautiful as you two. Uh, where do I begin? You're right, Larry. Burgundy is a beautiful woman. God damn it. Just look at how those delicate beads of perspiration glide down her shoulders, across her chest and disappear behind that totally unnecessary white towel. <laughs> oh, Cal, you're one to talk? Just look at you. That poor towel of yours is gonna be stretched completely out of shape by your sexy figure. <laughs> it is getting hot in here. Which on the air conditioning? Yeah, yeah you getting toasty, Ross? I'm getting a little... All right, hold on. I, I want to see if I can get the music down a little bit. It's a little distracting. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna kind of, kind of need to concentrate. Right there we go. Yeah, yeah. Just, no. just, just, I just gotta focus. I just need to focus. Okay. 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 Got an idea. Uh, why don't one of you move over here to my left side, and then I can put an arm around both of you. Smart. That's an idea, Larry. Perhaps we'll do that later. But right now, I want to get to know Burgundy. Damn it. Berg? I know I've seen you around here. Don't you work in the lounge? Tell me all about yourself. Everything. Oh, there's nothing much to tell. I'm just a simple country girl waiting for my big break in showbiz. Only took the job in La Costa Lada's blues bar to fill in time between tours. Why, wow, that's fascinating. But what's even more fascinating is watching the light dance in those beautiful eyes of yours. Oh, she's good. You illuminate the whole room with your smile, oh, mon amour. Uh, I was going to say that, Burgundy. <laughs> you uh, sure are pretty. Why, well, thank you, Cavaricci. This is going poorly. Um, would you like me to turn down the temperature in here? Are either of you uncomfortable? Would you like me to rearrange the seating here? Is anybody listening to me? <laughs> oh my god. Burgundy, your hair is so beautiful, soft and manageable, yet holds its shape so nicely. You're fortunate to be so blessed. All this? Anyone can have hair like this? Please don't hate me for my beautiful hair. When did I slip into a Pantene ad? <laughs> <laughs> well. Yeah. Wow, it sure is getting late. <sighs> my, 
my, look at the clock. Guess we may as well all turn in now. Oh, Cal, it is getting warm in here. My silver bracelet's so hot it's burning my wrist. Don't worry about that, Sherry. Let's talk more about you and me, hmm? Oh, my God. Oh, Damn. Cav. I'm beginning to have the strangest feeling about tonight. But not strange, darling. When things are right between two people, why fight it? Relax and enjoy the new sensations. God damn it. Hey, I want some new sensations too. <laughs> oh, shut up, you wiener. <laughs> this is poor Larry. How about a little steam, girls? Here, let me pour a little water on the rocks. Oh my god, he's gonna pour the whole thing. He's not that bright. Oh, damn it. Oops. Sorry, I uh, spilled the whole bucket. <laughs> now it really is steamy, isn't it? Cav? Bird? We're gonna leave. Oh, they're gone. What the? Oh. oh. Once again, Larry, the best man didn't win. And this time, you were in a one-man race. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, save. Save our shame, Ross. <sighs> You could, uh, menage a uno. Plenty o fish in the sea. <laughs> Plenty of fish in the... C so true, Ross. Very wise. Oh, her bracelet's still there, though. Can snatch that up. Grab that shit. I'll be sure to return Burgundy's silver bracelet to her. Right. <laughs> That's that might be my favorite running joke in this. Like, right. what a scumbag you are, and the announcer calling you out. Um, can we take this bucket? You don't need an empty bucket. All right. Well, I guess I we mean, need a full. Says you. Yeah, we need a full bucket of lard, but not an empty bucket. Good idea. Pick up a heavy rock that must be four hundred degrees. <laughs> okay, cool. I guess we're done here then. Oh, sweet failure. Yeah, your success. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. Oh well, that silver bracelet is definitely something we can give to uh, Shamra. Shamra. Yeah. Let's get out of here. Oop. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got a little, <laughs> a little sprinkle. Okay. Yes. Oh. Oh, there we go. We can turn the game music up now. Oh, yeah. Do -do 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 -do. Do -do 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 you can't leave the locker room smelling of sweat. Oh. Smelling of soup. The smelling of, the smelling of sweat. Oh. We have to take a shower. Boom. More dude butts abound. No, actually, you know what? Mix it up, Kevin. Put put my face on one cheek and Ross's face on another. See, now we're friends. But friends. Now make us kids. Ross, don't. I don't know what you said, but I didn't like your tone. Oh yeah, and there's more more nudity happening in this area. It's fine. Okay. Okay. She kind of looks like she's stuck. Said help. Yeah, she, she's like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's definitely stuck. That's not supposed to be frozen like that. Ah, a nice hot shower always makes me feel like a new man. Me too, sweetheart. <laughs> and here I am. How did he even hear you out there? Gary, how did you do that? I love Gary. How's it going, Brosif? It doesn't seem like there are enough customers here to warrant a full-time towel attendant. Oh, I do more than this. Much, much more. Oh, I don't want to know. All right. Oh, I do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what if I do want to know? Yeah. Wow, I just realized what that sculpture is. 
what, which one? The the one down there. I just thought it was a thing. There's two people making out. Yeah, it's a you dude didn't... holding up a woman and making out. Yeah. You didn't see that? I didn't notice. I saw that immediately. Look at you, Ross. Oh, wow. I'm yeah, I got a good eye. You just got the skills. Um, all right, so let's... What's up, buddy? Um, is it this one? Uh, I don't remember. Wait, what, which, which room are you looking for? I'm looking for the kitchen. Nope. Oh, Lieutenant, quick, into the closet. Wait, shall I rephrase that? <laughs> nice. I'm sorry, what? It was a homosexuality out of the closet joke. Um. <laughs> All right. I'm trying, <laughs> bravo. I was trying to get to the kitchen so we can give uh, Shamra her, uh... this is uh, exactly where I just came from. I'm sorry, everybody. I got confused. Hi, Gary. <laughs> they don't Hi, do an amazing job of labeling doors yeah, in this game. They absolutely should have. Gets a little confusing. It's sometimes. kind of strange from a design standpoint. You think they would have very wanted the navigation to be clear, but I guess they would have gaze to last longer. Yeah, I think I think that's part of what it is. I think honestly, they just wanted you to like. They figured you'll explore this place so much that like you might as well. Um, you know, you'll, you'll know it by the back of your hand anyway. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that crunchiness is the worst. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shamra, we have more gifts for you. My sweet lover. There's literally nothing in her room. Well, she that's it. She's like a minimalist mm. feng shui. Uh, Except for makeup and pants. Right. Dang it. Stop with the... Give me the... Give me the... There it is. Um... Wait, what's that red thing? That's the dress. Oh, I thought it was a ketchup bottle. A uh... Ketchup bottle? Incorrect. Okay. Okay. Uh, here we go. Shamra, I brought you this sterling silver bracelet. I hope you like it. Oh, Larry, I have no need for bracelets. Once I had hundreds of bracelets, nearly all of them better than this. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I just thought perhaps. But wait, that's not what you're trying to say, is it? I love her. This isn't a simple gift, is it? I bet it's much more. The superficial old me would have seen this bracelet as merely a clumsy attempt at a cheap gift. Probably an ulterior motive, suspicious as always of a man offering me silver, in expectation of future rewards. But you, you're different. You're as transparent as my pants, teaching me <laughs> to achieve a higher level of consciousness, a deeper understanding. You're helping me scale these mental walls I've built around myself these last few months. I... No, Larry, please, allow me to bring my thoughts to fruition. I understand now. It's obvious. You're not trying to buy me off with this cheap silver bracelet, are you? You're speaking in symbols, aren't you? Of course. Okay. You're challenging me to overcome my shallowness. And I will, rest assured. But a silver bracelet? What can this mean? Oh, I'm so foolish. Such a lightweight. Of course I see it now. Your gift symbolizes the spirit of life itself. A <laughs> ring with no beginning, no end. A solid circle chasing itself round and round a vast emptiness. Much like my quest for spiritual fulfillment, mm -hmm. which it looks like it must be far, far sure. away, but which, when you finally open your eyes to discover it, has actually been right at your feet the entire time. Oh, Larry, your wisdom is so powerful. <laughs> I believe I'm finally beginning to understand. I just thought you'd look good wearing nothing but a bracelet. Oh. Yep, that's exactly <laughs> what I thought you'd say. <laughs> You're really catching on to me, Sham. All right, progress. Did we not give her the words already? We have to say the words to her. No, we did, didn't we? I think we did. 
Didn't she go like, oh my god? Yeah, she did. Do it again. Shamra, there's something I simply must tell you. May I no, whisper did, she, in she, your she, 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 ear? She oh yeah. Of course, Larry. Let's get what is it? It's just a little something I learned recently. Right here and do that. Shibber, shibber. Oh, my God. Oh, we get more points for that. But of course. We must have forgotten to save Why it. Why didn't I ever realize that before? Okay, she's, she's super amazed, as you may have suspected. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Well, let's, let's give her an orange. Oh, yeah, let's see if the orange is... I don't think that's one of the things. No, on second thought... I don't think she'd care for that. <laughs> but what would a woman like this need? Mm, go through your list again. Let me see what you got. I think we've given her a lot of good stuff. I know we have to give her the lamp, but it's not ready somehow. Do you need to get oil for it? Yeah. Oh, the, the dress? No, the dress is for the makeup girl. Uh... Yeah. And we already tried to give her the bucket of lard, and God knows we've tried to unzip our fly in front of her, thanks to you, mm -hmm. Ross. All right, so that's all we need from her right now. Okay. Oh, hang in there, Shamra. Hang in there. We've got more stuff for you, but we're making excellent progress. Excellent yeah. progress. <laughs> Some might say, sexcellent progress. <laughs> were you being facetious? All right. Okay, so next episode, we will do more stuff. Because there aren't that many girls left that we haven't either Damn, there are hit on there are or <laughs> yeah let's see what happens next time on steam train next time on steam train bye i want the last word shut up you can't have it wait it's been a while since you saved your game would you like to save it now no, no, yeah let's let the episode start <laughs> It's been a while since we've saved our game, Ross. Would you like to save it now? No. Great. Here we go. Plenty of fish in the sea. Dan is cool. Thank you, Ross. Wait. Uh, oh my god, I can't believe you went there. Wow. <laughs> so excited with yourself. All right. Um, question. Yep, no, no. Did we ever get the handcuffs from the guard after we... After the game crashed? After the game crashed? Oh, I don't know. I don't think we did. I don't think we did. Oh, we lost our save because the game crashed. That's why we hadn't given her the words. So, yeah, we, we lost our save, but, like, we had still done all the stuff, like, on we, camera. Oh, do we need to go back and get the handcuffs? Uh, let's go there right now. It's easy enough to do. We also found out that we don't have to worry if we do crash. It doesn't crash the game, does it? No. Okay, okay. No. See, because, well, you're going to have to <laughs> blur those out, Kevin. Well, I can't believe he's watching, uh... Sport. <laughs> he is sport ball. Uh, nondescript sport. Okay. So, n because we turned, uh, the camera, uh, the security camera into the women's showers, he's now completely in... The mouse in front of the oh, sorry. Very hard to edit. Sorry. Uh... He's now wrapped up in that, and we can yoink his cuffs. Oh. Daryl is so absorbed in your new television spectacular, you are able to remove the handcuffs without his detection. Listen to that bass. That's slappy. All right. Let's get out of here. Okay, back in we go. I only remember that because we are going to need those for, for our next conquest. I, I use conquest in an extremely um, loose sense. Huh. Is this where we need to be? No. There's another door over here, though. Wait. Where? I wonder if we can do anything with this. Peering through Cav's record collection, you find one album that particularly excites you. The soundtrack from Leisure Suit Larry Six, Shape Up or Slip Out. Written and produced by Dan Kaler. Oh, nice! Oh, wow, look at that! We can uh, play all the songs from the game, such as Samba de Hooters and Two Rump to Pump. <laughs> I want to hear Two Rump to Pump. Do you? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. That's a good song. Oh, yeah. You don't really want to climb. 
muskrat lust. Yeah, that sounds good. Dude, these... And they worked with what they could. Heart is so. good, right? <laughs> That's like something I'd say. Yeah. Switch hitting kitten. Oh, that has to be. Shock your booty. Wow. I just hear Samba do Hooters yeah, real let's quick. Let's do it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, that's a neat little feature that they put in. That's cool. Yay. Whoa. Check her out. Bam, bam, bam. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I wouldn't want to be your gynecologist. Wow, Ross, let's talk to her. Hi, cutie. How you doing? What? You oh, my God. Climb on, lay down, and shut up, boy. My name is Christina Priscilla Diana Van Dyke. Oh, do I have to remember all that? But the only people who called me that are dead now. Oh, jeez. You may, oh. and in fact will, call me Thunderbird. Thun uh, thun Thunderbird. <laughs> Thunderbirds are go. Thunderbird, yeah. Thunderbirds are go. Ah, oh, there she is. How's it going? Oh yeah. Samba de Hooters. Hello, miss. I couldn't help but notice the muscles in your inner thighs. Jesus. What? I mean, I couldn't help notice the uh, magic in your intense eyes. Nice. <laughs> so greasy. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Nice outfit. When are you going to stop having your mommy pick out your clothes? Oh, oh damn. Sick burn! Oh, totally. She doesn't pick out my clothes anymore. I think a 90s guy has to know when to bypass the fickle whims of Paris haughty couture and stick with the stylish lines of a true classic. Hence, the white leisure suit has become, how may I say it, something of a symbol of mine. Hmm. I see. I gotta admit, it's you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. You don't know how many people comment on it. Oh, I can imagine. I like that they come up with like 5,000 different ways to call you a loser without actually saying it yeah. in these games. What brings you to La Costa Lada, little boy? Oh, I'm here on a junket, actually. <laughs> you see, I was one of the winners of a recent broadcast of Stallions, that hot new TV show for hot new studs like oh. um, moi. So I suppose you'll be here for the two-week visit instead of the weekend the first place guys receive. Gosh, Thunderbird, <laughs> you sure do know your TV shows. I never noticed that. I should. How do you think I got here? Never noticed that the loser stays longer at the resort than the winner. <laughs> like the winners only stay for a weekend and you stay here for two weeks. What? That's pretty funny because this place sucks. I like it. So babe, um, what do you say you and me get to know each other a little better? Honey, there's not much about you I need to know. And there's not much about me you'd care to learn. Oh, shit. But I suppose a little session later on would be okay. Session, you say? I just have one problem, Larry. Uh, problem? Uh, what problem, T-Bird? That's Thunderbird to you, Larry. Oh, my problem is simple. I'm having so much fun here that I wore out my only pair of handcuffs. Boom. So, if you want to have fun with me, you'll have to bring me a little hard with Oh, you mean handcuffs like these? Oh, them, yeah. You like mean handcuffs it. like this tub of lard? Shabam! Yeah, I <laughs> just br give her the orange. <laughs> Look what I brought you, Miss Thunderbird. A genuine pair of chrome-plated, serial-numbered, auto-latching, inexpensive resort cop handcuffs. I only hope you'll find them acceptable. Jeez, Taiwan again. You know how fast the chrome wears off these babies? Oh, well. 
At least you made the effort. Tell you what. I'll go back to my room and get dressed up. You stop by later. And don't take too long either. You got it? But I... Shut up. I'm out <laughs> of here. What a beautiful uh, everything. Okay, wait. I'm supposed to go to her room, did she say? Yeah. I don't know which one her room is, though. Probably. <laughs> just... And don't be late. Oh, uh, I hurry. But, uh, but, uh, what room are you in? Dang it. Oh. Did you see her just slap the door and, like, it opened? Wait. So, what? Hey, can you put your butt on that, that butt shaking thing? Let's see. You fondle the still warm, heavy duty wide rubber belt that's now hanging unused from the chassis of the Super Cellulite Bun Shaker 600. What about the. You fondle the still. Oh, maybe I take it? You remove oh. the wide rubber belt from the Super oh. Cellulite Bun Shaker 600. Didn't even mean to do that, but that's good. Okay, what about the. Can you sit on that thing that she was on? Let's take a you run your hand over the surface, giving your hand a tremendous workout as you stretch those wrist muscles and <laughs> bend those fingertips. <laughs> oh. He's basically saying you're a candy ass that doesn't exercise. Ah, uh, right. That's way too heavy for you to take. All right. Let's try following her. I don't know where we're supposed to go. Oh, this loops back to here. Huh. Okay, so this is the shock room. Mm hmm This is the sauna. Yep. Men's showers, women's showers, which we can't get into. Yep. Do we have to... Oh, hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Don't mind me. Okay. This is the fat sucker room. Mm -hmm. This is the, what is this? Uh. Oh, don't go in there. Anyway, why would you want to? There's nothing inside but women changing clothes. Uh, oh, it's a women's locker room, okay. Men's locker room, and this is the high colonic room, okay. Yeah. Now what's the far right one? This is the, uh, the fat sucker room. See? Did we do that? Oh, we, no, no, I have no idea how to do this. Really? <laughs> yeah. We, we we haven't touched this room yet. Oh. Um. But it's got it's got a machine with two settings off and suck. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> Love it. He's gonna milk you like a cow. Okay. So uh, we'll worry about that later. Hey, buddy. Maybe we just go. I guess we could just go knocking on doors. I. I guess. Let's see what happens. Oh, Dan. Dan, oh, Dan. Whoa. Oh, 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 God. Mm. Whoa. You're welcome, ladies. That was you. That was really weird. That was really weird. Wow. That, uh, yeah. Or the next room is like, uh, Ross. Hey, buddy. <laughs> want to play some Magic the Gathering? Hey, you want to play some Magic? Someone is at the door. Quick, Mr. Rushdie, under the bed. Salman Rushdie joke, very topical in 1993. Mm -hmm. Woolard's World of Leather, I'll be right there. That's her. That is her. Oh, she's a dominatrix? Sweet. Oh, it's you. I was, um, expecting someone else first. But don't worry. Thanks for coming, Larry. What a lovely room. I'm so happy to see you again. God, this room is easy on the eyes. Uh, yeah, very easy. Nice room, Thunderbird. <laughs> Look at her figure. I've never seen a place quite like this before. I bet I've got a lot of things here you've never seen before. Oh, boy. I've fixed you a drink. Help yourself. It's on the table. Oh, okay. Jeez. Is it uh, like a Mountain Dew? Yeah. Okay. Oh, goodness gracious. She's a Power Ranger! <laughs> Activate! I can tell how much you enjoy your gold chains. 
Yes, I, I do. Uh, to me, they're a sign of virility. Whatever. Allow me to add <laughs> Whatever. a little ring around your collar. What? Uh, do I really need to wear this? <laughs> it feels like a dog collar. It is, my naughty little puppy. But it is a very nice collar for a very nice little doggy. Oh, boy. What have you gotten yourself into this time, Larry? May I help you undress? Well, I... Uh... <laughs> I knew it. Say, what the hell kind of date is this anyway? Down on your hands and knees, dog. Oh. <laughs> oh, the tidy ways. Sit, boy. Sit up. Speak. Woof. <laughs> Louder. I can't hear you. Woof. I could get into this. Yes. Yeah? That's right. I don't know. You're the puppy dog, and I'm the mommy dog. Yeah, sure, why not? I used to pretend to be a well, raptor in school. you are quite the bitch. I don't know what that has to do with anything, Ross. I'm trying to be a dog. Dogs are... All right. <laughs> Aw. You're getting your ass whooped. Aw. Well, all right, then. Okay. Are we going to wake up in our hotel room? Yeah. Huh. You awaken from an especially bad nightmare with a start. <laughs> Dino! Shit, even grin. Well, he's freaking out there, but not up there. Oh, yeah. thank heaven. It was only a dream. Oh, really? Then where did you get that dog collar? All right. Time to save. Wow, Dan is cool not. Probably some of your best work, Ross, I gotta tell you. Ooh, let the dogs out. Come on, Ross, jeez. What? I can't do more. Who? I was gonna go, who, 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 who. <laughs> jeez. When this game was made, who let the dogs out wouldn't come out for another six years. Whoa! Ain't that crazy. Who did let the dogs out? I, I've never been able to get a clear answer on that. All right, let's take a look at this dog collar. Thunderbird may have been sadistic, but at least she has a generous side. Your new dog collar came complete with a large diamond. Ooh. Can we take that? You carefully remove the large diamond and discard the stupid dog collar. <laughs> That's something we can give to Shamra too. A large diamond. Let's do it next time on Hello. <laughs> Think of all the trouble that woman went to. Oh. Uh, oh. Hmm? Oh wait, one one thing. What's your problem? I think I think if you At last you found something that won't excuse itself and head for the bathroom as soon as you start talking. A hedge? I think I if you cover yourself in the plants mm -hmm. and like there's a way to like listen to what's going on in the other room. Is it the zipper? You couldn't reach that plant with a ten-foot pole. Maybe a even like a, like a you hear oh, the obnoxiously oh. loud nope. whine of a compressor. I thought there was a way to do that. That plant is completely out of touch. Although, all right. That's why they put it up so high, so petty thieves couldn't take it. Yeah. Oh, I guess not. I thought there was a way to do that. Oh well. Next well, time on Steam Train. You're dumb, and <laughs> next time on Steam Train. <laughs> Ross, so disappointed. Um, yeah. You are a salty Sally. Hello and welcome. Hey, Chunderheads. <laughs> what does that even mean? Hey, hey. Dunderheads, I believe, is the. Chunderheads. What? Chunderheads is not a word. Chunderbirds are go. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Um. Okay, so now we will give the makeup girl her dress that she so desired. Hello. Hey, what up, girl? Gorgeous lady. Not having a new dress to wear to the ball is so humiliating. Thank you for reminding me. Don't worry, me. Shibli. Kind of British. I know right where to find you a dress. 
I do know where to find a dress, don't I? Okay. Oh, Shibli, um. I hope you love this gown. I really think it's you. Oh, Larry. Oh, it's perfect. Oh, you little devil. Whatever can I do to repay you? Why don't you meet me tonight down at the beach? Blah. And we'll take a midnight swim together. She's a vampire. Just mm -hmm. the two of us alone I knew in the it. moonlight. She's a werewolf. That's what do you say? I say, uh, <laughs> I'll be there. Until tonight, Shubly. Later that evening. Did we just crash the game? Uh, maybe. No, no, oh, uh, okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> Shubly oh, looks well. beautiful here on the beach in the moonlight with those waves softly licking the shore. Tempus and romance. I, oh. I've been waiting for you. I brought a little something for us. Champagne. Chilled. With two glasses. Champagne, I believe. From the French province of Champagne. Hi, Larry. I've been waiting for you. Oh, I know. I, I know you said. Okay. Uh, do we have to give her the champagne? Chablis here, in the moonlight, beside a warm campfire, sitting on her blankets alone on the beach in a romantic mood. And you're thinking about drinking? But with the... Am I supposed say to touch her? No, say stuff to her. No, she just repeated herself when I said something to her. Then. Okay. Thank you, Ross. You're very sensual. Oh, Larry. I like that. Mm. All right, maybe more. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, Larry, that's so nice. No need to actually animate it, guys. Don't mm -hmm. don't put yourselves out. Oh, that fire. Oh, yes. Oh, three Larry, frames. that's so <laughs> nice. <laughs> it is three frames. Oh, oh, yes. Nope. All right. Uh, uh, zipper? Mm, mm, you wild man. Not yet. Oh, all right. Okay, okay sorry, keep, sorry. Keep I got. Touching, I guess. No, I uh, fucking maybe talk. Have I ever told you I find your eyes exciting? No, but please do. Uh, well, uh, I find your eyes exciting. Oh, great job, Larry. You do. God, he sucks at this. Ah, uh, Shabri, would it be premature to request a little kiss? Take me, big boy. Wow, all you Aww. did was give her a dress. Aw, that That's was a nice sweet. kiss. Ah, uh, Shabri, would it be premature to request? A little kiss. Oh, all right. Take me. Okay. Oh, do uh, another one. That was a little. It was a little deeper of a smooch. Maybe, maybe more touching. Oh, Larry. Nope. I like to imagine that when he touches her, he has like his mm -hmm. fingers splayed out yeah, like, like that. Like, like, just, just, just covering <laughs> her face. Is this good? <laughs> do you like this, Dan? Do you like it? Do you, <laughs> do you like it? <laughs> Get away from me. That's called foreplay. Yeah. yeah. No. Yeah. The, no. You're right. You're dead on. Mm -hmm. Come here, you Did beautiful sex, thing. Man? No. God, he is balding. Yeah, he's like. Uh, it's like a really weird balding. Like though. a gross comb oh, over. Man, Shabli. It's like what you call I've it. kissed quite oh, a few women in my time, but I've never experienced anything quite like that. Mary, perhaps you finally found someone who really knows what a man wants. Snibbity schnabbity. Bibbity babbity boo. Okay. Wanna save it? Uh yeah, sure. Okay. Okay. Ooh, let the dogs out. Woof, 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 woof.
Yeah, that's that's up to you, Ross. You can. Okay. Okay. Um. Yo, butt been flushed. Romantics. Uh. For dear new afternoon. <laughs> Romantics after nomen. Good job, Ross. Another job well done. Come here, you beautiful thing. I don't understand. Mm -hmm. We're just... We've already made out a bunch. I've touched her. I said oh, words man, to her. Shibley. I've kissed quite a few women. Mm -hmm. Uh, Maybe I don't... you need to give her something? I'm ready, baby. I hope you brought a condom. Oh. We... Yeah, we didn't get one of them. Yeah, we, the yeah we, we have a condom. All right, I guess... Safety it... first, everybody. Yeah, it's important. Uh... Where is it? There we go. <sighs> Ooh, I was hoping you brought one of those. Yay! Oh, Here, let me have it. Huh? Wait a minute. I'm ready when you are. I'm sorry? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh dear. This uh, is this is surprising. I oh. She's still pretty. She just happens to have male drunk. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> oh, come on, man. No so this is Shibli knows what a man likes. So <laughs> <laughs> Come on. So this is 1993. Yeah. And uh, this was uh, this was right after the Crying Game came out. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Right. So, which is uh, for those of you who don't know, gosh, spoilers for the Crying Game. Warning. Uh, it's about a guy who falls in love with a beautiful woman who turns out to be a dude. And uh, a I woman. get. Oh no! no yeah, oh, a beautiful woman who turns out to be a guy. Yeah. Well, yes. Yeah, I get well, yeah. I get yeah. Yeah. So, now is a good time to save your game. Save. But again, as with uh as with the treatment of uh homosexuality earlier in this game, this is <laughs> this is just a different time, man. This is uh there was not the uh shall we say the sensitivity towards issues such as this now. Mm. Um that's funny. That's I, funny to see. I mean, it's like how with, like, I always say with this kind of stuff, like, Warner Brothers has a really good approach to it. Um, they have, they did a lot of cartoons back in the day, uh, which I learned, like, when I did animation history, and it's, uh, they would talk about the cartoons are racially sensitive. Right. But Warner Brothers' standpoint on it is like, hey, like, if we censor this and don't let people see this, we're saying that these prejudices never existed. And... Oh, no. yeah, dude. I mean, this game is not PC at no, all. No, not at all. It's not, not at all. And uh, that's that's just how it is. So, no big deal. Mm -hmm. But that's that's funny. I, I did not... Uh, I don't think I've ever gotten this far in the game before. Really? You didn't get past the dress bit? I did, yeah, the dress was like what... That's that's where I remember it getting, like, getting stuck. But um, I don't remember... I know I got past that because I called the thing. I gotta go... Give Shamra the diamond. No, I'm back no, here. No, you need to get to the kitchen. Sorry, I always get the hell spot in the kitchen confused. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> yeah. Hope uh, hope all our trans uh and uh, gay friends watching this uh episode, no harm meant, no offense meant. It uh, no. just uh, nothing but love for you, babies. Aww. Um, but yeah, like. You beautiful the way you are. Why you sexies? You, like you you all sexies the way you are. I still don't know how he fits in there. It's like a fucking Pokeball. I'm <laughs> crying. I wonder if we're supposed to give her the weight. What the hell are we supposed to do to light the lamp, too? Wait. This is just a long shot. Mm hmm. Um. Well, Hold. I mean, generally speaking, you've gone back to the place of where you had the last event. Mm hmm. Maybe. Uh, she left something, cause like they always leave a bracelet or something. 
Oh yeah, that's true. I should go back there. We'll see what happens. Shamra, I hope you like this diamond. It was a gift from a friend of mine. Another diamond? Thanks, Larry, but I have dozens of... <laughs> oh, wait. It's a symbol, isn't it? Oh, God. Let's see. What could a diamond represent in your superior way of thinking? Hmm. This is a tough one. Diamonds are a girl's... No, it can't be about friendship. Could it be a way to cut through my cynicism and jadedness? Yeah, sure. sure. I've got it. Yep. You're trying to tell me that even someone like me, who has been under great pressure for so many years, can use that pressure to transform myself from a dark mental lump of coal into a transcendent human of crystalline purity and beauty. <laughs> Why, uh, yes, I think that. And you're saying I don't have to give up my tough exterior in order to achieve perfection. Nope. How wonderful, Larry. How insightful you are. How wise. How lucky. Why, thank you, Shamra. I'm glad you caught my little message. <laughs> I think you need to give yourself more credit than you do. Well, all right. Okay, then. Progress has been made. Oh. Oh. I didn't really actually hey. look at her head. Wow. The she, wind stopped. She's very pretty up close. Do you Let's always see what, sit here, Shamra? Her facial Just thing. staring out at the ocean? Yes. Once I left the life, oh, right. double clutching espressos at 6 a.m. power breakfasts. I thought it was going to wow. be worse. I thought it was going to be there. like. I should have packed a thesaurus. But am I. Well, but may, I'd enjoy. May, I, may, I, may I? I'd enjoy that. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I had to get out of here. I didn't. I don't think you can do that with the other girls. I wonder if you can. What do you mean? Like, like do like a super up close. Uh. Well, I mean, she's the main. The room feels. Like, com yeah, the yeah. Go the <laughs> yeah. Conquest. Maybe I can take the elevator down next time. I'll try that. Um but yeah, let's see let's see if Shibli left anything for us on the um on the beach. Yeah, double check that. Because it's been like a reoccurring thing I've noticed like mechanic wise It's like when you do it you go back to the location You get a thing Yeah that's how you know you succeeded Like yeah 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 Um is it up here? I think so Yep Good fine. fucking call Ross yep. Hmm Chablis left our champagne here Snatch it up Like you always say A little warm champagne never hurt anyone Besides, I earned this. There you go. Cool. So... <sighs> Who's left, man? I don't know what to do now. Um... Um... Are there girls that we haven't yet... Attempted to seduce. Uh, well, can you give the champagne to her, the girl, man, girl? The, oh, fucking Gammy boys, you lay. Who? Oh, this girl. Yeah. Wow, the most obvious one. We didn't even think about it. Hello, lady. Okay. <laughs> Hi, lady. <laughs> I'm good with women. Uh, yeah. All right. We'll we'll deal with this next time on Steam Train. Next time on Steam Train. Gammy, we're gonna do it for you, girl. Damn, I lost the pen. Oh, good job, Ross. Aren't you just the best? I'm because blanket is cold. <laughs> I lost the pen. The blanket. Bye for now. Welcome back to Steam Train, you sexies. Hey, baby. Uh, good, girl? uh look upon the third eye. No. <laughs> um, so Gammy is the last remaining girl, I believe, before we try to solve the riddle of the main girl, Shamra. Looks like she went paintballing. It does. Mm. Say, baby, what time do you uh, get off? Mm. <sighs> Usually, right after I get in bed. Shabam! Sh uh, uh, what was the question again? 
Oh, okay. So she's forward. Yeah. Did we already talk to her about the? How about we get together later? Oh no, thank you, Mr. Laffer. My life consists of work and exercise. I really don't have time for a romance. I don't know. I think when we lost our progress, we lost the conversation that we had with her, where she says she wants the fat suck machine. Remember that? Oh. Remember that? Just She's work safe. and exercise, huh? What a waste. Hey, no cracks about my waist, okay? I can't help it. God knows I've tried to reduce. In fact, that's why I came here to La Costalada in the first place. To fulfill my dream. You have a dream? <laughs> yeah. Yes, I do. What a dick. What a fucking dick. Would you like to talk about it? Yes, I would. My dream was to work here long enough to afford treatment at La Costa Lada's exclusive cellulite drainage salon. Yeah. Uh, what? Women came here from around the world to be treated by Dr. Swinebutt, but he was so expensive. <laughs> he could never <laughs> afford a complete makeover. <laughs> Swinebutt? Yeah, don't you remember? It was on the card in our, in our room at the very beginning. <laughs> Dr. Swinehart, did you say? <laughs> Who's he? The genius who created La Costa Lada's cellulite drainage salon's marvelous machine. One suck and you were better than new. Yep, that's what I always say. Wink! But alas, shortly after I arrived here, Dr. Swinebutt was sued for malpractice and his cellulite drainage salon shut down. Since then, his magnificent machine has fallen into disrepair. Oh, how I long for those halcyon days. Oh! <laughs> so I'm 85! I've got an idea. Uh, what if I, your friend Larry Laffer, <laughs> and could repair this little machine of yours? You know, fix it up, make there it right. There we go. Wouldn't that make me your friend for life? Or at least one night. Ooh, oh, Larry. If you could do that. I'd be the happiest woman on earth. And I bet I could make you the happiest man on earth. Shabam. Uh... I'll do my best to fix that machine for you, Gammy. You can count on me. Do we have? <laughs> At least somewhat. That we need? Let machine? me know as soon as you get my wonder machine repaired, Dr. Fix-It. <laughs> have I mentioned I've been celibate for years? <laughs> Just... Yeah, me too. <laughs> What a well-placed random thing to say. All right, so we've got to fix the machine. It's like that girl who be's like, yeah, so I was just down, my boyfriend's coming. Y yeah, yeah. <laughs> always. Yeah. It's like, oh, isn't Nice to meet you. What brings you here? My boyfriend is here. My boyfriend that's, brings me here. That's not what I asked. Yeah, it's not, it's okay. I'm not trying to, well, whatever. I have no idea what to do here. Um. Let's take a look. Several bolts hold the filter tank's lid firmly in place. Okay, that's good. Bolts, we have a wrench. These tanks contain the cellulite removed from patients. These cylinders pump up and down, giving the cellulite drainage machine its power. This looks broken. Yeah, I'd say some... Uh... There's a huge hole in the main vacuum line. Mm. What we got to work with. Let's see. I have a feeling this is going to be like a multi-step. Yeah, I we've, think so too. We've got Probably. champagne. We've got hand cream. Mm -hmm. A key. Mm -hmm. A lamp. A bucket of lard. A match. Uh, orange. An, an orange, a match. Mm. Toilet seat cover. Toilet paper. Towel, cloth, wrench. So definitely the wrench. That's definitely a combination of the wrench oh, and the uh, the ID card and the exercise belt. The exercise belt sounds very promising. It does, uh, doesn't I'm it? Say that first. The exercise belt on on the crack. on the yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. Hmm. What if I wrap this elastic belt around the hose? Boom. Too easy. <laughs> Child's play. Too easy. Okay, that's good. We're cooking. Um. The hole in the hose is patched. Now direct your attention to the rest of the cellulite drainage machine. Okay. Mm. 
Well, there's the, the loose screws you got to get in with the uh yeah, with the wrench. The wrench. Yep. Um Okay. So it's here. The valve isn't so tight that it requires the wrench. Susie, why are you doing the mouthing thing again? Hi what's Susie. <laughs> what's up? Are you fine? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Sorry, what's, what's up? up? I didn't hear you guys talking, so I thought you were recording. I just wanted to grab the blanket. Oh, oh, enjoy. It's full of static electricity. Yeah, be, be careful. careful. It's dry. Yeah. It You'll... shocked Ross like a it's thousand times. It's cold weather. Man. You'll be like yeah. Sonic Shoot the Electric Hedgehog Pokemon. Oh, man. My dreams <laughs> Finally. All right. Sorry to interrupt. No Bye. problem, lady. Bye. All right. So if we take the... Maybe it's here? There it is. Okay. You cleverly loosen the bolts holding the filter tank's lid in place with your handy wrench. Okay, great. Was there more to that? Maybe we maybe we open it? Oh. There it is. Okay. Yeah. You can't just loosen bolts. You have mm. to... All Let's right. put the... Uh, oh, what man. is this thing? The tank contains a removable filter that's in extreme need of a good cleaning. Okay, so the... Let's take... Large this room is still... Towel, maybe? Like to like, lube it up? <laughs> Oh, you You'd take anything. <laughs> oh, it's filled with like lard. It's it's filled with like fat and stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we need like the filters clogged, so we need to clean it. Try that TP, huh? Uh, yeah, I'd say TP or the towel. Hmm. No. Nope. Let's try the towel. Hmm. Hmm? Okay, uh, I would no. say the alcohol could clean something technically. Oh, it's yeah. It's a long shot, though, because you'd think you need to have that. You never know. How luxuriant, but wrong. Okay, oh, I mean, I'm just thinking. <laughs> like, Dude, you gave me such a look of like, see, I'm the fucking man. <laughs> no, I was just, no, it's just like, hey, well, I mean, like, you, you, you would clean a lot of things with, like, rubbing alcohol. So. Right. I mean, it's not the same, but uh, maybe if we. Sierra logic. Maybe if we take it to the to the shower. Oh, that's a good idea. That's All a right. good idea. I didn't think of using something environmental to do it. It's well, we just need running water to clean it. I'm guessing. Yeah, put it under the shower. Oh, put it under one of those things. Well, put it on that guy's butt. <laughs> I will not. I will do no such thing. While you could wash the filter off in the shower, you couldn't do it without getting your leisure suit soaked. Oh, you gotta take your clothes off. Oh boy. <laughs> Ay ay ay. But you have to go back to the change room. Oh yeah, sorry, it's that way. Yeah. I forgot. Now I've wasted eight seconds of everybody's time. Okay. Look at that ceiling on the women's <laughs> side. Oh, yeah, it's it's really, really intense. Yeah. Okay. Boo, 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 boo. <laughs> cool. Oh, except this only gives you the towel. Oh. See, I no longer have the. That's fucking lame. Lame sauce. Could you wash it off in the beach? Like in the ocean? That's kind of a long shot, really. That's salt water, though. Mm. Maybe maybe that's cleaner. Oh, what if you use the? This is like kind of a dumb one, but what if you use that thing that you stuck up your butt to clean your butt? <laughs> what are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, like you flushed it out with. Oh, the colonic. Yeah, the colonic. Let's give it a shot. That's in or this. Or the fountain there. That's in this room. Try the fountain first. Oh, okay. That's just like a like just a maybe. I don't think it's gonna be a fountain. Let's we try the fountain. Gotta wash this thing, man. You don't need to use it in that way. No. You don't need no. to no. use okay, it. Just, in yeah, try try the colonics. Evidently, Rose is on break. She's locked her door. Ah, she was open. Yeah, jeez. Yeah, whatever. Um. What about the sink in our room? 
Oh, yeah, what the fuck? Why did I think of that? It, I guess it's the most obvious thing. I don't think of it anymore. Yeah. I think that's why I get, like, have some pretty great moments in this game, because I just, I'm always thinking like of the most ridiculous game. solution. Oh, you're a genius, Ross. D don't get me wrong. I'm just so smart sometimes. Yeah, so that, that that's you know? probably what your problem is. You're too smart. Too smart. It's sometimes too beautiful. <laughs> yeah, probably a combination of the two. Yeah. All right, let's see if this works. This is what my mama said. <laughs> Your little sink is too shallow to hold the massive cellulite filter. Now, where would La Costellata have a larger sink? Uh. Uh. The kitchen. The kitchen. Yeah. Oh, Ross. You're back. You did it. We did it. We might have done it. I don't know. I actually don't know. I've never gotten God, this This is far. like the biggest runaround. I know, but I mean, hey, this is what you gotta do, man. It's amazing we don't get stuck like this more often. Mm. It's just because you're such a goddamn savant <laughs> at these games. Well, that mixed with the fact that I rocked this game in 1994. Yeah. Um, kitchen is this way? I believe so. Yeah. No, this is Health Spa. God damn it. Fuck. Me too, me too. Next one over? No, it's the it's the one on the right, the right. Uh, of of Gammy Boys you lay. Okay, there we go. This better work, because I am fresh out of sink ideas after this. It's a pretty big sink. That is pretty big. Let's see what happens. Yay! Oh, that's disgusting. That's how you do it. Oh yeah, and this has all the cleaning supplies and stuff. Ah, uh, of course. One thing I don't understand is why is there a movie projector on the truck? Uh, oh, it's projecting the image of chefs cooking the food. <laughs> oh, it took me that long to figure that out. I did That joke completely went over my head. Isn't that dickish? Um, all right, yeah, look, we got a nice clean filter. You might want to move closer to your mic, Ross. You're sorry, super sorry, far away. Sorry, I just like to lean. You can pull the mic closer to I you. That's like what I to, do. I just like to hang out. Yeah, okay, okay. okay. This baby right into my mouth. <laughs> okay, you all right? Yeah, I'm all right. Okay, cool. Yeah, see, the, the chefs that appear in here are the, uh, the, that's the, uh, projection. Oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally went over my head. Man. I... I was like trying to figure that out. I was like, is it like, is that like a, an American thing that I don't understand? <laughs> Whenever there's something weird like that, I always assume it's an American joke that I don't get. <laughs> an and American I'm like, thing. weird. I don't know. Um, Take a door. Don Park. Oh, uh, uh. Wait for me. No, no. Damn it. Hang on. God, God damn it. Fucking damn it. <laughs> I didn't touch the fucking umbrella. Oh. Oh, we have reached the end of the line. Okay. Fail. Ah. Okay. Ah, shit. Well, we can get back on it. I guess we can. Wait for me! <laughs> Son of Hang a on. I just want to hear the, the Wind Waker music. Like when you're on the boat. Oh, yeah. It's not going to let me off. God damn it, it, it just takes me to the other side. We have reached okay. and thank you for writing. Thank you. Ah, uh, please step out. I am somewhat closer to my d destination now. Oh, uh, he's so annoying. You're faster than him. Yeah. Uh, well, maybe not when you're riding it. Where is I supposed to be? Oh, the hell spa. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I got I got off thrown off there. Oh, that's right. We're putting it back in. Yes. That's right. Okay. Okay. So. This goes back in here. Yep. Close this down. And tighten. You gotta tighten the bolts, yep. yeah. Tighten them bolts. You tighten down the lid. Hmm. Okay. This is looking pretty good. I think it can probably suck now. Uh, were there any? These tanks contain the cellulite removed from patients. Okay. Okay. The piston shaft is long, hard, and dry. L lube it up? D with what? 
Uh, lard? Will lard lube? I don't know. Maybe? Worth a shot. Unless it's, that was a penis joke in which, yes. I don't know. Let's see what happens. These tanks contain nope. the same... Bro, you're a fucking genius. You carefully rub the lard on your piston shaft in a slow, sensual, yet totally meaningful manner. Excellent. Your mighty piston is now lubed and ready. Dude, I would have need needed to conduct, uh, co uh, like, check a walkthrough for that. I would have never fucking put that together. Excellent. Nice job. A gigantic power switch mounted on the cellulite drainage machine's control panel reads, Suck and off. <laughs> Suck off. I get it. Oh. Yeah, dude, it's working. It's alive. Is this the moment you've been waiting for? Oh, something's happening. Oh, yeah. Oh, it works. Dr. Swinebutt's mighty cellulite drainage machine appears to be in perfect working order once again. Congratulations, Larry. Now you're ready for Gammy. Nice. A Excellent. giant electrical spark crosses the open air. <laughs> Are we supposed to turn it off leaving? Oh, yeah. Can't leave that. You like on. leave it on and starts a fire. No and problem. I think it's like insurance fraud or. <laughs> All right. <sighs> you know what? I do believe next episode will be the finale. The final? Yeah, we're oh very my close. Oh god. There's very little left in this game. I'm excited. I'm. T I too am excited. See you then, sexy peoples. I'm right here. Yeah. Pen's not working. <laughs> oh what, my goodness! Uh, gri oh, wait, sorry. Hey. did you say dork? Dorks. Dorks. <laughs> that is. Well, this so game is from 1993, so let's get in the uh, groove. You know what I never noticed? These kind of look like eyes. Oh my god. And I guess this is like a mouth. And they're l shoes, high heel shoes. Yeah. There's a lot of there's a lot of female um, entendres, and this dude's leaving track marks all over the place, including oh up the stairs, which is funny. Um, all right, let's talk to Gammy. Gammy. How you doing, girl? What up, girl? So did you do it, Larry? Did you fix the cellulite drainage salon? I sure did, Gammy. I told you I would, and I did. Would you like to be my first victim, um, sucker, and um, impatient? <laughs> would I? Follow me, bub. All right. Sweetness. Is her lower half like? Ah, oh, oh, yes. Yeah. I see what's going on here. Whoa, baby! Welcome to Cellulite City. I'll be right behind you, Gammy. Assuming I can take it. Ugh. You know what? That's kind of funny, actually. Uh -huh. Like, because nowadays, the that would be considered the ideal, like skinny waist, large butt. Like, uh... Like the Nicki Minaj kind of thing? Yeah. That's another th It's so interesting to see how, like, society has changed in, um... Question. In, like, 20 years. Are you a ass man? I like boobs and butts. And, I, uh, and faces. I'm more so into butts. And, and I'm an ass man. Are you really? Yeah, I'm an ass man. I think I... I think I... Well, you're... I mean... Why don't you just ask me to choose between diamonds <laughs> and pearls? I just True. like everything, everything about girls is just amazing. Oh, don't go in there. What does she have that I don't have? Oh, Gary. Well, I can think of at least two things. Really? I think he's referring to boobs. Hi, Gammy. Oh. I'm so glad you could come. <sighs> I'd be glad too. <laughs> Yay. I'm just thinking of all the Nicki Minaj lyrics. Yeah. Fuck that skinny bitches. <laughs> Fuck that skinny bitches in the club. He loved his fat ass. <laughs> okay, so I think we have to connect these things to her. That's right, yeah? Yeah. Okay, Gammy. Here we go. Lie very still while I stick this in. <laughs> Your thighs. Nice. Oh, I knew that. Furp, furp, furp. 
That's a weird sound effect. And so then this. All right, Gary. Here we go. I hope I got everything fixed. You better hope you're gonna <laughs> murder a woman. Yeah, seriously. I hope so too. Now this may take a while, Gammy. No, oh, I don't mind, Larry. I've waited so long for this moment. I can't tell you how strong my feelings are for you right now. You're such a wonderful man doing all this for little old me. Thank you. But could I ask you one teeny weeny little tiny favor? Yes. Could you bring me a fresh orange? The sound of this machine has made me want to suck on something too. Oh, we have an orange. <sighs> <sighs> don't even think about it, Larry. You mean don't even think about it? Don't throw on tundras in you my don't face. Don't throw a new endo at me and beat yeah. me because I'm sick of it. Yeah. I think we should give her that orange as soon as possible. Yeah. Or she's going to die. She needs that vitamin C to stay alive. God, that thing is really working overtime. Here we go. Oh, she's oh, deflating. Why, thank you, darling. You certainly know how to treat a woman. I think you should. Oh, but please don't stop what you're doing. I can just feel myself getting thinner and thinner, and I love it. I hope you'll remember all the trouble I went to when we're all done. You won't just forget about me. Will you, Gammy? No, don't you worry, Larry, my boy. You'll taste pleasures far sweeter than this orange. Yay! <laughs> uh, yeah. Pineapples? Um. What else does she want? Well, it's slowly going down. See? Oh, yeah. Her legs are getting smaller. Well, yeah, because in... In this time, in like early to mid '90s, mm -hmm. like Kate Moss was the ideal. She was like the ideal supermodel. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like she's like 60 pounds, like mm. absurdly skinny. Like that's that's kind of different now. Um, do we need to talk to her again? Come on, Gammy. That's enough for one session. You've lost at least 16 inches. What do you say? Jesus. No way. I'm no quitter. I want to have a girlish figure for once in my life. Just keep right on sucking, boy. Jeez. Just, just... Remember, turnabout is fair play. Oh, huh? okay. Is there anything I can do for you? Oh, I sure could use a cool cloth for my fevered brow. In fact, I promise I'll make you a happy man. If I live through this. <laughs> uh, cool cloth. We have one of those. We do. We have a cloth. I don't know if it's cool. No, she wouldn't know. Here, Gammy. Let me put this dry washcloth on your head. <laughs> what are you, nuts? What good will a plain old dry washcloth... Okay, put it in oh, the ice... You need to pull rising the ice... Fever. The, the wine out of the ice bucket and then put the cloth in the ice bucket. Think so? Yeah. Let's try. Didn't it say that the wine was uh, warm? It did, but it. Uh, shit, were we supposed to take an ice bucket? I don't know. But if we walk don't away. Don't open the champagne now, Larry. Wouldn't you rather save it for a special occasion? Uh. Oh, I guess we need that for Shamra. Oh, I know, I know what to do. Yeah. Uh, well, in the kitchen. Be sure to bring back a nice, cool cloth for my hand. Oh God. In the kitchen, it. there's the ice. Put the put the towel. Put the oh, cloth on yeah, the ice, yeah, yeah. and then go back. That's a good idea. She's gonna come. Oh, and you're gonna come back, and she's gonna be a skeleton. Yeah, of, co of course. Um. Yeah, there, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um. You don't need an ice pack, but that ice would cool off whatever's placed within it. What the? You don't need an ice. Oh, you can pick up an ice pack, or. What the hell are they talking about? Oh, you can chill the you can chill the wine. Maybe. You could use this dirty ice in your ice bucket, but didn't you see an ice machine around this place somewhere? Oh, and you're right uh, near the room. Yeah. Well, all right, that answers that. Then you can probably do both there. Okay. Oh, oh, oh wait, other way. Not left. Yeah, I got to go back to my room. She is dead. <laughs> She's not dead. She's fine. The ice machine. What are you like going to your room for? Well, 
we don't need to worry about the ice in the champagne now. That's for like when we bring it to Shamra. Like we we just need to uh, wet the cloth. Wet the cloth, room. yeah. Maybe this will do it. Maybe that's why we had to get the sink fixed before. Right. All those many hours ago. La Costa. God damn it. Yay. Yay. Um. It's not for you, asshole. Yeah, we're not trying to. Ugh. You wet the washcloth in the water. Okay, good enough. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we just. <laughs> we won't mention that we rubbed our dirty face on it. Yeah. Was it this? Yeah. Of course, this is the last episode, and I finally mm -hmm. fucking learned my way around this place. Yeah, right. Okay. But she's still alive. Good. Yeah, that is, that is good. Here you go. Here, Gammy. Allow me to cool your fevered brow with this damp washcloth. <laughs> what are you, nuts? This washcloth is merely damp. I need a cool damp uh... washcloth. And hurry. <laughs> Surely you can find some way to cool it. And hurry. Fucking. Capiche? Go. Yes, Capiche. Uh... Go to, um, oh man. Is there a freezer somewhere? Maybe there's a freezer in the kitchen. What? You didn't try the ice machine, though. The ice machine? Yeah, you didn't try it. Okay. Just try it. Sure. It was the, you were on the right. Well, I, mean, I didn't mean for that. I meant for the, the washcloth oh. to make it cold. Pouring the old melted ice into the little receptacle on the ice machine, you prepare to catch a few new cubes. Okay, at least we did that. that. Yeah, that was right. Um, so let's let's just try the little cloth in the in the ice machine because she wants it cold. She does, and it is ice. I mean, and we tried it. Ice is primarily known for its coldness. If this one doesn't work, we gotta go back to the kitchen and try that again because we might have had to wet it first. Oh. Uh, Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I say go to the kitchen again. I think. La, da, 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 yeah, now that it's wet, it might work. Okay. The washcloth is still cool. There's no need to chill it further. What the H? Oh, maybe that worked when we put it against the ice machine. Really? Maybe? Oh, do we have to dry it first? I have no idea. Oh! Let me try putting it in here. That's my only other idea. Okay. Your washcloth is already chilled. Ye May maybe it did work when we yeah. touched it to the ice machine. What? Let's try that. And if, if not... I think it needs to be slightly drier. It's too soggy. She said soggy. It's too soggy. <sighs> If this doesn't work, we'll we'll break down and consult a walkthrough. Yeah, I'm not really but sure. But we haven't had to do that yet, and I'm proud of it. Um. Yeah, it still looks the same, so I don't think she's gonna react any differently. Oh. Oh, all right. That's new. Okay. Let me get my my handy dandy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Sigh. Sigh. Uh, so dramatic. Yo, look at that, but. Look at that, but <laughs> look at that, but what? <laughs> yeah, look at that, but what? Okay. Here you go, Gammy. Oh, Larry, just place it there. Okay, the oh, it, okay, nice. so I was right. Yeah, you right. were right. This wasn't very clear. Oh, that feels so nice, Larry. <laughs> I'm getting all soft and fuzzy inside. 
Yay. That might be your organs leaving your body. Yeah. Well, that does cool my temperature somewhat. But now I think what I really want is a nice bottle of mineral water. Oh my god. Oh, you'd do that for me, wouldn't you, Larry Honey Bunny? Ugh. I'll make you one happy man when you do. Believe you me. Jeez, this lady. Uh, and her demands. Oh, Larry Honey, don't forget my mineral water. I'm so dry. <laughs> Bless oh, you. Sorry, I'm allergic to bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I think I know where we can get her some. Didn't the bartender say he served mineral water? Oh, yeah, he does. Because, yeah. like, you're trying to, like... Forget a booze. Yeah, yeah, and he's like, we only have stuff that's healthy for you. What you got for us, Tony? Yeah, <laughs> big tea. I could really use a whiskey. Me too, buddy boo. I'm sorry, but the closest thing we have is sproutberry juice. Dang it. <laughs> Exactly what sort of beverages do you serve here? Hey, I make a superb King Alfalfa, or perhaps a broccoli and non brand name cola. Hey, what about a zucchini wall banger? Yuck. How about a mineral water? There we go. Nope, fresh out. Damn it. Got some pool water though, but it's a little chlorine. Did do it. That gives you another difference. <laughs> she wanted Got a match? That is some right there at the end of the bar, Pally. Nope. Hmm. Hmm. Out of mineral water. Dang. Could it. they be in the kitchen in that fridge? Oh boy. The kitchen. You know, in the kitchen, and you try to open the fridge. Yeah. You didn't try and grab anything. You just tried to place something. Oh in no, there. I did. Like, you did. It was like you. There's nothing in here that you need. Blah 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 blah. Great. <laughs> Hold on, let me try to try to take something. You just can't face taking any of this year old food. Look somewhere else for what you need. Uh, yeah. Trash can? Mm. The trash can? Mm. Bottle of mineral water in the trash can. Oh gosh, this may not be the finale after all. Why? Because I don't have the slightest idea where mineral water is. We might have to figure this out off camera. And then finish it up next time on Steam Train. Oh, sorry, we were so close, everybody. I blame Dan. It. it oh, I still love you, girl. Zzz. <laughs> Guess what, Ross? What? I, <laughs> I ch uh, we finally broke down and checked a walkthrough because we couldn't sorry, for the yeah guys. for the life of us figure out where the mm -hmm. mineral water was, um, and with good reason too because it's something that we learned in the beginning of episode one. Really? Yeah. I, I mean, you haven't told... Are you serious? Check the card. The pink telephone services card reads... Room service. You fucking serious? Yeah, that is fucking... Oof. Oof. That's pretty tough because everything else in this game has been building up on, on each other. Yeah, this has yeah. been like this is a, you wouldn't you fuck like, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's let's give him a little call. Welcome to La Costa Lada's new automated in-room ordering system for room service. May I help you? Wait, don't answer that. See, there's no one here but us computers. Ha. Ha, pretty funny, huh? It's a little digital humor. You may press your selection at any time or zero to return to the menu. Press one for breakfast. Press two for lunch. Press three for dinner. Press four for morning snacks. Press five for afternoon snacks. Jeez. Press six for late night snacks. Um. Lunch? You selected two. Lunch. Press one for burgers. Press two for Mexican. Press three for fried chicken. Mexican? You selected two. Mexican. Press one for tostadas. Oh boy. Press two for enchiladas. Press three for chimichangas. Chimichangas? You selected three. Chimichangas. Press 
the pound key to confirm or press the star key to cancel. Sure. Thank you for ordering. Checking your account for adequate cash reserves to complete transaction. Please hold. I want those chimichangas. Sorry, you have no credit standing whatsoever with La Costa Lotta. No oh, balls. Order any food you want, you won't get it. Oh. What? But it's the, the walkthrough. They lied. They said we would get the. Did they tell you to get chimichangas? They said we would get the. Said we would get the food. The food with it. Oh. Oh, okay. It triggers this. Okay, so now this is here. Amidst the leftovers of someone's recent meal, you find a brand new unopened bottle of mineral water. Perfect. Yay! How the fuck were we supposed to figure that shit it out? It would have taken a long ass time. You grab the bottle that's of some mineral weird water from the tray, never knowing when you'll have a use for something without substance that's tasteless and overpriced. What? I love mineral water. <laughs> Dude, there's a reason why a lot of people didn't finish Sierra games. Okay. Boy, that is catchy. I'm gonna miss listening to this. Mm -hmm. It kind of reminds me of like the mall music yeah. in the back of Dead Rising, or the uh, fucking. Leave it here called? for now. Oh. Elevator music, definitely, definitely close to elevator yeah. music. Yeah, yeah. Oh god, you have been getting sucked for a long time, my lady. What <laughs> if you came back and it was just a black hole? Oh, I'd be sad. I brought your mineral water, Gammy, and I think you'd better check out your new body. You look wonderful. Hey, it's about time you showed up with it. I feel like my eyeballs are about to be sucked into my body. Turn this thing off! You're so... svelte. <laughs> My golly, old Doc Swinebutt really knew his business, didn't he? Old Doc Swinebutt. My god! Look at me! Oh, I, I do look wonderful. All my life I've hauled around a rear balcony and now it's finally gone! Mazel tov. You lost a good thing. You <laughs> look wonderful. I can't wait to show every <laughs> single person in La Costalada my new body. But, Gammy, I thought maybe tonight, uh, you know, after I helped you, <laughs> you and I could, uh... Oh, Losser, you're so idealistic. Why would anyone who looks as good as I have anything to do with anyone who pfft, looks like you? Oh, Gammy. <laughs> Now that I can have any man I want, Whoa. I- Wait! Gammy! Stop! <sighs> what a... Too late, Larry. She's gone. What a manipulative bee. Yeah, that wasn't cool at all. I didn't want her anyway. She was mean. She was but mean. save- save it, Ross. You can save it as Gammy got skinnier. Oh, I got one. Oh, please do. Gammy is. Scammy. <laughs> Gammy is scammy. Well done, sir. Okay. So... Alright. I bet I know what to do here. Check this out. Yeah. You twirl the wrench's adjuster a little just to make sure it still works. God damn it. Oh, you're gonna sabotage the machine? No, no, no. Because we need something to light this lamp with, right? Ah, uh, lard. You cleverly yep. loosen the bolts, holding the filter tank's lid in place Use with your her. handy wrench. This is pretty gross. Use her butt. I think I think this is right. There's no reason to remove the filter. Oh. It's as clean as you're going to get it. Um. Maybe use it this. Oh. You might use that on the cellulite drainage machine. But it wouldn't do any good. Um. Hmm. Hmm. 
I was sure that was it. Um, are these maybe like... These tanks contain the cellulite removed from patients. Oh. Okay. Well, what if we just took the, the band off and yeah. just start leaking? Ew. The hole in the hose is patched. Now direct your attention to the rest of the cellulite drainage machine. Um, where does the cellulite go? These tanks contain the cellulite removed from patient. Maybe you gotta use the, use it on one of the tanks. The tanks? These tanks contain Try the, the cellulite removed. These tanks contain. No. These tanks can. The probes need no further work. Hmm. Oh, darn it. I thought I was sure I was right. Gosh darn, oh darn. Let's figure this out. Okay, so I'm thinking. What if we wrench it up? Wrench the. These tanks can. No. These tanks. Grr. Could you reverse the. The device to to spit out lard, like like changer from suck to blow. Yeah, is that a thing? I don't think so. Coyly opening every drawer in the table, you discover that Doctor Swinebot cleaned out more than just his patients before he left town. Oh, oh, it means he cleaned out the drawers. Got it. Dude, I don't have the friggin' slightest idea. We better pause it. We better pause it and figure this out. This spigot is somehow connected to the vast cellulite tank. That's a spigot, so... You crack the spigot a tiny bit and note a drop of cellulite comes out. There this we go. This spigot must be connected to those huge tanks filled with Gammy's former hips. There it is. Okay, cool. We're good. Bringing it back. Okay, so there's a spigot right in the front of the room. As we... Fucking had a feeling there would be. God damn it. Yeah, so here we go. Yeah. Gross. Guys, grody. Good idea, Larry. It's a well-known fact that early settlers of the Old West often substituted cellulite when they ran out of whale oil. What? At least that's what Freddy Farkas, frontier pharmacist, told me. Ooh. Mm. Freddy Farkas reference. That's uh, another mm -hmm. Sierra game. A really early one. I told you so. She's Marcus. just not good enough for you, my little manhandler. Marcus means oh, wolf in Hungarian. Mm. Bye. Thank you. Bye, Gary. We'll see you in the next game. I think. If we... Because I believe mm -hmm. we have enough to uh, to give Shammer to finish the game now. Oh, no, no. I know. Ah, no! Praise. I don't know. Like, well, first of all, let me get some fresh chips. Pouring the old melted ice into the little receptacle on the ice machine. Boom. Give Are it. they hitting you in the face? Yeah, <laughs> and then falling into the bucket. Okay. And now... You know, this, this, what's the girl name? The girl's name? Oh, uh, which girl? The, the final girl. Uh, Shamra, I believe. She seems like the kind of girl who would, like, post a lot of, like, song lyrics on Facebook. God damn it. Uh, Shamara. Shamara. That's it. Yeah. Or mm. Shamara. I don't know. Shamara actually makes her sound like a Godzilla enemy. Yeah. <laughs> My god, <laughs> it's Shamara. What kind of fucking, be like a large, uh, large anteater or something. <laughs> Oh man, I hope this is it. I'm excited, Ross. I'm excited. I'm excited too, Daniel. I'm especially, I'm especially nervous because I don't know what the hell to do if if this isn't it. There are no more girls in this resort. Just sit in your room and cry, and masturbate. Just cry, is that an option? Just a little cry, masturbate. I love his face stuck in the fucking dumb way. Okay. Okay. Here, oh, let's get this here on. Here we go. Okay. Give champagne. champagne. Would you like to join me in a sparkling glass of ice cold champagne? I'd love to, but not yet. I'm afraid I'm still confused as to the purpose of my life. Oh, we have to give her stuff but first. But keep it chilled, and perhaps we can find a use for it later. Okay. Okay. So, use the match on the lamp. Lighting your whale oil oh, you're gonna lamp show her the with a match is a good idea. 
But first, shouldn't you light the match? Yes. Oh, god damn it. How do you light a match? There's a fire pit right in her room. Uh, uh I thought that was water. Nope, that's blue fire, my friend. You need to be a good firebender to do that. You stick the match in the fireplace, being careful to keep it just okay, above put it the in water. The fire. Thank you, the Ross. Thing. I got that that much I got. Put it in the fish tank. No. <laughs> Light the water on fire. Good burning idea. Nemo. Your burning lamp bears a remarkable resemblance to the universal symbol of learning. Yay. Take my word for it, it does. For you, Shamara. An old lamp, huh? And burning with such an unusual fragrance, too. Why on earth would a man show up on my balcony, bring me out of my reverie, make me rethink my chastity, just to give me a sandy old lamp? Unless... Unless... <gasps> Unless that old lamp is a symbol. Yes. A representation of. of. Uh. of the lamp of knowledge. Yay! Surely this is no ordinary beach find, but rather a symbol of the importance of lifelong learning, of the pursuit of knowledge, of the need to continue to grow as a person throughout my life. Oh, Larry. I will continue to grow. I do want to keep learning new things. Yay! I just wonder where I'll be able to find another teacher as wise as you. <laughs> Gee, I was just hoping we could burn it by the tub tonight, and you could play Susan Sarandon. <laughs> nice. You don't need another teacher, Shamara. I'll be glad to teach you everything I know. Did I have another thing? The wine? Yes, it is wine time. Wine time. Oh boy. Oh boy, this is exciting. Please be it. Wine and dine. God, she makes me want to listen to Haley Western. Uh, oh, okay, we're holding hands. Here we go. Shamra, I've given you all my uh, <laughs> hard earned yes. knowledge. Say yes. Now, will you share this champagne with me? Oh, yes. Yay! Yay! I, love you. I just hope that I can somehow find a way to express my appreciation. Is for that a thousand all points? Almost. Your wisdom has clarified so many things for me, yes. enabling me to reach higher planes of understanding mm -hmm. than I've even dreamed of before. You've shown me the purpose of life. Fuck yeah. You've given meaning to my otherwise meaningless existence. Goddamn right. How can I ever repay you? Well, there is just one little itty bitty thing that we haven't covered yet. But stuff. Besides your breasts, that is. Ugh. Nice, Larry. Jesus. Sex. Yay! Uh, I mean, Shamra. Uh, don't you think it's time we uh, explore the inner workings of your inherent womanhood? Sex? Oh, Larry, I'm sorry to say that for me, sex is hopeless. You see, I've been celibate my entire life. During school, I was always too busy overachieving to waste time dating. Yeah, that was my reason Once too. Once I started yeah, work, I was under such pressure to succeed that I Warcraft. never allowed no. myself the distraction of men. If you think my understanding of life is weak, I regret to say I have no knowledge whatsoever of the sexual part of my existence. Are you trying to say... Yes, it's sad, but true. You're a virgin? <laughs> oh, God, <laughs> dude. I hope I haven't disappointed you. Ah, Sham, don't worry about it. Remember, I'm here to help you in every way. Oh, could you, Larry? <clears throat> Is there any way you could do for me physically what you've done for me spiritually? God knows I'll be glad to try. But are you willing to keep working as hard as you have been? Oh, I will, Larry. I promise. Then uh, let's go inside, uh, sit by the fire, and begin drinking a little of this champagne. Some fine oh, champagne. Thank you, Larry. I promise to give it my all. 
And here's to you, Larry Laffer. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, my God. I, Damn. Is, is that us sexing or making yeah. out with her? Making sex. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> well, they actually put in a little bit of video. Oh, yeah. my God. <laughs> That's great. Yay! <laughs> Another, oh, give me another one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we have left off. We have left off. Oh no, it's a building oh. <laughs> being anti destroyed. Yay! Uh -oh. And the train. Oh, fireworks everywhere. Oh. Yeah, that's. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. I think that's a uh, torpedo. That is it. Oil rig. Yeah. The, for anyone who hasn't experienced lovemaking, this is pretty much exactly mm -hmm. what it's like. A lot of a lot of machinery and fireworks. Yeah, yeah. A lot of piston shafting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is oh yeah. <laughs> my god. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. This is this is pretty marvelous. Before animated GIFs were even a thing. There's a- there's been multiple trains. Yeah. Oh, oh wait, wait. Getting more intense. Train. Getting- get, Oh, yeah, look at that. All aboard the steam train, everybody. All aboard the steam train, choo-choo. Uh, for, for sexy times. Oh, oh my god. god! Jesus, uh, thousands were killed. Yay! And it's, it just looks like it's coming out of- something. Well, yeah, it's all done now. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the foreskin shriveling back. That's not. That's not what that is. Yay! The flower is dying. Oh. Okay. Oh God. Yay! Is she, gonna start, is she gonna be crying in bed now? No. 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 It's, it was a loving magical act. Huh? Yay! Yay! We did it! Yay! We did it! We awakened her sexually and spiritually. Ah, oh, that was cool. Yay. We did it. And that's our first uh, finished series for the year. It is! How wow. How fun is that? Our first finished series of 2015. Thank you, Allo. And thank cool. you, Bill with one L, Skirvin. I want to say thank you to Dan, and I want to say thank you to you guys. I want to thank you to Ross. Oh, cool. And Carlos Escobar. And, uh, Carlos Escobar. And Allo. Uh, yeah. Seriously, uh, Allo, send me a letter. Did they make a Carlos Escobar joke in this game? They did. Yeah. They did. Okay, cool. Um, Karen Young, Russell yeah. True Love. You, hey, thank you to whoever created this font. It's very mm. relaxing and beautiful. Yeah, thank you. Thank you to you guys too. Yeah, thanks uh, so much, guys. We we love it when uh, you you hang with us through Sierra Games. They are a trip. And there's always been such a demand for these. Sierra playthroughs. Oh, we'll play more for sure. We're not gonna rush through them though, cause you don't want really to waste them, burn a good thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, we, well, we gotta do, we gotta do some more space quests. Oh we, yeah, yeah, space quests. Isn't got, there another? Oh, Quest for Glory. Have you? Yep. Do you know how to play that one? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Glory? Play Quest for Glory for oh, sure. There's, there's a bunch that. of them. Uh, Sam and Max. Not a Sierra. Well, that's Lucas. Not a Sierra game, but definitely oh. point and click adventure. We'll do that for sure. Oh yes, I'm excited for all these things because I never got to play any of these as a kid, and yeah. I'm like living it for the vicariously. First time. It's still good. It's it's still got it still holds up. It's dude, it's fascinating. Like on a bunch of levels, because like it, there's so much that so, went over um, my head. I mm -hmm. guess I'll be going oh. now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> gotta get ready for tonight, right? Oh, that's him trying to weasel out of his fucking like cuddling duties oh, after right. lovemaking. Quality assurance. Yeah. Read something funny the other day. It was like, wow, biggest surprise twist in the whole of Sonic Boom. Someone was credited for quality assurance at the end. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> that's hilarious. Well, Aaron and I will get there eventually. Yeah. That game, that's, that game is totally its own shit show. Mm. Um, watch but it. another enjoyable shit yeah. show. Yeah, yeah. Gosh, Ooh. man. I, I never want to. Mm. Oh, oh, yeah, that's what I was going to say. Yeah. yeah, like. It's interesting to play these games because, uh, you know, they're they're very much of their time, you know. Yeah. Like, oh, Lee, Neil Ross. Oh, someone told me that like one of the guys in this was like a super famous voice guy. You probably. 
Okay. I the narrator. I, the narrator is who again? I don't know. Is it Space Ghost guy or something? Is I it? Or someone told me that? I don't know. I'm probably wrong. I don't remember. I have no I think idea. Holly mentioned it to me. I'm not really quite sure. It, it, I think it was the dude who plays Gary. That really? he's like a famous voice dude. Oh. Um, I think this is looping. No, no, no. We it haven't seen loop? voices yet. Oh, there we go. Mm -hmm. Um. Wow, Mary Kay Bergman did a lot. Uh, hmm. Cheryl Bernstein, Jewish. I love it. Mm hmm. Very nice. Ed Gilbert, Jeff Barrow. Gary, Kenny, Daryl, and Billy D. <laughs> <laughs> love these names. Could it be Dave Fenoy? I, I think Possibly. that's. I think that's the name. Hold on, let me look him look up. Look it up. Whoops. Um, Dave Benoy. Oh yeah, dude. This, it is. This dude is like What's done, done a ton of shit. Oh him? Yeah. Oh dude, he's Thinger from Walking Dead. Is he? Oh yeah, yeah, dude. He was the guy at the pool. The uh, yeah, he, yeah, he was the guy at the pool. He was a bunch of voices. Oh, and he's he's in a uh, he's uh, he. Oh God. yeah, I totally know him. Dude, this dude has rad dreadlocks. Oh my God, his dreadlocks are fucking sweet. Uh, uh, who is he in Starcraft Wings of Liberty? The, Walking Dead. Oh, good, here we go, here we go. Good God, man, this God guy's done damn, a ton man. of shit. Um, hold on, I gotta go way back. To get, oh, oh wait. Hang on, hang on. Wait, hang on. he's done some characters I know. He was Mark and Billy D. Go up, slowly. The Billy D I was the see, pool guy. I can't see, I'm gonna back. Oh, here, no, take, just take, oh, take a laptop. laptop. Here, let me have a look, let me have a look. Okay. Sorry, uh, thank you for hanging with us, everybody. Yeah, just chilling. <laughs> yeah, the, we're just hanging out now. This Warpath, this episode is not going to get any row. cooler than this. Making change. Okay, he was Commander Kellogg and Archer. Dota 2, he's Bat Rider. Bat Rider, Ember Spirit. Have a nice day. Oh, oh Batman copy by Carlos. Horses. He was Optimus Prime in Titanfall. Oh, the video short. Okay. Oh, right. Uh, oh, wait. Is this going to... Please don't do that. Yeah, don't spit us into fucking desktop. The greatest hits of... Oh, okay. No, we've got time. It's going to just play all the songs. Man, what, a, yeah. what an excellent career. Yeah, dude. Everybody check out Dave Fenoy. That dude is fucking no joke. He's probably voiced a lot of shit that you love. Yeah, I'm actually looking through it right now. He did stuff. In a lot of games that I've played. That is wow. crazy. Oh, and he was Mark, the the uh, plumber. The what an asshole! Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Goddamn. Well, holy shit. Sorry, we got we kind of got distracted there. Listen, yeah. you guys, we love you dearly. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Hey uh, this was another good time. And uh, more, more merriment for 2015. Hey, happy new year to everyone. And I hope you got your new res resolutions. What's your resolution, Dan? My resolution is to keep on fucking rocking. What's your resolution? To keep rocking fucking. <laughs> okay. That's... Oh, wait, we need wait. a better high five then. No, not a worse high five. <laughs> Come on. Ready? Come on. Eh, don't kiss your hand. All right. Try again, try again. No, it's a, it's go, a, go. Go, try. <laughs> Ow, that one worked better. <laughs> that, I did a backwards hand five yeah, five. It actually worked. It oh. actually worked. Oh, this song is called Air for Your G String. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right, we love you guys, and right. uh, we'll talk to you soon. Like tomorrow, for instance. Catch you later. Bye. Pen's still not working. Yay, Leisure Sularia's done. There we go.